Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Let's get started with part six. So really enjoying this campaign. We had a really close call yesterday at Monument to Visital. And I was wondering why... Because I'm being a lot more careful in this one than I have been in other campaigns. What makes this one in Warhammer 3 kind of more challenging than in Warhammer 2? And I realized rogue armies is the big thing. Because in Warhammer 2, if a rogue army spawns, it doesn't activate for a while. It just sits there. Never moves. Until it's actually first attacked. So if a rogue army shows up, like over here, you have time to deal with it. But in Warhammer 3, if a rogue army shows up, it might show up in between two settlements, like right here, right? Threatening both of them, and it'll attack on the very next turn. And you have very limited options in which one you can defend, especially if it was a tough one like that one. So if Vashnar's conquest shows up, you know, threatening multiple settlements, and I have to be able to defend all of those at the same time, uh, that's going to be a problem. I've been thinking about ways to potentially deal with that, and I can only really come up with, um, like, some serious cheeses, but... It also makes me think I really need to try to conquer the map faster, because the longer I take, the more opportunities the rogue armies have on spawning, but at the same time, there's going to be an endgame crisis. The bigger my empire becomes, the more overstretched I'll be becoming, the more I'll have to deal with the endgame crisis. This is why I didn't want to go too much into the old world, because it's most likely the endgame crisis will show up here. That's where it's most likely, because where most of them are. There's only one endgame crisis that shows up in Lustria, so the chances of that being Clan Pestilence is fairly low. But anyway, let's, uh, let's see how we go. We stand ready for so these ones over here, I was recovering a little bit. That's right, this the hero here got wounded. Seems like I serve only the there's a, Cathay, a, a few Cathay heroes that are I am no one, sir. a bit of a threat. Just a bit. Uh, we don't need that there. Clan Pestilence Clan is not in not particularly good queen. shape. We could be friendly with the... Oh, they don't want a trade agreement anymore. They used to. Why not? I'm cons Okay, it's probably because they don't feel as threatened by Clan Pestilence because recently a bunch of their armies got defeated. Hmm. There's no Lizardman Endgame Crisis, so fighting these guys is no big deal. I'm just a little bit busy trying to revive Teclas, because I did this around the wrong way. Teclas revives at the Fuming Serpent. We're not going to be able to have a revolt from our own settlements. This is not conducive to a revolt. So we need to switch these around. We're waiting to see if Clan Spittle shows up. Otherwise, the option is transfer this over to them. Alright. I can transfer the settlement back to them in exchange for a peace treaty, which means I'll have to leave them alone for 10 turns before I declare war on them again. Because becoming unreliable would mean that the rest of the world would dogpile on me. Unless, of course, Clan, Scry uh, Clan Pestilence attacks us first. But I wanted to see if Clan Spittle comes back here first. Because if they got confederated, they won't come back. And if they did, well... They won't. Whatever. Uh, can the crisis spawn every turn now? Uh, no, as of turn 100 or when I get long campaign victory. I wanted to get long campaign victory earlier, but when lock here became really big, it just that uh, that just didn't become an option, unfortunately for me. So we just got to deal with that. All right, let's see. Let's try to keep track of where Princess we were. Okay, so Tyrion. Tyrion. Yeah, we left our army behind to make sure they would fight us. This guy is over here, trying to avoid us. There's no other armies in the area. We've... Yeah, we can push for the frozen city. No one brings to the boys to the yard like Bishop Total War. <laughs> They'll suffer the might of suffering! And let's bring this one up as well. Yeah, you'll have to force march. 
I really want to get more of those um, those really good followers. We need not fear Zero defeats access. Western Roman Empire artillery campaign. Oh, you could do that. You just have to abandon your territory at the start. You could definitely do that. It will know the teachings of Tacless. Okay. Minimal attrition there, so I wouldn't worry about too much. I think... Where did I put the Priestess of all of, um, of Isha? P, P, P. I've got, I've got too many things now. Maybe I can get rid of some of these minstrels. I don't see us needing that much public order, and it's just making the whole thing untidy. We have got a lot of followers now. Not that I need the money, but it's just, I got so many of them. So, P. Priestess of Isha is currently on this one, Carthinia. Is that you? Yeah, I okay. Well, then the we'll just wings. switch it over to this one. Because she'll have reduced movement next turn. Because that one obviously doesn't need immunity to attrition. Guardian of the Phoenix. Clan. Then this guy here is bringing Tyrion's army, which does I he even one. need his army anymore? Defender of the I don't know. I kind of don't want to let this guy live. It's not that his units are dangerous. It's that he could find some way around and threaten my settlements. And we don't need to rapidly expand out this way. We need to um, reliably expand. And leaving an enemy behind our lines is a bad idea. That being said, this way here, this army could easily beat it, except for the fact that they can pick up units pretty much anywhere. There's a reduced uh, chaos corruption here. I do not feel the cold. Ready for orders. Because if I move out this way, I could threaten Fortress of the Damned, which is his capital, which would be very bad for him. Now Shagrath is a settlement that I want to hand back to Alithanar. In fact, I'm going want to get. All of this territory out here, owned by Elithanar. That way, if Norskan raiders hit us, it's only going to affect him. Otherwise, I have to leave armies behind. That's just going to cost a lot of money. And it'd be just way cheaper to have an ally hold on to it. Uh, since rapid expansion out here is not essential, I think we'll take this guy out first. Is no losses still the only objective? Uh, and have fun. And have fun. Um, mm, provided manually I could heal. It shouldn't take long. I, I need to heal these guys up. Attrition just, just wears at us. What is your two cents on Thrones of Decay delay and promised content? Uh, I'm, usually, I'm just going to wait and see. I'm not unhappy about the situation. You know, the fact that it's going to hopefully be of higher value than Shadows of Change. I'm just going to wait and see. It's not really worth speculating right now. Like, all the leaked information that I had is now public information, so I don't have anything extra. Um, Creative Assembly have made a promise that it will be of a higher standard. Let's see. Let's see. Speculating on it in the meantime, I just don't see the point. Of you know, all I've ever wanted was for Creative Assembly to do better than what they were current what they were doing in 2022 and 2023, it was not good enough, and they've made a promise that they're going to do better. Sounds like a win to me. I think some people expect me to always be hating on Creative Assembly, and that's actually not what I want to do. I just want them to be better, and they seem to be doing better, so I'll leave them alone. Well, they've made a promise to do better. Going forth, the Still can't trust them, obviously. They're not that interested in fighting Tyrion, which is the right call, but they don't stand a chance. Because they just can't get to us. Is 
take out their fastest units. Alright, looks like we've pretty much healed all of our army. That's good. <laughs> our, our four heroes. But yeah, this army here, these four units, this is actually my strongest army. It would take a serious amount of force to take this out because they've got to take out Tyrion. They would need Archeon with basically an all regiment of renowned army, maybe even two armies in order to take him out. Tyrion is just so bloody strong right now. And I guess that's another thing that's making this campaign more difficult than it needs to be, is having the Sword of Cain. Like, doing this is not essential. I'd still much rather have two armies, two full stacks, than be doing this stuff. Alright, we're done. Is this your longest campaign in Warhammer 3? No, no, uh, we did a, like, an eight-parter for Scarbrand. What happened to the rest of Tyrion's army? Okay, so at the end of the pe uh, previous stream, there was a couple of armies that were not very strong, and they were just on the edge of my movement. So I left my army behind, because I was worried that if I had sent my entire army, what would have happened is they would have run away, and they would have gone around Tyrion and tried to attack the settlement. So I weakened my army so that way they would stand and fight, and I crushed them. And also, the rest of his army stayed behind defending the settlement that was under question, because I can't give it away. Um, Alithanar lost the settlement that I gave to him that connected him to, to this area. And so I've got a couple of armies heading back that way to re-establish that settlement for him. It's just going to take them time. Why does it say five deployed? I don't see, see two characters, four characters. Um, I think it's the chariot. The chariot counts as uh, two. Yeah, chariots don't always count as one. It's, it's a bit weird. Release them. Are you warming up to Bloodline of Venerian at least a bit? Hell no, this is not efficient at all. Champion I don't like it. <laughs> I've committed to it, but I am I my my opinions on Bloodline of Venerian have not changed. It makes Tyrion really strong, but it this has slowed down our campaign. Doing this has made every other army that we have and every region that we have suffer as a consequence. Onward. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. You strengthen one Queen. one person in order to we and weaken your entire empire. It's not a good call to make. High Elven. Right, so here's the rest of his army. We cleared out all of those armies, but I'm just not sure what's out here, so just keep that behind. We'll um it connect it up later. Because I I really need to give Shagrath away. All right, we yeah we've already sacked the settlement with Eltharion. So at this right here it says three turns until a revolt. I think it might take a little bit longer than that because they're still taxing it. But if Cavill, not Cavill, um, Liam Hemsworth comes back, where is he? In two turns he reduces public order by four, and I got more dudes coming in to reduce public order. Uh, these guys are coming into this area to speed up the growth. What do you see? Handmaiden of Alariel, forbidden by my oath. Servant of the Tower. By the White Tower. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, and. What do we uh, move in next? Okay, over here. Yeah, they're on their way. They need to encamp this turn. They shouldn't have any problem dealing with this army. I imagine this guy is probably going to run back, but we can block him because that's really good at blocking that one. Uh, Alariel. Yeah, we're probably going to get declared war on by by Orion. Which isn't good because... If this one here besieges, we can see that Orion and this army can come in, and we're not at full strength yet. This one here needs a little bit of time to rest. I was replacing the other units with Lothurn Seaguard with shields. We've got Alistair over here. It doesn't say that there's a reliability penalty, but I'm fairly sure that there is. Fairly sure. So we're just going to have to wait and see there. 
I'm listening. I live to serve Ariel. Maybe we can set up a trap for Orion. I thirst for the hunt. Because this army here should be able to beat him. Lord of the Asrae. So what we do is Blessings we leave this army out in the open. Here. Yep, like that. And we put his army in ambush dance. So that if Orion attacks us here, he doesn't realize that, that Alice of the White Lion is actually going to come and help. This one is coming back because we're making a Phoenix army. Master of high magic. Just trying to decide how many Phoenixes I actually want to get. And how many, um... Hi, Elven Archmage. How many... What am I trying to say? How many of these flammable wizards? So at the moment, that's at 5% ward save. They've got this ability here, not that one, this one here, that gives them 10 extra damage resistance if we're at 15 Winds of Magic or more. So that's why we want to get as much Winds of Magic as possible, that really helps for that. So that's really good. To get them at 90 ward save, let me just check skills, how much ward Master save do they get through here? So magic. Heart of the Flame gives them physical resistance, not ward save. I can't think of anything else that's going to give them ward save. Doesn't matter. We don't have to get them to 90%. If we got them to about 50, which would mean... Which would mean six of these wizards, including the general. Do Arcane Phoenix have the frost uh, debuff aura? No, I don't believe so. So looking at mages, we're looking at the flammable skill, that's it. The winds are rising. The vortex calls. Resistant Life Wizard. The the commander of the army should be um, resistant. No, 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 sorry. The commander of the army should be a life wizard. Anyway, this doesn't belong in there. Uh, it's not flammable. Yeah, there was only one flammable available there. So, okay, let's get that life wizard, but not for that army, obviously. The life wizard should go to a dragon doom stack, which we have been putting off for a bit. But let's just, uh, let's just recruit it for later. What do you require? Sometimes I highlight them and press backspace. It doesn't get rid of all the text. Your command? A little bit annoying. You called? Not getting the dragons just yet. I want to wait until we've um, we've built this up because that will reduce our recruitment cost and, and um, upkeep cost on those particular units. What do you require? Okay, I want to recruit and disband this one. Handmaiden of a and also, I think I wanted Infused to keep recruiting and disbanding wisdom. life wizards until flammable shows up here, which we haven't got yet. We're now able to recruit them. Unless we've got one already. Let me just check. I don't think so. No. Oh, hang on. What about these? No. So just recruit and disband that. But it doesn't all have to be a loss, so we can put a point into Vault, just makes a little bit of money, and then send her on her way. Trying to get flammable, which is a 15 influence one. 
Uh, tech can give more ward save. Okay, that's good. Thanks, dude. Uh, where would that be? That would be... Blessing of Assyrian? There it is. Okay, ward save. For no, that's Phoenix Guard. That okay, hang on. Fireborn in nature. Melee attack for Phoenix and Dragons. Are you sure? See, that's for Phoenix Guard, not for Phoenixes. There it is. Magical Infusion. Okay. Alright, 5% extra. That's, that's, that's good. We'll definitely work towards that when these are one turn to research. Thanks for that. Uh, learning lots, man. Thanks heaps. No, dude, my pleasure. Uh, get them trespassing on you after peace treaty and declare war. Could block them. Are you talking about Talson? No, it's fine. We'll just leave things be for now. Let them attack me, because I think if I attack them, I'll lose reliability. Okay, we still need to get the Prince and Princess to increase our productivity with resources, because it looks like we've got a fairly good trade powerhouse at the moment. And we also need more research rate. Very bloody useful. And then see you later. Interesting note, in Warhammer 2, the up, uh, the recruit cost of Lords goes up as their their recruit rank goes up, but in Warhammer 3 it's always the same. So doing this is actually more effective in Warhammer 2 than it was, sorry, more effective than it was in Warhammer 2. So it's still making decent coin from all that. So you lose a little bit with entrepreneur, actually lose a lot with entrepreneur loss, but then you gain it in other ways. About Skrulk. Uh, well, I'm still determined to see if um, Clan Spittle shows up. It'll only take a couple of turns. Clan Spittle probably was confederated, but I don't know, so we might as well find it. It's the only way for me to find out. Okay, we don't need this army here Master anymore. What's your trait? Magic. Okay, yep, you can just be straight up disbanded. We leave this one here behind. Just keep sacking that settlement until Yuan Bo shows up. And then, hang on, you need to go into encamp stance. Camp. Time is of the My best. No, you've already got Elven healing. Cool. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. All right, just leave that as it is. These ones here, just move a little bit up towards that uh, bridge crossing. I don't want to push them towards clan... Handmaiden yes, of the Ever I? Queen, at once. Uri Fair. I don't believe that Goroth is going to declare war on me while Clan Pestilence exists. I don't believe it. None may stand against us. I think maybe this army should eventually Setting swing around up. this way. So that I can defend the Golden Colossus just in case. But yeah, let's slowly make our way. We go. Yeah, let's slowly make our way down here. Assyrian guides us. Duty calls. Yeah. Okay, that should be fine. Don't the Frost Phoenix use physical resistance aura? No, I don't. Okay, let's go have a quick look. I wield the winds. So Frostheart Phoenix gives a Blizzard aura. So having one in the army is not a bad thing. Yeah, maybe putting one of these in the army would be fine. Because that's a pretty big debuff. The uh, the Blizzard Aura. Reducing their weapon strength, their melee attack and armor piercing weapon strength. Because you would use these guys in a blob. Yeah, oh, well I'll get that. I'll get that now actually. Yeah, I don't think the flame one has any benefit for us. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Alario. Yeah. 
This one here, let's get rid of... How many units do I need to get rid of? Three. Let's get rid of these three and replace them with them. Don't use the global. I might need the global for something else. I serve the king. Protector I can't of the them up. All right, just research stuff that only takes one turn. So, what would be next best? I don't know. None of these really matter that much. Asu Princess. I need more punitive characters, I think. For the Phoenix King. Defender of the Phoenix. Right, we got this guy here. So, in this army, I'm just trying to remember what I need to put into it. I think there was a trait somewhere. So, this guy's trait is Doctrinal, which um, gives extra leadership, melee attack, and weapon strength for... Well, for all three of these. But there was other things I wanted to put. So, this one here was resistant. That's right. That's for a metal wizard. I wanted to put a... Resistant handmaiden in here, so that will require it to be at 19. And this guy here is the siege attacker, so we don't need to put artillery in the army. Um, I'm just trying to remember what all the different traits are, not command. emollient. I await your command. Crushing, no, that's not worth it. I await your orders. I just can't remember if there was a noble that boosted noble these units. I don't think there is. I think there might be a. Hang on, if I have a look over at Alistair, this Blade Lord here, what does he do again for those units? Reduces the upkeep cost and increases their charge bonus. I'm not really too fussed about upkeep costs anymore. I'm not super fond of, of that one. The greatest. Got Protected and Athletic. These are coming in at rank 9 now. What about over here? They're coming in at rank 5. Okay, that's good. That means we can put more points into this. I'm going to spend the influence to recruit this guy here. Because he's not... Yeah. He's not going to attach to an army. And I got a big surplus of influence now. Alright, so this guy here. Honed? No, no, no. We had honed. Standing by. Hang on, hang on. Let me have a look. Honorably done. Brave son of Ulfwan. Okay, so Dynamo gives, gives him leadership and speed. Noble son of That's Ulfwan. crushing. Weapon strength and charge bonus. Honed. I know it. Okay, here's a honed dude. Honed gives... No, nothing to... Um, to Swordmasters of Hoath. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Doesn't boost him at all. Defender of the Ever Queen. So we'll put three in there, and the last one will be a a handmaiden. And then I'm not sure where to send this, to be honest. You seek illumination. Mage of the White. And these ones here, they're accumulating those followers, which we need to improve our other armies. Whatever. All right, I think that's all of my military movements made. I think. Where to? Yeah, that guy needs to stay there. Mage of Ulfwan. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let's go into construction now. Yeah, we need defenses up in here. I intend to keep the frozen city. green territory for us, and it's a walled settlement, so we can defend it, you know, once it hits tier 3. Plus, it's reasonably safe. Okay, this is good here. Just go with money, for the most part. This region is safe. I started building a border, didn't I? Yep, border, sorry. Keeping that for now, but don't bother upgrading it. Got heaps of money in reserve, so we can definitely recruit more armies. Titan Peaks. Yep, that's good. 
Don't forget Lawmaster trade for Phoenixes can stack. Yeah, I know, but if you get too many heroes, you'll end up with no Phoenixes. You can only put 20, so there's just no point putting 20 heroes that boost hero that boost Phoenixes and then don't put any Phoenixes in. And it's probably better to get Ward Save as opposed to Melee Defense. Because if you've got Ward Save, it protects against everything, where Melee Defense only protects against Melee and they can get shot down. Alright, so that's all fine there for now. Alright, all of the construction's done. We've now... Oh, we've got the Invocation of Isha, which, honestly, we've kind of got our our attrition stuff under control for the time being. So I'm going to hold that off for Master now. Master of High Magic. Yeah, it'd be good if this one could sort out its blue line. These handmaidens all suck. This was always meant to be a temporary army. That's the army we recruited all the way back here that dealt with Helebron. Yeah. Yes. I suppose we really are kind of rolling around in money. I'm not spending as much in construction anymore, so I guess we can go a dragon army. Alright, to get a dragon army, we need... A prince. That's dragon willed. We don't have one here that's high level, so I'll just go with a level 5 one, that's fine. Alright, we're actually going to start recruiting the dragons oh, nice. now. This is probably going to cripple my economy, but I have got the cash. Nah, I don't think it'll cripple my economy. I think the last time I had a look at this, I was only making like 15 grand a turn. Okay, we go star dragon, only takes two turns. Oh, hang on, we need to switch this to there. And we need to give him some followers, not that one. Because there's a bunch of stuff that's really useful for dragons. And we should have heaps of them now. The there it is, Caledorian Dragon Rouser. That's going to reduce the recruit cost by ten percent. Dragon Armorer. Actually, that is useful on anyone. If they're going to go into combat, I don't have any one of them equipped. I should give that to uh, Tyrion, I think. Um, is there anything here that would be useful for dragons? Anything else? No. Okay, that's fine. Your command. And let's get started. Now we've got to be careful with these guys at first. Especially if we're going to send him up against Locke here, because uh, Dark Shards can shoot, shoot these down very easily. So we go, if we go with Resistant Mate. Wizard, this one, the Missile Resistance won't be applied. The Melee Defense will. The Spell Resistance will. But in terms of other skills for a dragon army, I don't see anything better. We we do need a resistant handmaiden for replenishment, unless we get a noble and don't worry about the handmaiden. So if we were going to get a noble, maybe dynamo. Speed. For dragons, yeah, speed. Because dragons are not that quick. Alright, this guy here who has 23 turns of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna attach him into the army. Let's just give him this another go, because it's not gonna be ready for a little while. <laughs> okay, whatever. Ready to okay. serve. Don't upgrade Fuming Serpent, you need it to revolt. Oh yeah, 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 sorry, you're right. Okay, that's. I think that's me done for the turn. Alright, okay, we can get a trade agreement. It said we couldn't get a trade agreement with Itza. Weird. Now they want a trade agreement. I'm still not wanting to trade with them because they're on my to-do list to kill. Ostland, however, is not on my to-do list, so I'll take that money. Nordland is not on my to-do list to kill, so I'll take that money. At your service, for Cathay. 
I think I recently went Tried to war with the Scalings. Thanks to, um, thanks to Clan Angrand. They'll be a little bit annoyed at me for this, but I don't actually want to be at war with them. My warhounds understood. Good. Dragon. Don't see myself borrowing any armies from Nagarus from for a little bit. I need them to recover. It seems like whenever I borrow a faction's army, they are crippled for a little while. And then over here, still trying to get this one, and it's just going to take a little bit longer before we're able to do it. Okay. I think we're done with the turn. My main hope here is that Talson doesn't declare war on us over the end turn. And if they do declare war on us, I hope they don't all send it all over to Castle Carcassonne. That would be very bad. I'm not sure. I don't think that they would be able to launch the attack with that, but I'm not sure as well if I'd be able to repel it. If they besiege the settlement, these will get immediately cancelled. If they could just hold out for one turn, those extra defenses will make a big de difference. And where their primary threat, they... I don't know, maybe. Just gonna have to wait and see. It'd be pretty funny if Wood Elves once again kick me out of a no defeat campaign. Right, moving on. Respect the Dynamite Noble, gonna take a while before the army is recruiting anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. If Beligar declares war on Wood Elves, oh well, then I have to join the war with him. Those heroes are going to be a little bit of a problem, especially since one of them is immortal. Brute Maximus did an NZ10 super chat. Caught a legend stream twice in a row. Ranald be praised. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. I never praise Ranald. He's always fucking me over. <laughs> So what happens when you cheese? You get no luck. Ranald, Ranald's abandoned me. Yeah, I want. I would much rather they go somewhere else. They're making me nervous. You stay out of this. Or come into the Star Tower so I can kill you. That'd work as well. Hey, do you prefer Vampire Counts in Warhammer 3 or Warhammer... Quotation mark. <laughs> uh, I prefer the Vampire Counts in Warhammer 2. It's probably an unpopular opinion, but I just can't really get into them in Warhammer 3. Maybe it's because their campaigns really thrive on mayhem, and Warhammer 3 is less mayhem than in Warhammer 2. In my opinion. I feel like the Winds of Magic changes, especially the knowledgeable loss, hurts the vampire counts a lot. I don't know. Their economy kind of got buffed. The early game economy definitely got buffed, but the late game economy got nerfed. I don't know. Some people really like the vampire counts. I just, I just can't get into them. Don't mind playing Vlad. 
But yeah, whenever I play Manfred, I play a couple of turns, and uh, I just lose interest. It could also just be Warhammer Fatigue. Skelly spam was absurd though. Here's the thing, I still Skelly spam. Even though they now cost money, I still do it. So yeah. It's just the vampire counts. Every faction in this game can't be your favorite. It's just not my favorite. That's all. I don't mind playing them every now and again. But I'm just not that into them anymore. Okay, we've met the war host of the apocalypse. No. What in-game crisis you got? We don't know yet. Okay, that's good. He's going north. Alright, if he declares war on me after having gone north, that's fine. It, like I said, I just want him to wait one more turn. But since he hates me and consider Okay, that's the end of Clan Scryer. They're gone. Yet, yeah, because Talson hates me and considers me their main threat, we should consider attacking them. Especially because Argwalon no longer has an enemy, and they're a very aggressive bunch. They're probably going to pick a fight with someone. Why not be me? I'm less threatened by Argwalon, though, because I don't technically border them. That doesn't mean they won't declare war on us. So yeah, we need to go through this slowly so I can actually see what's going on. Because otherwise, we'll, I'll miss stuff. We've really got to keep an eye out as well for rogue armies. Because yesterday we came very close to a defeat and it's put me on edge. That was not an easy fight. Clan Scryer is gone, okay. It's turn 95, so we got chances of getting more of these followers. Come on, the immunity to all attrition. Where is it? Come on, where is it? Yes, we got another one. Awesome. Priestess of Isha, immune to attrition. Yeah, that's awesome. We got another one. Did I get any more? Looks like we got a lot of items over this turn. Okay, cool. Well, that's one more immunity to attrition. So, the more of them I get, the less I'm going to need Invocation of Isha. Now, the one in Vol over here is definitely better, in my opinion, but I can't get that yet. Alright, with that um, honed uh, Dynamo require? one, it fucking failed me. I want to keep doing this, because it's going to be a little while before that dragon is ready. So, get the court attendant on him. He needs to... Okay, good, that has not got the penalty on it. Smash it to ruins. Good. This will give him some experience. Yeah, I I could reset his skills I for sure. It'll take three turns to reset. But this army is going Lord to take a really long time to recruit. Alright, this army here is ready. I can recruit a handmaiden whenever. So just keep looking for a resistant handmaiden in the meantime. Just keep recruiting and disbanding. Because we're getting plenty of influence. I see the winds. I sense items of power. Checking this one over here again for a um, 
flammable character. We didn't get one. This one here will provide a little bit of research rate. I'll, I'll select that one. High Elven Archmage. Just a, a bit better of a trait for us. Actually, what am I doing? The only thing it actually needs dedication to Vol and then just disband it. Cool. This guy's coming back. You seek illumination. Do I need to respec him? No, no, he's fine. All right, all right, all right. So, loyal prince. In fact, if I find the right trait, maybe I should you get it over here sense. and defeat you Yuanbo first. Maybe I should be doing that with this character. How can I assist you? Yeah, shit, I shouldn't have recruited him. Okay, I just realized that. I, okay, let's reset his skill so he comes back in three turns. Fuck. He didn't have any other units in his army. I have to restart the recruitment. No, <laughs> they didn't do the dum dum. It's okay, it's, not, it's only money, whatever. It's no big deal. This, this, uh, They'll come at higher rank this way. Now we just recruit just some idiot. And we'll be able to recruit way more of them this way. Yeah, we'll go get um, Thingo's trade. So this way, we'll get Bonded Service and Merchant Lord, so that it reduces the recruit cost. We'll get this, we get Recruit Rank and Recruit Thing. And Renowned and Feared. Okay, so this is going to be way quicker. We'll actually end up recruiting them, much higher quality, and just... Oh, but they take three turns with him. I'm in no rush. Yeah, I'm in no rush. Whatever. Right, the dragon wield, it reduces the recruit time for dragons. Lethal grace given for. Yeah, my bad. I hear the Kadaith. The winds hearken to me. Okay, that's fine. All right, is that you on both? No. We stand ready for action. So we want to get that Dragon World Lord over here Asso. to get Yuanbo's trait since we're now farming it. Take and then we'll obviously you. send it straight back. What would you have of me? I don't have another Dragon World character, so we I can't Setting camp. Uh, I can't recruit them any quicker. Why not recruit a dragon army in Kalidor? I haven't got the landmark there. There is... I literally can't recruit dragons in Kalidor yet. It hasn't reached tier 5. It's getting there. It's getting there, but it's just... It just hasn't reached tier 5 yet. Yeah, you can't just recruit dragons in Kalidor by default. Alright, can I reach that settlement? No. Alright, you need to move it in camp stand so we don't get ambushed. Princess of Losing a little bit of Winds of Magic is fine. Her most loyal servant. Yeah, no sign of any clan pestilence shit. Alright, so it says here two turns until revolt. Lawmaster. Plotting a course. We got these guys on their way. What do you seek? Speak your peace. The water. Avenge Tor Ivre. Is Imrek dead? Yeah. So, we're trying to revive Teclas first, which is proving to be a bit more time-consuming than I would like. I'm not sure if this is going to work. But we'll see. Legend going to raid stance! The chances of me assassinating this guy is zero. Except with this one here, hang on, if I have a look... I got a 22% chance of assassinating him. If on the next few levels up I put him into wound, I can get an extra 21% chance. Because this one here is trying to wound my characters. Yeah, it's immortal. Knowledge awaits. Was there not the dragon ancillary? Yep, you're absolutely right. Yep, we can save money on that. Thank you very much. Yep. 
Thank you very much. I forgot about that. This will save us some cash. Good thinking. Done. Alright, this army is ready to go. And I think I will send it to Lokir. Marching out. So doesn't matter if it takes a little bit of attrition, but we could always yeah, just just get over here now. Traveling. It'll recover. Oh. Didn't see that. Uh, perform better on campaign because by the time it um, gets anywhere, it's, it'll expire anyway. We rest here. Okay. But it's not going to go without more support. Not going to go by itself. Can I offer assistance? Doesn't tech the spawn near Kairos? No, he doesn't. All right, we are almost at full strength here. We should be able to do that quest battle. They're not able to attack us over the intern, so we'll have time to replenish. Clan Angrand. I don't think we've got any missions, any I common enemies at the moment. Let me have a look. True King of if the I offer to join war against Argwalon, they might give us a mission for that. They love us now. That's good. So that means if I declare war on someone, they will definitely join it. But they're not giving me any missions. So we just have to wait for passive income there. Because I really want to borrow this. Oh, he recruited more units. Which means it now requires 90 influence. But that's a better army for sure. So when it comes to our attack on King's Glade, we'll use this army here and this one to strike at the King's Glade. And we'll just wreck the, um, the Wood Elves. And I think I might give these territories over to him. Ah. Uh, nah. We'll see. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Okay, let's do Alariel's quest battle. This is going to help us with a bit of extra public order. So her quest battle is for the Star of Avalon. I think it's the last quest battle we have to do. Unless the others, when they've been revived, have quest battles. Alright. Uh, let me just check our equipment really quick. Servant of light. A Tormentor's Blade would be really good for Alariel, so she can hold them back. Armor of Kalidor is fine. Potion of Healing It's fine. Okay, so where is it? Weapons, Tormentor Sword, that's really good for this. Enchanted Item, let's see if there's anything better than that, because she can just heal herself. We don't really use her to fight in melee, so giving her loads of physical resistance can help holding the enemy back. And that gives her 55% physical resistance. Actually, a bit more than that when that's attached. And then on top of that, we should give her the... I need to get rid of some of these war banners. i got way too many. Do you guys find these, like, sticky notes a little bit annoying sometimes? War banner sells for a fair bit, considering how shit it is. Alright, I need to give her... Let's see, which one of these should I get rid of? Probably doesn't need the bard anymore. And let's give her... The dragon armor. that's it. Yeah, for just a bit of extra bonus versus large. What about these ones? Yeah, we should give them some... Okay, that can only go on noble, handmaiden, lord, so... You can get one. And you can get one. Did you have a Disciple of the Phoenix? Yep, okay, that's good. And in terms of equipment for you, you should also get a Philyareth's robe. Just thinking which of these would be useful. The Sea of Staff. Okay, here's two items that can be fused. There you go. There it is. The Enchanted Spyglass could be good. That'll increase our base missile weapon. Oh, but that's only base weapon, uh, missile weapon strength. And we've got Sisters of Avalon, so that's not going to really do much. 
Yeah, better better to be a bit more of a tank. Okay, then talismans. Let's see what we got here. Talisman of Sephiroth. Don't worry about spell resistance. Although melee defense is not too bad. Van braces of defense will work well for you. That's a really good item. That's actually better than Talisman of Preservation because of all the extra bonuses that they get. Um, ha actually, arcane items. Let's have a look at that. Starwood stuff is very good. Let's get that. St uh, Trickster's shards are shit. Okay, I'll just give you some basic ones. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day looking at this stuff. Yeah, we got another one. Uh, actually, this one here... No, I'd much rather have the physical resistance, I think. Yeah, you stay on the steed. We only need one person or an eagle. In fact, with this battle here, I think our characters should stay on foot. They don't need to go out running around anywhere. Stay on foot, you'll be able to hold the enemy back significantly better. Just give you some basic stuff. I don't really like Ruby Ring of Ruins, I'm going to fuse those two. Radiant Gem of Hoeth would be good. Oh no, we've already got healers. Okay, Kane's Ring of Fury, so much better than, than that other spell. Okay, let's go with that. Alright, let's do the quest battle. That was a fair bit of prep for that, for probably not really needed. Isn't this a fight with the Hell Cannons? Yeah, but you can send Alariel to sort that out. We just need one character to deal with it. And and the Hell Cannon is the only thing that we need to worry about. Now what you do, you set up in a position over here, but if you just fall back to this position, it's way better, because there's an army that starts up over here, and that basically flanks you. So if you position yourself here, you just can't get flanked. All right, let's have a look here. I will. Because yeah, there's an army hiding behind over here. Swiftly. Try to get them back as quickly as we can. Set up a defensive position as best we can. And Alari will go and annoy them. Apparently the bounce of power is in their favor at the moment. Just have a little check over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, hang on. They're they're coming here earlier than I thought they would. Yes, onward. Excellent. Get Lariel to hold them back for a moment. Charge to the heroes there a bit. That's okay. I know I've got light magic as well. We're okay. Not like our sisters can't fight in melee. This is going pretty well so far, I think. Oh, 
Alario's doing really well at the tanking. Lots of physical resistance. My power is yours. Eagle Claw! Without fail! Wolf One Mage. Good. Back the dark. Okay, this will be the back line now. Three winds of magic, dirt cheap for that spell. power just shifted that's good so this guy here took the most amount of damage because he's the only one that didn't have the he's still got a lot of physical resistance though but he doesn't have that robe Alariel the ever queen advancing wielder of the winds winds of magic rise so they're just getting organized forward okay that Frostworm. It does do magic attacks, so Alariel should avoid it. Or, or even better, let's lure it over here nice and early. Maybe don't shoot Alariel. Eclipse 212 did a membership for 15 months. Uh, first time in the series that I can catch a stream. It's good to see you enjoy the campaign. Keep it up. Also, grats for the increased family upkeep. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, membership. Alright, cool. So that, that uh, took that out. Real easy. Eagle Claw, as you say. I still think these are better anti-infantry than they are anti-large. Dawn's hope. Hand maiden of the Ever Queen. The Ever Queen. Alariel the Ever Queen. All right, they're coming out as waves. Okay, that, like I said, the Hell Cannon is not that big of a concern. They're not even doing anything with it. All right, we need to make sure that we stop the War Mammoth from getting close. So we'll use the Light Wizard first. Never cast that. Then this one here will be able to slow it down a bit further once the net expires. That just gives us nine seconds though. Guided by light. We're dealing with this as they're coming in. Okay, that giant is about to get absolutely crumped. No, shoot infantry. Okay, how long does that last? And then this one should be ready again. Yep, but I think that... Good, they didn't even get close. Yeah, if the enemy is just coming at us from one direction, we got so many things that can just stop them in their track now. All 
Alright, hill cannons are on the way. Okay, yes. we need to move up now. Uh, actually... Hang on. It's just impossible to dodge this stuff. Just start shifting back. So we at least we get evenly spread out damage. God damn, those hell cannons are absolutely wrecking us. This is where a dragon would have been handy. But still, three hell cannons is a lot to deal with. Alright, the ones that are damaged, leave them behind. Let's move up and aggressively. We can't waste our ammo and we can't wait for a Lariel. Maybe slow them down a little bit. Maybe I should have kept these on their horse mounts. Orders. Okay, this is good here. That's not doing anything. My power is yours. Okay, stay back. Try to annoy them enough so they stop shooting. God damn, a single hit. There's so much damage there. Oh good, those guys came off the artillery. Nice. That wasn't so bad, that hit. Ulf one mage. Okay, that's just getting in our way. Let's keep moving. Try to go a bit wider. Focus on the hell cannon, not those that do. Okay, that got hit really badly. Move back. Almost in range, just a little bit closer. Why do you keep going back? Oh, that's why, because I select that one that chases after that one, I see. There we go. Worst thing about that was definitely the hill cannons. But everything else was easy. So it doesn't look that bad. That should only take us probably one turn to recover if I choose the replenishment offer. From post battle loot options. Why don't you heal the sisters? What for? For one thing, only Ilariel can do it, but what for? It's not gonna revive them from death. Typically speaking, healing on infantry does not provide a lot of value. Your life is Okay, cool. Did we get another one of those? Oh no, these are the stuff that got fused. All right, we've now got all of Alariel's equipment. Alariel so the, the set bonus for that is extra ward save for her and public order all provinces. So that's nice. All right, with no enemies here at the moment, our next target is 
Hmm. Let the supplicant. I think I can hand this army back now. Because I have a feeling it's crippling his economy a little bit. Because I got what I wanted out of it. We got a, um, a paladin. But then again, don't I have a hundred allegiance with him? Yeah, I could just, I could even borrow this army. Hmm. Give that one back. It's got some regiments of renown though. No, I think I'll keep that hero because that's easy. Sorry, that army. That's easy to keep getting because I might steal these, these two heroes here. Maybe I'll think about it. So next war I think is against Talson. Now I'm not 100% sure because this game's not telling me if it's going to affect my reliability because they cancelled the treaties. But we're not going to do that until we've got this army under our control which will take a few turns, because I want that one here, so that I can get rid of these, not get rid of them, yeah, so I can steal these two characters, and that engineer is what I really want, that's going to be so useful for us, extra campaign movement range, I don't think it provides extra range anymore though, alright, so, with Alariel, I guess to stay in here, and just protect the border in the meantime, because we've still got this one over here that we need to replace the Lothurn Sea Guard, Yep. Blessings of the lady be upon you. How can I assist you? Hire us. And Loyal with Alistair. Just going to channeling stance again. Hear my prayer. Again. And yeah, this is pretty stable on this front here at the moment. I'd say we just wait and see how things play out. Master of high yeah. magic. All right, we need to look for another flammable hero. I know the Lord wasn't available. No, it's not urgent to get that Lord. Okay, so it was a Shadow Wizard last time. It's probably a Shadow Wizard this time. Oh no, they got Resistant this time. Possible that there won't be a flammable one. There is. Okay, and it's a Life Wizard. Okay, chuck it in. The Athua answers to me. Okay, that's fine. So that's three flammables now. we still got a few more to get. But there's time. I think I'll do another batch of recruitment. Yeah. Okay. Noble son of Ulthuan. Uh, Alright, who else needs some boots? Tyrion, what are we doing with him? Have you confirmed if you can perma-steal the Green Knight? I haven't... I don't know yet. I, I assume you can, but I'm just not sure. Alright, where did that other army go? Oh, wow. Okay, it's Sigvold. Okay, that makes it a little bit more difficult to deal with. And also a little bit more too difficult to block him. However, I'm pretty sure... We can if we get the court attendant and also grab the yeah, Seferian Bibliothecary. This one here increases our success chance by 20%. We've only got a 2% chance of a critical failure now. Pain will find cool success. I serve the Phoenix King. Can we launch the attack on him this turn? No. How far can he move? No. He can only move to about there. High Elven Archmage. He doesn't have lightning strike, does he? No. No, he definitely doesn't have a lightning strike. Orders. High Mage, oh, shit. Lady of the Phoenix Court. I deny this, as I deny you. Right, you're gonna need that follower this turn. Cloaked in shadow. Okay, cool. Will Bretoni get a partial rework? How do you think? I think they just got one. Defender of the Ever Queen. Uh, I don't know if they're going to get another. Alright, this one. Setting forth. It shall be done. 
Alright, throw Marching these out. units back into Tyrion's army. And then this guy here can be disbanded. He's done now. Good. I live Tyrion to my queen. push Forward. on towards Fortress of the Damned. And we need these two Pure here to just magic. protect this area. Ready yourselves. Master of high magic. Toward power! Okay, Archmage. I think you've got the other priestess of Isha, so Infused you stay by there. Wisdom. I don't think there's any serious enemies out this way. But that's okay. Alright, looking over here. Did we already do the stuff here? I think we did. Yeah, we already sacked this. Okay, and what else are we doing? Alariel's done her turn. I serve the king. I think there's not really that much going on militarily at the moment because we're getting some new armies together. Lord of the Phoenix Court. No foot knights. <laughs> I don't know. Protector of I, I got no leaks about that. So I, I don't know. Noble Lord. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Destruction. Alright, can we get a new noble over here? Let's have a look. Alright, so we got Honed and Dangerous. We'll recruit the Honed one. Of course, it's not specifically to attach to an army. But we do need more influence constantly. The more influence we have, the more shenanigans we can do. And also, they increase our income significantly. You have my attention. There will be carnage. True son of Uthwan. There will be carnage! Speak your mind. I await your command. Smash it to ruins. Brave son of Uthwan. Smash it to ruins! I await your orders. Destruction! Standing Just by. checking how long some of them have until they run out of uh, influence. What do you you could really stockpile a huge amount of influence. Especially once they get a 100% success chance, and that just takes time. Son of okay, once we've had one failure, it reduces everyone's chances by 20%. And you can stack this up over multiple turns, so once you failed once, just let it expire. Phoenix Court. Yeah. Okay. So, all of these armies that we're recruiting here, they're going to be going over to Cathay. Speaking of which, I've got a character over there that I haven't been using. Born to lead. There will be carnage. Got to get some influence. We could definitely afford more armies. So we got this one on the way. Faithful servant. Let's have a look at what princes and princesses are available this turn. Like the high tier ones. So we got avaricious and dangerous. Neither of those particularly useful. No. And looking at princesses, what do we got? Dashing. I'm not making a cavalry poop stack. That one increases the missile damage for... Oh, that is the lower uh, rank of punitive there. So you got exemplar. That's for chariots and eagle claw bolt throwers. I don't think that's particularly useful. Unless you want to spam them, which I don't. Brisk speed for the Lord's army. So that could be good for a cavalry army. If I was going to build it, which I'm not. Recruit this one. And we need to skill her up for money. And research. Cool. And then just disband her. Alright, our current research rate is... Okay, we've now got these ones here at one turn, so that's good. We want to work towards Magical Infusion. So this one here will get... Hero Recruit Rank for Lord Masters of Hoath and Mages. That'll be really good. Yeah, we need that. So we're currently at 843%. Awesome.
Yeah, um, the whole... You don't have Eltharion, Teclas, or Imric? No, I've got Eltharion, he's over here. I don't have Elithanar. The reason I don't have Elithanar is just because he's better as an ally. Uh, yeah, you recruit a Lord, dedicate to Vol, which gives you 1% extra income on industry buildings, which isn't that much when you have a little bit of territory, but when you've got a lot, it's worth a lot. But you also increase the amount of tradable goods that you're producing. If we have a look here, we're now producing 434 sacks of, of gems. Is there anything here that we're still selling 100% of it? I'm selling 100% of my dyes. I've only got one dye building. Same thing with the medicinal plants. We're producing 5,000 chests of elven trinkets. Trinkets? Yeah, so I still need to produce more spices. I need to produce more wine. More furs, more pottery, more obsidian, and more salt. Okay. And if I get some more trade agreements, then I can make more money. We're currently making 49,000 a turn from trade. Hello, yesterday I borrowed Bretoni Rami. Can't Green Knight. He doesn't get wounded. As game says, he departs. Ah, uh, okay. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the information. Okay, so according to... I can't read your name. Because it's in Russian or something. Um, You can't get the Green Knight. Because if he gets wounded, he departs. Thanks for that information. That was really handy. Because I was going to see if I could get him. But you need the... You need the Green Knight to attach to an army that isn't att uh, attached to a Legendary Lord, which he may or may not do that. Alright, Golden Colossus. I think I might go with Growth here because I really need that to get to Tier 3 as quickly as possible. Got all this stuff here, making us pretty good cash. Alright, the Great Arena is... There are, there are no ports in this settlement. We've already got enough of these to get the maximum bonus from it. So we'll go with this one here so we can reduce the global recruit time for Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers. Could get that for just influence, but... Oh, that'll also income give us income from entertainment buildings, local province. That's this one here. That's, yeah, it's not nothing. But we're making pretty good cash, so we'll go with that. Can always change it later. Don't upgrade that one. Yep, we got Isha ready if if we need it. That is. Okay. Over here we are growing good. Why do I have that? That doesn't need to be there. Or maybe. No, we don't need that there. I can always just globally recruit those units anyway. Okay, let's have a look in Diplomacy. Don't think there's much to do here. Ready. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Eye of the Emperor. You on by wants peace? Nope. Decadent Host wants peace? Nope. Nobody else wants peace, that's fine. You can't get armies with legendary heroes? I'm fairly sure you can. I've, I've had people send me armies with legendary heroes, like Ariel, when playing as Norska. I've, I've seen it before. I'm pretty sure. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. All right. Not Let's have a possible. little bit of a look up this way. Asur Sorcerer. So those two will go for the Shard Bastion. Once we've captured that, give that to Elithanar. Capture this. Just keep moving our way along here. It's bad territory, but it's just about taking out enemies that are not going to be present near an endgame crisis. So we don't have to worry about leaving large armies behind. All of this out here is secure, except for this here. That's only if it's the dwarf endgame crisis, which there's a pretty low chance of that happening. Just like, it's one in seven. How many how many endgame crises are there? Let's see, there's... Maybe just get through the end turn here first. See to it. Hang on. So we're trying to see what I'm doing with Alistair. So this one here is just scouting around. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Got scouts over here. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Yep. And our scouts over here. Yep. Just giving us intel where we need it. 
All right, and heroes. I need to check my heroes. Okay. Sometimes I forget about this. So medic. Yep, just leave that. Disciple protected. Okay, yeah, let's move on to the next turn. Check rogue armies. Yeah, I should have. Hang on. We do this. There, there's nothing. Too late now, anyway, but it, it, at least we can rest easy during this turn. But you're right. I really should check at the beginning of the turn for rogue armies. I am now that we're this close to Crisis, want to make a poll? People can guess what one it will be. Well, the problem with that is that there's more than five, and I can only give... So there's only four options I can give in a poll. So it's kind of difficult to do a poll with that many options. Yeah. Otherwise I would, but... We have to do, like, multiple polls. It's just not worth it, just to play a guessing game. <sighs> so yeah, there's the dwarf one. The green skin one, Skaven, Chaos Dwarfs, Wood Elves, Vampire Counts, Tomb Kings, that's seven. Am I forgetting one? I think that's all. So there's, it's a 1 in 7 chance for the Dwarf one. So I think at this point in time, the best one that I could hope for to make this campaign not derail would either be the Greenskin one, or the... The Tomb King one wouldn't be the worst. Capture Sartosa somehow to make Dwarf beer. Yeah, unfortunately it's owned by Clan Angrand, and I would much rather be allied with them right now, so... It would be great. I wouldn't make that much money out of it. Wouldn't be really be worth it to to do that much shenanigans for it. But later down the track. Good. Glad he failed. Is it on two hundred percent? No. I just put it on default. I didn't think we'd even get to turn one hundred. I, I thought we'd just do like one or two streams of this. I didn't think we'd be doing six. I would have put it on two hundred if I thought it was going to get to this point. They can't change it after you've already started the campaign. Because let's face it, how many of our campaigns ever, well, these stream campaigns, ever get to Endgame Crisis? But I need to constantly think about it now because it could just pop up at a very inconvenient time. In a very inconvenient location. It'll only be one Endgame Crisis, I just don't know which one it's going to be. Wood Elf 1 wouldn't be very good for us, since majority of the Wood Elf factions are on our border and would come back. Is he going to go for it? No. Oh, that doesn't matter. He can't ambush us. This is why it's important to look at what's going on throughout the end turn. We know where Sigvald is. Angrind is popping off. Yeah, and he's an ally of mine. Now, having powerful allies, I think, reduces the likelihood of AI factions declaring war on you. I think what's going to happen throughout this stream is going to be an invasion of Cathay. We're going to open up a new front out that way. At Legend Total War, is gifting us with this six-part stream because chat has been good boy for the past streams? Yes, and I'm also, I'm also enjoying this campaign. But yeah, the support on this campaign has been more than adequate. It's been good, so... 
it feels like back to Warhammer two times, like the the overall numbers and the support and the overall positivity. Like we're not getting constant complaints about how shit CA is, which you know, I sympathise. <laughs> Trust me, but it's not a com constant conversation about Creative Assembly. I'm glad that that has sort of come to an end for now. So we're just focusing on the game. And I think that leads to better streams. Because people were really getting sick of the, the mood of the community. The mood is a lot better right now. So. Ah, oh, what? Oh, that's fine. Alright, so we look at this and it says there will be a revolt next turn. Now, do you see how it says collected income? We need to compensate for that, so there'll actually only be minus one if we leave this, because I'll turn it off at the moment you seek there's going to be a revolt. Could you wound him? No, nope, no chance of it. Wending my way. So he comes in here, and he comes in here. I cannot obey. And Brooke, we sack no it. Failure. They cannot live. Hang on, if we just leave it under siege... They're still ready for peace, yeah. Kind of. So this is the, the moment of truth. Either... Either this is going to be a quick reviving of Teclas, or it's going to take us a, a bit longer. Either way, we will do it. Um, Execute the fiend. Yeah, leaving it under siege. Hmm. Fang sword bites deep. Well, we're missing out on experience and loot, so we'll just, just do that. Tor Ivris demands Smash our this. Okay. You can't sack it and go in under siege. I always get a comment or two like that. That's fine. Okay. We want to kind of stay out of the way of the rebellion, which will probably happen somewhere over here. Okay. It seems inevitable that there will be a revolt now. Because even if they... Even if they untax it, that'll still make it minus nine. Thanks to all these characters here now, the revolt seems very likely. Cool, they started recruiting an army over here, but that is not going to work for them. You need to come back over here, make sure there's nothing going on there. Cool. What's this? Oh, you on bow. Okay, let's see if there's any good traits available in here that we can... Sort out. Samuel Svitan did a five euro super chat. No message? No worries. Thanks for the super chat. Alright, let's see if there's anyone in here that deserves Yuanbo's trait. Because my other dude's not ready yet. I could just leave him under siege for two turns. That wouldn't be a problem. Me. Yeah, I think I'll just leave him under siege until uh, my uh, Dragon World character is available. Wait, 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 wait. What about? I need to check for a Life Wizard. I didn't check that has flammable, because that'd be especially good for that particular army. So, looking at Life Wizards. We got resistant. God damn, it goes down too fast. Resistant and spry. Resistant hand. Uh, resistant life wizard. I might. I might actually make use of this one. Okay, let's get the trait. So this one here. What are you? Resolute. Dedicate to Isha. Okay. 
In which case, there's nothing being... Oh, except for that one, though. Yeah, okay, just leave that then. Don't... Don't, um, reset... Excuse me, don't reset her skills. So replace her with... Oh, God, trying to find it in... Needle in a haystack here. Resistant... Oh, I just saw it. Resistant Life Wizard. You come in. Good. Assyrian, take them. I don't know what army I'm going to give her just yet. And it doesn't matter because we're just going to reset her skills. That'll get her available again in four turns. And I'll attach her where she may be needed more so than this. So I just want to put it all in here. Yep. Fury Grab that. Of the winds. Also didn't check for rogue armies at the start of the turn. You're right. I need they to do that. The might of Safari. Spirits remain unbroken. Okay. Now this one here. High Elven Archmage. So she gets reduced Winds of Magic cost for that one. And also an additional 10% there. So 30% reduced. For her specifically. And then pop that down and just put some random in this. Yeah, you'll do. Whatever. Can I offer assistance? Lethal grace given form. Cool, cool, cool. Farming that trait. Okay, we need to check for rogue armies. No, nothing to worry about this turn. Thanks for reminding me, though. I do need to be reminded, because I forget. And over Time here, of both of these have the trait from Yuanbo. Awaiting orders for the Phoenix King. Change your name? I did change your name. How are you making that much money with High Elves? Have you found an exploit? No new exploit, just Princess of just got a lot of territory and building a lot of economic buildings, that's all. Gladly. Asser, attack. Does lower winds of magic cost on lords also affect order resolve? Oh, I don't know, man. Asser, Probably not by much. Fight. Seize the city. Typically traits and... Abilities don't provide that much bonus in order resolve. Defender of the Asir. Your request? Alright, we well, may be able to make it, but I'm not trying to rush over there too quick. What would you have of me? Okay, that looks good. This one here needs So Iron can reduce the um, upkeep cost on Swordmaster of Hoeth, but I don't necessarily expect to recruit too many armies of it, so maybe you won't worry about it too much. Plus our We'll probably make more money from this because it's in, it's uh, doubled in its finances because we got that many vols. Your will is done. Yeah. All right, keep going. Doesn't matter if you keep taking attrition, but you've got to get over to here. All right. There's a battle to be fought there. All right, so this one here. Let's start making its way to where it needs to go. Destiny lies. I don't think down. I need it in the old world. Earth protects them. The winds hearken to me. Ladriel, grant me your sight. Whatever. So, what do we need here? It's got one Frost Heart Phoenix, and the rest should be Arcane Phoenixes. That gets us to 19. But if we have a look here, we're currently at. 15% ward save. Okay. We can do a lot better than that. Alright, let's see where we can find a flammable wizard. Or two. It's resistant. Okay, there's a flammable fire wizard there. The See if there's any more. No. Okay, that's fine. 
bring her in. And that'll give us a full stack. We don't have a siege attacker, though, in this army. Not unless we can get a lord recruited at rank... 22. Which, that shouldn't be too far off. If we can find another conscientious, that should be fine. So that one still takes two turns. And since we're not likely to fight in the next two turns, let's not worry about that right now. Let's see what else would be of high value to us. So this one would give us armor for White Lions of Krace and Swordmaster of Hoeth. Speed for some of those units would be good. Reduce construction cost and construction time for settlement buildings. Since we're spending a lot of money on that, that seems like a good option. Let's do that. Mage, by the White Tower. And then that'll be the last recruits there. We may end up disbanding some of these arcane phoenixes to make room for more heroes, but this will this will be fine to begin with. Uh, Thanuka Roshan did a $10 super chat. Thanks for the stream and playing High Elves, my favorite raids. Hope to see an Imric or Artharian stream someday in the future. I think that's likely. I like those two guys. Thanks for the super chat. Alright, still not sure what I'm doing over there. When is that Paladin coming back? Next turn. Okay, everything is stable on this front. Serving and we're just chilling. Just chilling. Alright, I think it might be an okay idea to switch Alariel over to here to get... The, oh, no. While we're really not sure... Because they could have quite a lot... No, they don't have campaign move range to get us here. Where, what is Orion doing? He doesn't have any enemies. As if he's not going to declare war on us. Alright, get your ass over here. Standing by. In ambush dance. Ready to attack. And let's set up a trap for him at Carcassonne. The Ever Queen. See, if he sees this as being poorly defended, Wait. he might try to strike it. Let's get him to trick. We're ready August. for him now. Mistress of the let's get him to strike forest. sooner as opposed to later. Okay, and then she could use. How's your magic? Yeah, you're pretty good. Ever Queen of Althwan. That's much to ward save. Probably not gonna put Mentor on her. She's got too many other skills that are more important. Oh, favorable wins is pretty good. Princess. All right, we've got a battle to do here. His ambush failed. Ready to serve, master of magic, princess of the Azure. We should be able to handle this. I bring What's your trait? Oh yeah, that resistant wizard. That should take over this army for sure. Azure lady. Absolutely. Can I offer assistance? High elven archmage. I know my destination. For the Ever Queen. Alright, that probably indicates that this will be an easy order resolve. Toward power. Yeah. After to battle. And good, a character that we intend to keep will get physical resistance from that, so that's good. Unfetter the captives. Good. Still don't have any other missions from Clan Angrand. I think we have to wait two more turns before we got enough influence for them. Asurians decree. Protector of Ulfon. Alright, that one needs a priestess of Isha. I think this Truly one here's got magic. it. Because they got two. Your command? So put them where they're most needed. Really good follower. We march. That's why this one doesn't keep Magic up quite as well. Right, hopefully they can reach Shard Bastion next turn. Uh, maybe, maybe not. 
Look, there's no other armies over here. I don't see any reason why we can't just force march a little bit closer. Disciple. The Archmage marches. We shall not rest. We go. Your instructions. Oh. Come on, stupid dragon. Asil rejoice. They may or may not be able to reach. That's fine. Okay, and Tyrion is able to hit Fortress of the Damned. That's good. Checking Loyal other areas out here. Not seeing any major enemies. The Hopefully we can just auto this. That'd be good. Although they've got 20 units, so I kind of doubt it. No, we have to fight it manually. Not as strong in order as Z is manually, unfortunately. Super easy fight, but I can't auto resolve that. Will you try and get Dreadquake Mortars? Um, I'll think about it. I don't think it is something that I need to get. But I'm not saying no. The problem with getting Dreadquake Mortars is that eventually you're gonna have to declare war on the Chaos Dwarves. And if you declare war on them, or they declare war on you, you lose those units. The only way to keep them is to ensure that a different faction takes them out. So there's there's a lot of risk involved in getting an alliance unit. Lose an order resolve to end the campaign? Yeah. <laughs> You already have a dragon army? I am recruiting it right now. Understood. Right, so these just stay out of the way and let Tyrion do his thing. Immediately. Dan Aliku did a RON25 super chat. Hi, Legend. Thank you for the entertainment. Loving the multi-part stream. Also, why do you not build the trade resource buildings? Okay, you... Thanks for Super Chat. It's a very commonly asked question. It's fine. I do build them, but you only build one. What the... No, 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 no. No. You only build one because that's all you ever need. This would be an easier question to explain when I was on the campaign, so... If you can remind me when, when we're on the campaign map, I'll explain it then. Because explaining it now without visuals out. doesn't help. Done. There's the wizard. Ready. Forward. Moving out. Yeah, let Tyrion do it. Because they the kind of get in each other's way. Brave and true. I shall. Hmm. For some reason, he doesn't want to use the As Reaver bow. Maybe there's a minimum range. It is done. Glory use it. Awaits. Quick time. As one. By your command. Okay. This is finicky. That's all. Probably wasn't worth bothering with. Almost through. I'm going for magic. It's fine. Yeah, I can see why it wouldn't let us auto resolve it. There's a lot of really good units in here that just don't stand a chance against Tyrion, that's all. It's 
So wait until they blob up around him a bit more, and then we'll pop down the dwellers below. Cool, try to take out two units at a time if we can. They're usually not going to blob up any more than that. So if they've got 20 units, and each one of these takes out two units, it'll take us about 10 of these casts, which I'm not sure if we've got enough Winds of Magic for that. Looks like it needs two casts per, per Chaos unit, Chaos Infantry unit. Taking out this guy here will be super easy for Tyrion, but these guys here just get in his way. Can Tyrion's weapon strength get any higher, or has he peaked? Uh, I could get a little bit higher by getting certain defeat traits. For example, Scarbrand's defeat trait, Grimgore Ironhide's defeat trait, but we're talking like marginal improvements. It's not going to get much better than 1.4k. They come out this way, that's fine. That was a good shot. Is Valkyrie the Bloody anywhere close to being a one-man doom stack? I can never seem to get her powerful enough. She can be a very good one-man doom stack. Yeah. If you get the right equipment, you can get her almost maximum ward save. She's a flying character. She's small. Uh, getting her... Uh, not, not the Chainsword. There's another one. I can't remember exactly what it's called. She has this area of effect ability that uh, just deletes infantry. It's really powerful. So these Chosen with Hellbloods have only done 300 damage to Tyrion, so that's not much. Okay, Tyrion's good against trolls. Because, yeah, there's 15 trolls, that's 15 hits. Whereas, infantry take a lot long, longer to kill. A lot longer to kill, I mean. Cool. Well, The Bane Spear, yes, that's what I was thinking of. I just can't remember what every item in the game is called. The Bane Spear, yeah. Is it just me as look at 1.6k? Yeah, so when I do this, it increases his weapon strength. Same thing with, um, yeah, just this one here. So it, it just briefly goes up to 1.6 whenever I use Deadly Onslaught. So these trolls here did nothing. What are these? More chosen. What's his bonus versus large? 10. Okay. How's our magic? Still got a bit. And we don't have to eliminate every single one of these units. Just enough to cause the army losses. I don't think we're going to be able to cap the town square. That's just a... Just don't really do it as much in... Since the latest patch. Why even have an army for, Tor for Tyrion? Order resolve strength? Yeah, pretty much just order resolve strength. So we get him the cheapest unit we possibly can. Otherwise, we have to fight every single battle with him manually. Because the, the cost on these units is basically nothing. And they're already super experienced. He reduces their upkeep cost by 50%. Every wood resource that we get reduces it even further. So it's really cheap. Could go with spearmen as well. But honestly, I feel like archers are better. So she's done 33,000 damage, and Tyrion, yeah, Tyrion still outpaces her. I 
All right, that'd be worth more than a unit of Chosen, I think, in terms of um, bounce of power. And Tyrion can kill that really quick. Let's see how much damage the Giant does in return. So far, zero. Tyrion just has too much melee defense. 48 damage per hit. Victory's in our grasp, that's good. Where'd that Lord go? I don't remember ever killing him. Maybe I did, and I just didn't even notice he did it. Basically, the fewer number of entities, that's what we want Tyrion to attack, because that's where most of his weapon strength won't get wasted. I think I might start running in and just seeing if we can cap this just to speed things up a little bit because this is it could take Tyrion a while to kill them all and that's just not very interesting here to that one actually no let's get this one here because that'll reduce their melee defense oh but there's yeah can break this one I wasn't going to re-download until 4.2, but you are rekindling my interest. That's cool. Cool. Uh, I hope you have fun with it. If you're going to play it again. Hey, Legend, do you think that Lord mounts are always an upgrade? For example, should Zatan stay on Lamasu, or is he better on foot? That's a great question. It's a very commonly asked one. It is not always an upgrade. So it you always need to take into consideration the enemy that you're going up against. Now... Think of it like this, the more anti-large and the more high damage projectiles that they have, things like guns I'm talking about, guns and uh, armor-piercing crossbows, the bigger your mount is, the less appealing it is. So let's just say you're going up against a dwarf army, and they've got loads of slayers and loads of guns. Go on foot, because the guns will not shoot you while you're on foot if you're playing on very hard battle difficulty and the slayers won't be able to beat you. Um, if you're if you're riding a dragon, right, and you're going up against something with a lot of missile units, go on foot or go on a horseback because they won't shoot you. But if you're going up against something that's got no flying units, got no missile units, then use a flying mount. So always tailor the mount that you have based on the enemies that you're going up against because this is a strategy game, at least somewhat. And strategy is the um, is the thought of like outmaneuvering your enemy and ma making it so that you have the advantage. It's not about stat stacking. Even though the game does do a lot of stat stacking, and we're doing it a fair bit in this campaign. I'm going to loot Monkey Park some that money. Spoils. Don't mean to nag, but what's the deal with the tradable resources? They usually bring boatloads of income in longer campaigns. You're absolutely right. I'm making 50,000 gold per turn through trade. So, right. 
So you might look over here, for example, and notice... Oh my god! Legend, why aren't you making iron here? Well, if we have a look at our trade resources at iron, for example... Do you notice how I'm making 897 ingots? I'm only exporting 33%. That means the other 66 or 67%... Do you know what happens to that? those tradable resources? Completely goes to waste. It, you don't sell it internally, it doesn't make any money whatsoever. So, building up another trade resource of iron is completely useless. Now, how am I doing something like this? If you have a look at the High Elf Lords, so we'll take this one here as an example. They have a trait called Merchant Lord. Now, this increases tradable resources produced plus 2% up to 9% uh, faction-wide. Now, this, this uh, skill here is active when they're disbanded. This is why you might see me do something like this throughout the campaign. So, I recruit a shit lord over here for 850. Okay, let's firstly have a look. Look at how much iron we're producing. 897. And then I go... Okay, from 897, we then go up to 915. Okay, without building another another structure. And we'll still get that 915 when that character is disbanded. So, where is the iron coming from? Well, it's coming from Vol's Anvil. We're getting 100 there. And we're also getting it at Hag Grief. So, we're making marble from here, which means I don't need to produce marble, right? So, we've got the exotic animal bazaar. So, I do build some of them because... We're probably massively producing animal cages, right? So if I have a look at that. Animal cages. Yeah, look at that. 1,300 of them. But the reason why I build this is for the reduced upkeep cost of dragons, eagles, and phoenix units. And also eagles. But the reason why I don't get iron is because the the um, upgrade on that one is reduced upkeep cost for Swordmasters of Hoeth, Phoenix Guard, Dragon Princes, and Chariot Units. Now, I had no intention of recruiting Swordmasters of Hoeth, Phoenix Guard, Dragon Princes, or Chariot Units at the early stages of the campaign. I did end up building one, but it's a bit more of a meme than anything. Now, this army here is not costing me that much. Now, if you were to consider... Oh, it is costing a bit. If we also consider this building here... Right, this one is making 800 plus 400 gold per turn, so it's making 1200 gold per turn. Right, would demolishing this building here and replacing it with reduced upkeep cost? Oh, not Port del Sol, Torfinu. I guess I could get rid of that one and build the iron because I'm trying to reduce the global well, I, I successfully reduced the global recruitment for it. I just don't really need to reduce the upkeep cost if it's just one army of them. And so you just need to take it on a case-by-case -case basis. I've got access to all the tradable resources except for tusks, gold, and dwarf beer. Now, dwarf beer and gold can only be obtained at Sartosa, but as for tusks, I just haven't got access to them yet. Uh, but everything else will just be increased over time. So I only ever need to produce one of those buildings unless it gives some uh, significant benefit. That's why I haven't uh, built them. Just because there's a landmark, like for example, there's a landmark over here, Ziggurat of Dawn, and I never build it because it doesn't provide any tangible benefit. Unit experience gain per turn plus 200, corruption minus 10, recruit rank plus 1. Who fucking cares? So I don't build it. Just because something's there doesn't mean you have to build it. Same thing with the landmark at Uvres. Great for defending the settlement, don't get me wrong, but it's only, it's only useful if you're defending, which we're not. So it just depends. You have to look at the situation and make a judgment call. All right, let's have a look what next. Uh, let's have a look at the settlement we just captured. Shield against the Fortress darkness. of the Damned. I intend to sell this to Alithanar. Could build that to increase the cost on it. High Elven Archmage. Because, yeah, it could get, it, it's vulnerable via sea, and I'm just going to keep going across here. So I want Alithanar to deal with the sea invasions from Norska for the time being. He's starting to build back up. I could borrow his armies, but it's seen that when you borrow his armies, he seems to just stop producing units properly. 
And it's not like I can't uh, stop him. Sorry, not like I can't do this on my own. The winds are rising. Master of high. I need to get both of these armies out this way. If this army have them just magic oh, in purest form. How about you just start Even moving on your own that way? Sleep. What's your trait? Yeah, you need to be removed. But I'll leave that one there for now. Okay, Alariel. Alariel the Ever Queen. We stand yep, that's ready fine. For action. So we're just preparing for a possible attack from Talson. I've gone into ambush dance to sort of lure him in because I think if I declare war on him, I'll lose reliability because we had treaties with him up until recently. I serve the king. Yep, that's all fine there. I think we've done all of our military movements. My reputation precedes me. Yeah. You summoned me. Okay. All right, what do we got here? I await your orders. And, okay. You need a ancillary. I need more of those court attendants. They're so good. Ninety-nine percent success chance. That's great. Good. So yeah, at rank twenty, if they've got that, we so basically at rank past. thirty, they have a hundred percent agent success chance, what do you which require? is nice. Direct. Get that. Let me just check something. Honorable this guy here needs to level up. Currently, eighty percent chance of success. If I put a point Born into anything, leave. it's still okay. So you don't need to put the points into anything. All right, I was just curious. Destruction. Noble son of Ulthuan. Okay, and then over here, what do we got this turn? Got Prudent, I don't want Prudent. They never get Frugal for some reason. They get their lower level t uh, uh, trait, but never Frugal. Well, I've never seen it anyway. Nobles, we got another Honed one. It's not what I want. I want more, um... Whatever, I'll just get it anyway. Standing by. What else we got? Lord Masters of Hoeth, Hoeth, Disciple. No. I think we already checked for mages. What yeah, we did. Require. We haven't had a feckened character show up in a really long time. So I'm going to try to Order force more of them to show up. Because I've got heaps of influence now. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. I don't need to put points into anything though, just leave them be. Uh, Boo Aziz did a become a new member. Thanks dude, appreciate the support. Okay. Let's go into construction. Tech has revived? Not yet. Oh yeah, still working on it. Hopefully in the next couple of turns, but we'll just have to see how things play out. Okay, so this one here, since I did recruit White Lions of Grace, fine. What else do we need here? Yeah, that one there. Yep. Yeah. I think he stopped producing units because you kept emptying his treasury with the settlement sales. You, you could be right about that, yeah. <laughs> oh well, if he's not producing units, I don't really care. I'd much rather have the money, even if I'm rolling around in cash. Better in my hands than his. Because at one point he had like three full stacks, and then he got completely depleted by Hellebron. And it seems like he's taking ages to get back to the scratch. Alright, all of these settlements here are now safe. So we can get rid of all of these. Yeah, it's safe unless a endgame, not an endgame crisis, a um, rogue army shows up. But I'm not going to put walls everywhere. It's economically silly to do that. So I don't mind doing this one here for the reduced upkeep costs on white lions. Since I did actually recruit them. I don't need to keep that.
I'm not going to keep Shagrath, so don't bother developing that. Or that one there. Cool. All right, let's have a look in diplomacy. Does High Elves have a trade good bonus from unique ports? Yes, I believe they do increase their trade goods that way. This action. How can I assist you, Dragon? All right, so here's what, here's what I'm thinking will happen. Over the end turn, a revolt is going to occur. It's either going to be Clan Spittle, which I don't think it will be, or it's going to be a generic Skaven revolt. If it's a generic Skaven revolt, then. Shit, I just realized that if they capture that, I won't be able to sell this back to Clan Thingy. If they besiege... Okay, yeah, okay. Since it's a walled settlement, they'll besiege. They're not going to capture it straight away. If it is the... Um... Oh my god, what are they called? Generic Revolt. I need to peace out with them and give them Fuming Serpent back. Wait the 10 turns. During that 10 turns, I'll go fight the Lizards. And then when the 10 turns expire, we capture Star Tower and then do this exact same thing, but for the Fuming Serpent. If Clan Spittle shows up, we help them to take the Star Tower, however I can, I guess. Then when they are revived, we negotiate with them to have Fuming Serpent, and then I immediately declare war on them to have the Star Tower. So hopefully Clan Spittle shows up, but we'll just have to wait and see. This is going to be a weird turn. Just checking our scouts. Everything seems safe on our borders. Always got to check. Yeah, everything seems good. Another thing that we should be checking for as well is Beastmen. Because sometimes Beastmen's uh, herds can show up. And they can get lost within the notifications. But nothing there. Faithful servant. So we've got dragons coming Lord in here. Phoenix and we've court. got phoenixes coming in there. Magic. Cool. Very bloody expensive, but that's, that's okay. Got the money for it now. Alright, also, did I recruit a prince this turn? I didn't. Make sure we do that. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. Thank you. Alright, let's move on. Why don't you confederate Tora Lassor? Well, I can do that at any time. And, like, let me ask you a question. Do you think that me confederating them for those three regions strengthens or weakens our position for a no-defeat campaign? Because I'll tell you right now, it weakens us. Having territory over here, making us a small amount of money, what for? It opens us up to get attacked by all of these fuckers out this way. Grimgore Ironhide is one of the strongest factions, and he's close by there. There's Zinch down here. If I take that, if I confederate them, I will have to raise new armies to defend it. What for? Just leave them alone. Now that you are here, I will hear your words. We can confederate them at any time. So we'll get them when all of those other enemies are dealt with. It's not like they have a legendary lord or any landmarks there. I don't know what people's obsession is with confederation all the time. Like, sometimes it's not the best option. You have enough money for a few more armies? Absolutely. And I'm building those more armies. I am recruiting more armies. But I'm going to need even more armies. Like I said... It's going to weaken our position. So why would I do it? Why would I do something that weakens our position? We could just do it later when it actually strengthens our position. There's no time limit on it. From a strategic point of view, confederating them makes no sense. Only good thing to confederate them is reviving Imric. Yeah, well, we're focusing on Teclas first, and then I'll send all those Lore Masters of Hoath after that, and then we can maybe think about it. Because reviving... Imric is a little bit more difficult because we're so far away from his start position. Uh, 
All right, let's find out what they do. What type of revolt it is. I didn't see, I can't see the revolt. I assume it did revolt because we, we did fuck up their public order. No need to be pressured for a confederation now, because we can respec. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, we'll confederate them eventually, just why do I need to do it right now? There's no strategic benefit in it. Once we've taken the southern chaos wastes and all of the southlands, absolutely, confederate them straight away. Easy territory. But right now, no benefit. They're also not under any threat, so they're not going anywhere. They're a faction that very rarely gets attacked because the AI doesn't get line of sight uh, or doesn't even go traveling over there because they're so out of the way. When is the endgame crisis? Soon to maybe soon because it's any. I've got everything on default because I didn't think we'd get to this point in the campaign. Um, so anywhere between turn 100 and 150. I'm actually hoping it triggers straight away because I want to know which endgame crisis it is because I am limiting my expansion based on potential endgame crises. Crises. So once the endgame crisis has reared its ugly head and we've dealt with the initial phase, if we have to, I can be a lot more aggressive, which is what I'd like to be. See, with Warhammer 2, I knew exactly where the endgame crisis was going to be, and that's why we were able to prepare for it. But in this one, I can't prepare so well. Alright. I didn't see anything bad happen over the intern. I d also... Clan Spittle's not coming back. Wait, hang on. Who is that? These are just dwarf rebels. They're gen it's a generic rebel. It's not a proper faction. Okay, so that means Clan Spittle was wiped out. I can't negotiate with this faction, which means I have to negotiate with them. But I don't have to lift that siege for them. Alright, so I'm just trying to think what to do now. Northern provinces have been destroyed. Okay, we found out about Clan Spittle. They were confederated. Um, only lies in a bottle of shit did a 5 euro super chat. Am I the only ones who find it hard to distinguish your faction from Fog of War on the minimap? Um, yeah, no, because we've got the same color as Itza. So, looking at that, it's hard to tell. It's, it's the exact same color, pretty much. Okay, okay, okay. Time is of the essence. A wise course. I am no one's slave. No mercy. My prowess is needed. They cannot steal our unity. How can I assist you? It's a dwarf rebel faction because there's no scaven corruption. Okay, it doesn't really matter which one it is. Haunted by fate. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The only thing I'm thinking is that we should probably lift this siege. It wouldn't be in our best interest for the the dwarves to succeed there. Would it No, we should get rid of it because we don't want this public order to, to get better by 20 per turn. Alright, so get rid of this rebellion. Alright, we're gonna have to do it the the other way. We must avenge the fall. Coin is all available. Unfortunately that gives them military crackdown benefit. 
And also, as soon as we peace out with them, all of our guys here will stop providing penalties. The water. But yeah, it's time for us to go fight some lizards. Maybe it would be better for this guy here Defend to come and fight lizards, as opposed to Cathay. Maybe. Well, then again, a lot of the stuff will probably be dinosaurs. What news? We're gonna need armies down here. Just get your ass over here. We're gonna slight redirection. All right, we're gonna go fight lizards. So. Not this very You're turn, but we're going to start getting in position for it. Take as much as we can from the Skaven first. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. What would you have of me? So we'll take this. Uh, Simon Mikolajek became a new member. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. Who killed Miao Ying? I don't usually see her faction die. I think it was Loki or Felhart. Cathay is basically Dark Elf territory now. Okay, so we want to get out of this war, but I think we should sack this first. If we occupy it, we won't be able to give them Fuming Serpent. No glory. Only surface. Failure is unthinkable. Break their words and their spirit. Okay. Then Prince just Elf get out of here. I permit it. So we'll have to just come back here in a bit. Alright, you. Servant of the tower. Yeah, let's use you as the scout now. Come over here. My quest continues. My soul. Right. We need to give them back the fuming serpents. I will have my way. Make a lot of money out of it. Wait, can I get another settlement out of them for this? Let me just check. That's pretty good. If only I could do this without having to do a peace treaty. I miss out on 20 grand, though. Money, whatever. Alright. Okay. Oh, damn it. It reset their public order. God damn it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's. Okay. All right. Well, we can't we can't attack them again for a few turns, obviously. Um, yeah, repair all this stuff here. I'll start recruiting another army. It doesn't need to be Eltharian that's that's doing this shit. So, if we pop these characters in here, it won't reduce the the. Um... What do you seek? You seek illumination. Yeah, that won't do anything. Just trying to think, how can I lower their their public order now? Star Tower is vulnerable. It has no garrison, and I'm going to recruit an army here. And we're also at peace with them. So, it, I am going to recruit an army here, though. So, we'll just get a... Uh, we'll get an Archmage. Probably just... Uh, there's a different resistant one. It's low level, though. No, we should get a Light Wizard, not Life. So, let's have a look. What do we got in here?
I'll go with that one. That's fine. High Elven and we'll dedicate her to Mathlan. Which will also give us a global bonus to money. By a little bit, not by heaps. We want Nerd of Amantok, but we also want... This army did not cost too much. And I'll give her a... Let's see here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with Lothar and Seaguard. Artillery still take two turns to recruit globally. She'll be here for a few turns. So we can get that started now, that's fine. Could also attach a whole bunch of these guys into the army. Yeah, because that'll also level them up. They are under my protection. They may have refuge. We could go and do this, maybe. What do you seek? They may have refuge. Hoeth protects them. They are under my protection. They are under my protection. Hoeth protects them. Okay. Yeah, basically get things kind of prepared for when we want to cause a revolt there. Okay. You see this guy here I want... No, no, this... This one is my scout in this area. Yeah, you should actually come back around this way. Okay, that works for me. Alright, and then these two... We'll probably need to recruit a new army here. At the Dust Gate, we need to build defenses, because this is where the Skaven are going to try to come through when we eventually go back to war with them. I think we'll need another Handmaiden to scout ahead here. Let's recruit that here. Didn't get what I wanted. Handmaid so use the rest of scout. Because yeah, we're about to go to war with oaks. lizards. Uh, Brother Humaya did an SAR 10 super chat. Are you trying... Are you not trying to get techless now? Yes, I am trying to get techless. It's just that I have to wait. I have to wait 10 turns now before I can declare war. The Lawmasters of Hoeth can't reduce the public order unless we're at war with them. So I can annoy them by trespassing, but that might not... I don't think they're going to declare war on us because we have crippled them. So we're going to go do something else while we're waiting for that um, treaty to expire. Let's I should be able to kill the lizards in about 10 turns. In defense of Ulthwan... Okay, over here, we'll be able to grab this army next turn. Yeah, because I'm going to smash your, words and heart your ass. My hounds will gorge themselves It'll also make me end up going to war with Argwalon and them. So it might be best if I declare war on Argwalon. Hmm... Yeah, I gotta figure out how to do that. I think what I'll do... How much does he hate me? Were it not for the okay, I'll try heart. to make him hate me more by trespassing on his territory. I want him to declare war on me, because if he does that, I don't go to war with Arguilon, which I don't want to. So I'll trespass and be like, suck shit, bitch. Were it not for the Good, that's pissing him off. Me. That's what we want to see. Let's... Project Piss Off Trees. Guided by light. Long. Moving. We stand ready for action. Moving out. If I had my way, yeah, the that's pissing him off ma massively. Uh, I'm your neighbor. Did a five dollar super chat legend for high elves? Would you pick life or light? Law of magic depends on your army. So if you're using single entities, use life. If you're using archers, light. Lord of Ah, oh, they did that. I was wondering why we weren't recovering any. Alright, here's what we do then. We just recruit a new lord to transfer that army into it. So he'll go over there and pick up the army next turn. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Need to make sure they replenish. Do, 
pretty good. Uh, we could already get him some of the way there. They're not going to be able to attack us. So it's all good. Use influence to decrease relations? No, I'd save my influence for other things. We, we'll do, we can so easily do it for free. Why would we pay a resource? Just because I've got heaps. I want to spend it on something a bit more valuable than that. Alright, research wise, what do we get next? Heavy Ithilmar armor, highborn champions, drummers. I'll go with drummers. Oh, yeah. Look! Noble son of Britonia. He belongs to me now. Look at this, we've got a, a paladin. No vows, I don't get to use his vows. That's interesting. Well look at this, I got a I got a paladin. Hmm. I can start accumulating chivalry per turn now. I do have to pay him. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do with him, though. Paladin. Thing is, the ancestor here is to be so much better because they're free of upkeep. Yeah, I, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I, I don't think this is a good hero to get. Six hundred upkeep for a paladin. Yeah, like this is just not really a great hero. I wouldn't put him in this army. He doesn't provide any benefit for it. If we have a look, I'm actually inclined to disband him. <laughs> the thing is, if I disband him, he dies permanently, and that oh, by doing that, I've weakened Bretonia. I just wanted to see if I could steal that hero, which I did. As for this one here, oh, I got a great idea. I don't care about this army. Taking my leave. <laughs> I was about to lose that army anyway. And yeah, I get my to keep it. Legend. Keep it afterwards. I don't know. I guess I'll just use this guy as a scout. I'll put him on foot. Otherwise, we're paying a lot extra. He didn't... What? You don't get to put him back on his mount once you've taken it off. Maybe if I reset his skills... Going forth. He's like that. Pa Maybe it's because the mount actually belongs to Bretonia. <laughs> I don't know. Damn it. Damn bugs. Why can't they make the bug properly? Can you steal Ariel? I believe you can. Speaking of which, where is she? The waker of trees. Where is Ariel? I thirst for the hunt. Did we kill her when we killed off the Sisters of Twilight? There she is. So if I become really fr Oh, it's attached to Dirthu's army. I can't possibly steal that. But, yeah. That would be interesting if you could do that. That would be interesting. For sure. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Just doing a bit of a, a round about here. What do you require? Seeing what's available. All right. If you will it. Looks as though, yeah, we can reach the shard bastion. That's good. High elven archmage. That's good. True magic guides me. Can you save the pels to load another high elf campaigns? I don't think so. It'll be saved for a Bretonian right campaign. Take the Seed of Rebirth off the Paladin? I think I did, but you're absolutely right. I should Order do that. Has arrived. What happens when you respawn his skills? I don't know. Why don't we check that out? We'll give him a timer. Oh yeah, I gotta get these items off him. Vagabond. I'm gonna steal that. Alright, let's see what happens when, when we reset his skills.
Alright, I think all of this could just be handed over to Alithanar now. Shield of Alaria. It's not going to get vigilant. done. Very well. And Tyrion should just march on to Palace of Princes. Preparing a fire. Moving out. Infused by Hoet's wisdom. Sathuri's servant. The Archmage marches. Alright, time to gift How a bunch of settlements. Starting so with kin. this one here, the Shard Bastion. Let's see what we can offer him. Uh, let's see what we can get for that. Circle of Destruction, maybe? I'd like to get that settlement. Nope. Twisted Glade? Doubt it. Nope. What about Black Creek Spire? Nope. What about Ashrak? Okay, I think I can offer him a different settlement for Ashrak. Uh, what about Iron Frost? What if we start taking this province here back, since it's no longer a dangerous settlement? Dangerous province. So, Iron Frost. Oh, wow, he really likes Iron Frost. What about Glacier Encampment? No. Alright, I'm just going to have to give him the Shard Bastion. for f Not for free, but for money. Looks like... Looks like that's all of his money. Alright. Very well. Then, we want to give him... Shagrath. Yep, there it is. And maybe I can get Ashrak off him this time. Because that's a... Yeah, that's a higher value settlement. Cool. He's out of money, apparently. But I can steal more money than that. Cool. And I'll take that. The end justifies the means. Yep. And then we want to give him this settlement over here, Fortress of the Damned. There it is. I don't think we're going to get any settlements off him for this. Karen Carr, he doesn't value it that much. Alright, we're just going to give him this one as a gift. With, you know, with money. This serves Nagarith. Alright, cool. Yeah, Still if... Concerned. Let him sort out the problems, and then I when we confederate him, we'll just get it all back. Let him build this up, because it's all just shit territory. Teclis's command. Full speed, Asya! Hang on. You two need to High move together. Archmage. High mage. Be prepared, Asir. Hoef sends us. Cool. So as we progress along here, every time we capture a settlement, we just give it to Elithanar, let him sort out the problems, and we just march across the Chaos Wastes there and take out enemies. And then we just get them all back when we confederate him, which will be seven turns after we're done with whatever we're doing. Oh, I got Ashrak, so let's uh, let's have a look at that one. Yeah, no. Alright, what are we doing next? So, Eltharian has moved. This one here has moved. This one moved. Welcome. Yep. You called... Yep, that's fine. High Elven Archmage. Ready. Right, there's your handmaiden. Wait, no. Your handmaiden's still wounded. That's a different one. The most gifted. I serve the king. How many armies do I have now? Seventeen. I bring Azurian's fire. If the AI is broke, do they start to value money more in diplomacy? No, it's not like Troy. No. However, if... Short answer, no. 
Oh, look at this. Oh, that's fine. Doesn't matter if it takes an extra turn. I hear the Kadaif. Then again, I'm probably not going to keep that anyway. The I think it's because I, sw I switched the um. By the white I think tower, one turn before I should have. Alright, we still need more of those mages. We're looking for flammable. Last time it was Life Wizard that was flammable. Okay, it's Life Wizard again. My powers are yours to command. Cool. So when I'll that's done, that'll make it a full stack. Mage. And this will be at 25%. And then we can get 30% with that, 40% with their innate skill. 45% when we switch this one out because this is not the right skill. We're waiting on a life wizard that has Yeah, the, the life wizard that has flammable. There must be a flammable one in here somewhere that's stopping us from being able to recruit it in the life wizard. Let me just check. Because we definitely want it to be a life wizard. Alright, there it is there with a the beast wizard. What about flame? Alright, so if I recruit and disband the beast wizard one. High Elven Archmage. And then also recruit and disband a life wizard. There's a chance next turn that there'll be a flammable life wizard available. I think that's how it works. Or an increased chance of it, more like it. Okay, then over here we got these guys to go do their thing. I always try to put the... Oh, where is it? The court attendant on their first attempt. Because you don't want them to fail. Destruction. On their first attempt. Okay, good. And you should get off this. True son of Ulfwan. There will be carnage. You have my attention. There will be carnage. Brave son of Ulfwan. Smash it to ruins. I fucking failed 88% or whatever it was. Give the word. Oh well, it happens. Awaiting orders. True son of Ulfwan. As far as I, I can tell, they're all securing influence each turn. Defender. Speak your mind. What do you require? Noble son yeah. of Ulf. But we don't want to do it again. If we fail again, it goes on for two turns. Alright, what else? Uh, okay, so we've done all of our military movements. That dragon army is still recruiting. Uh, let's have a look at any potentially new lords that have shown up. Because I wouldn't mind recruiting another army. It just depends on what traits show up. Nothing in the princes. Nothing princesses. Alright. Alright, let's do some construction and move on to the next turn. Alright, I tell you what I will do. I'm gonna start recruiting some Lothurn Sea Guard spams. Oh, but I'm globally recruit oh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, to go over to Cathay. Moth and Seagut is a, is a good, well-rounded unit to deal with uh, Dark Elves, I think. I'm sure some people were sitting there thinking, why not... Um... Yeah, I don't need this anymore. It's... Don't need this, really. Why not Sisters of Avalon? And maybe, maybe you should do Sisters of Avalon, actually. Yeah. Yeah. 
school and like I haven't really been using my administrators lately, have I? Well, now that we're rolling around in cash, we just don't really need to do this anymore. But what it does do is it helps speed up the process by a turn, which, that, that's nice. Okay, get that one. Cool. Scholar Supreme. Sort Law of Shadows. I think you recruited it previously. No, I don't think so. I think I think we might be getting our wires crossed. That might have been a hero, Law of Shadows. Yeah, there's a resistant one there, but that's, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, we don't have anything there that we want. That's good. Okay, at the Black Pillar. So, with our die maker, I'm fairly sure we haven't maxed out on that. Yeah, we could make more money from it, but don't need to. So over here, let's... Yeah, I want to reduce the global uh, uh, construction time for those units. So I'll get that one again. And same thing here. Yeah, same thing there. <laughs> it looks weird having those three in the same province. Are Lords with Builder Trade also worth it? Right now, no, but in the early stages of the campaign, yeah, sure. Okay, that's good. No chance of Bretonia betraying me right now. Yep, grab that. And Chamber of Visions is a good one for us. Looking at Bretonia, I mean, the relation's not super high, probably because I haven't sold them any, any territories lately. I would go and fight the vampire accounts over here, except that I think we really need to prioritize fighting Talson first. Speak. Right, I think I've done everything that I need to. Oh, I could get this noble here. Moving out. <laughs> go secure some influence here. Destruction! If I had put a court attendant on him, he would have succeeded. My agent succeeded. Chosen oh my God. Avisha. Ugh, 90%. Fail. Fail. Oh well. That's life. But anyway, that that's pissing him off a lot. Which is what we want. We want him to declare war on us now. Nagarus has got another mission for us. Sertha Ek. Who's there or yeah this guy here we're more likely to pick a fight with all right checking for rogue armies nope uh beastmen also check for them nope all of this is looking good a few levels up over there need to be distributed but i don't think it's urgent so that one will go back around this way and you'll go through here Tyrion doesn't need to worry about getting caught out this way. What am I forgetting? Am I forgetting anything? We have to make sure we sack this every single turn, because if I ever forget, they can reach the Chamber of Visions and attack it, and that would be very bad. Maybe this I army this. should actually be on the other side. Look, as long as you're actually within their zone of control... Stop if I ever forget about it, they have to, at the very least, break through you. No, they don't. They could attack you and then back off. <laughs> and then... Yeah, okay. 
I've got to be more careful with what I'm doing. How can I assist? All right, we're fine this time. Maybe, maybe the Chamber of Visions. Maybe I should put a defensive building here just in case I ever forget. Because that would suck if I just forgot to sack that settlement for one turn. And then they attack that and we lose a battle. Because it's fucking Yuan Bo and this garrison can't handle it. Loyal okay, let's move Guardian. on. Alright. Over here. Yep, that's going to upgrade soon. They need to send these guys somewhere. Well, I guess as we're about to conquer through here, they'll be able to... Oh, they can go and do the Servant Awakening. That needs growth. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Handmaiden of Alaria. By the White Tower. Also, did I check for new lore masters? No, I didn't. Same thing here. Standing Keep hoping on. for more emollient. We don't seem to be getting as many as we were before. That happens. And did I recruit the handmaidens that I was supposed to? Yep, chuck them in over here. Handmaiden of Alaria. And this one as well. Warden of Wait, Saffari. Conductor, what's that trait do? Nah, that's not useful. Alright, cool. I think I've done everything that I can. Nice quick check for diplomacy. Same to declare war on somebody that kind of likes us, but yes, at your service. I don't have any use for them now. The okay, let's move on. <laughs> Where's corn going there? High elves are terrible against well-armored races like dwarves and chaos warriors. Uh, I don't really agree with that. I mean, if you're using basic archers, like tier 1 archers against Chaos Warriors, that's not really a fair matchup. If you're going up against armored units, you've got Sisters of, Av Av Ugh. Sisters of Avalon, you've got... So in terms of infantry, you've got Sisters of Avalon, um, White Lines of Krace, Swordmasters of Hoeth, Phoenix Guard, and then for monsters, you've got three different types of dragons, Phoenixes, three different types of Phoenixes, You've got chariots. You've got cavalry, which I don't recommend. So no, I don't disagree. Sorry, I don't agree that high elves are bad against um, armored races. Henry Cavill chucking in a three dollar super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. I'm sure that's the real Henry Cavill. Wouldn't it be funny if that was actually the real Henry Cavill? I, I just... <laughs> I don't believe it. Because, like, he donates about $3 every single time. But he's done it, like, a hundred times. So he's over the course of years, he's donated, like, 300 bucks. I don't believe that's the real Henry Cavill. <laughs> He's not, because I am. Oh, of course, yeah. Okay, uh, we'll sort this out once and for all. Can everybody who is Henry Cavill in the chat say I'm Henry Cavill? Just so that I, I'm aware of how many Henry Cavills there are. I'm using ad blocker, haha. -ha. Uh, that's fine, because I'm actually not running any ads. Well, I don't run ads during live streams. I was a bit worried he was going to declare war. Man, he's offering a lot of money there, but money is really not an issue. Yeah, I thought so. There's a lot of Henry Cavills in the chat.
I got ads when joining your live stream. Well, that shouldn't be happening because I set the settings to not have ads. Well, there shouldn't be ads running during the live stream. I'm definitely not running them. I said to YouTube not to do it. So you shouldn't be getting ads. I guess YouTube is just like, well, he said no ads. Yeah, see, ads automator off. I've got an ad button, but I never click it. It does say right now, it says, now would be a good time to insert ads. Creators earn more money inserting ads to... Sorry, inserting ads, the more viewers are watching. Give it a try. No thanks, it drives away viewers. <laughs> I'll run ads on the VODs. I don't run on ads on the live streams. When you first tune in the stream, you get two ads and none during. Oh, okay, I guess that's not so bad. Turn off adblock for vids. That's all good. I mean, one day adblock is going to be completely banned on YouTube anyway, but I don't care if you use it. You guys should super chat plenty. More than makes up for it. Why do you think your viewers enjoy your high off streams so much? Maybe it's because I enjoy them. People, as far as feedback goes, people usually like watching streams when I'm having fun. As much as some people, a vocal minority, like to watch me suffer, I don't think it's the majority. There seems to be a correlation between the factions I don't like and and uh, fewer, um, fewer interactions with them. Well, nothing happened over that end turn. Absolutely nothing. Oh yeah, wasn't I going to recruit? Oh, I keep forgetting to do stuff. Yeah, do this before Ready we forget. To I will do my duty. I will leave the Astro. I didn't get any ads when joining. Maybe it's a regional thing. Who knows? Orders. Who knows? Preparing. Not sure. Onward. Can I offer assistance? I go. Okay. So the reason why we're doing this is to get rid of this hinder replenishment problem. Loyal prince. And then just get rid of him. Lethal grace given form. Loyal servant. Ugh, red territory. That's gonna take a long time to develop. Loyal so keep servant. keep this one here to just keep an eye on the Skaven. Orders if they receive. declare war on me, that's totally fine. Defender of the Asir. On my way. But it's time for me to go and declare war on Gorok. Sir Princess, we march! <sighs> Onward! And he's not gonna see it coming. We've also got this army coming in. Your decree? I will which I'm not sure if it's even gonna make it there in time. On. That's good. Full sails now! Land so this one's missing a handmaiden. Which we didn't get the right one this turn. That's great. Invasion of Cathay. Yeah, we're working on it. We're getting there, maybe. We'll see. So public order here is improving. Well, Trained is by there. the White Tower. Speak. 
Ivresse's guardian. Okay, this goes to tier four. Nice, and get these Loyal over here. Handmaiden. Ever faithful. Law master of Poe. Orders. The winds cool. Uh, Tlak seems pretty safe now, but we can get rid of that, I think. My life for Tor Ivres. Stand ready. All right, with Eltharion, it doesn't make sense for his first strike to be on, like, the Blood Swamp. That doesn't matter. I think what we should do is hit this faction as hard as we possibly can on the very first strike. Right at Itza. If we trespass on his territory, he's he's, he's probably going to start getting pissed at me pretty soon because we pieced out with um, Pestilence. I don't really want to go all the way around here for that. Handmaiden of the Evergreen. These guys here, hang on. when I declare war, no, I'll join war via Pestilence. That way I don't go to war with those other idiots. I will avenge. I'd say we just go for this. Mm. Yeah, I need to recruit a lot of. Sail forth. I want this to be a very swift war. The strength ranking is not super strong. But I currently only have three armies in position. Awaiting orders. I just got rid of that fucking barracks there, didn't I? We want Lothurn Sea Guard. Shit. Because, yeah, globally recruiting them here means I won't be able to globally recruit them elsewhere. You'll just have to recruit some shit. Probably not going to attack them next turn. I want to see what's going on. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Um, let's recruit a lord here. It's just any old idiot will do. Oh, that dude's back. But we need to give him Thingo's trait. Um... Go on, Bo. Yeah, recruit this dude. That's fine. Can I offer assistance? What we can do is have this guy occupy this settlement with Eltharian standing there, and then have Eltharian actually occupy Axlotl. That being said, we really do need to get some more scouting going on. My handmaiden, my other handmaiden got assassinated. Not, not fully assassinated, but wounded. This one here is a scout. Let's get it up in here. I want to see exactly what we're going to be dealing with. I want this initial strike to hit hard and fast. So, Chakwa. Easy settlement for us to capture. Add key tax over here. I can only recruit basic units. Should have left that barracks there. No time to rebuild it. Which means I'll probably just have to recruit archers. Unless I go globally with it. Yeah, this will be where we recruit globally. This Prince guy here. I don't think he's going to get down here in time. I think by the time he gets here, the, battle, the war will be over. Rogue armies. Alright, we'll check that first. Uh, no rogue armies. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, they don't come very often, but when they do come, we need to be aware of it. Alright, we should put a light wizard for this one. Probably just a bad trait will do. Do not want Luddites. High Elven Archmage. Master of Magic. Dedicate her to Mathlan. That. All right, locally recruit and globally recruit just whatever we can. Don't worry about artillery. 
because the next couple of turns we should have it down to just one turn recruit time so we can save that for later but yeah just mass amounts of recruitment here it's time to just clean lustria up super quick we don't want to drag this war out because some of these armies are commanded by very dangerous characters so we need to keep track of all of their dangerous shit yeah but, you know, Clan Pestilence is still fighting them, so hopefully most of their armies are heading down south, and we're going to hit them from the north. How many settlements do they have? Seven. Alright, let's... Okay, hang on. Let me track where every one of their settlements are. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. That's not much. If we look at Pestilence, Pestilence has 14. Okay. Horned rat provides... Yeah. Oh, that reminds me as well. We could... Oh, we don't have a um, edict there. You could also pick up a few additional units. Oh, you've got regular authenticity guard available here. Might as well pick them up. And yeah, just a massive rampage into Lustria. Finally a proper war. We've been sitting on our hands a little bit. Oh, also... <gasps> Oh, hello. Oh, we didn't get any items with them, though. <laughs> Level 24. Alright, we need to get these guys wounded. And it's all... It all happens here. Lord of the Asray! Alariel the Radiant. Alright, I need you to Handmaiden give me a little bit more insight about what's going on here. Oh shit, you're taking attrition. Stop Setting camp. I await your orders. Keep Alariel in ambush stance. We're not gonna make the attack just yet. We lie in wait. Greetings. A noble and worthy cause. Okay, I want you to actually succeed this time, so we'll give you a court attendant, because <laughs> fucking 90% chance fails. Where is it? Let's see. There it is. There will be carnage! Nice. Right, this army here will force march it up. Casting the rules. Got full sight over here, nothing particularly dangerous. We've got ten turns to get these two characters wounded. And we do that at either the King's Glade or the Oak of Ages, preferably the King's Glade. But these three armies pushing in together up against these, we should be fine. We'll have Alice of the White Lion take out Canals, that'll be super easy. Maybe just move in a little bit closer. Going for. Ideally, it would be better if if Talson declares war on us, because otherwise, if we declare war on them, we also go to war with these two. There's no way around that. So two big wars are about to begin. This is not really a big war. Uh, if they capture Fortress of the Damned, maybe we should make sure these guys here are. If if we're nearby, they won't bloody strike, will they? Ready yourselves. There I think you I need a Be prepared, Priestess Asor. of all. Full speed, of you. I cannot rewrite reality. Magic in purest form. Priestess of Isha. I don't know why I keep saying Priestess of all. Boundless wisdom. Okay, that's really handy. High Elven Archmage. Okay, the Silver Tower of Sorcerers seems yes. no issue. Defender of Elfwhite. Easy to resolve here. There is glory to be won. This place is ours. I did not think you could get ghosts wounded. You can't assassinate them, but you can get them wounded in battle. Yeah, we're going to steal the, the um, Clan Angren Ancestor Heroes. 
Your instructions. All right, these two both the should be ground. fine to just force march up to here. On my way. The most gifted. They should be fine. Elithanar is on his way as well. Looks like he's got a fair few more armies. That's good. Yeah, build up. Every territory that he can manage to claim on his own, that's definitely a good thing. Alright, checking our armies over here. This one's recruited some dragons. We've got to recruit a few more. A lot more, actually. It'll be a little while before that's ready. Uh, this one here is ready to go. Kind of. Do not tarry! I know my destination. Ladriel, grant me your sight. Okay, so looking at them now, we've got Phoenixes with 25% ward save. 136 potential winds of magic. How High many Phoenixes? We've got 1, 2, page. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 Phoenixes. So 7 heroes. 13 is an odd number, and it's a number of Skaven, so maybe we should have 12 Phoenixes. So maybe one more hero, which means disbanding one of them, that's fine. Let's see what's available here. The last one was a... There it is, flammable. I'll take, I'll take, okay. Mage of Ulfwan. Um. Yep, that'll be attached into that army, and I'll get rid of one of these inexperienced or less experienced phoenixes. So yeah, we'll have 12 phoenixes and 8 heroes. Now that hero there, sorry, that lord needs to be replaced, but we just haven't seen the, uh, the, the lord trait pop up yet. Maybe it's available this turn. It's got to be a light wizard, and it's got to be flammable, which once again we didn't get. I believe it was a beast wizard last time that was flammable, and once again, flammable again. Uh, I think that one's always going to end up being flammable because it, it prioritizes it in that order. So, if I recruit and disband this one every single turn, it's always going to be flammable. So, we're just going to have to wait until we get lucky here. Because you can get a second flammable show up, but just haven't, it just isn't happening. So, recruit this. Disband it after doing that. At least, hang on. Yeah, at least it makes us a little bit of money. And influence is not an issue, so that's not a big deal. But it's a little bit annoying that we're not getting the traits that we want. Okay. How can I Hopefully Yuan Bo is here next turn. Let's have a look at our technology. We're at 911 research rate. Plenty of things here that only take one turn. There's no rush for that just yet. Yep, that's fine. Whatever. Alright, I think we still need to recruit the princess. Oh, we've got two in here. Princess of the Asur. Asur lady. What would happen if you recruited and didn't disband for a turn on the best flammable? We are pure apart. Probably nothing. On the beast flammable, uh, it would probably still be a beast, a uh, flammable beast wizard. It'd be the exact same thing. The game doesn't check about what active heroes you've got and their traits. It doesn't care. It'll just be flammable again and again, I think. Alright, you, you have need to go attention. get your influence. So, always try to make sure you've got as high chance as possible. Smash it to ruins. Good. Not getting the traits here that I want. Just gotta keep recruiting until we do get what we want. Now, 
That's weird. Is that I clicked on this and it went to skills. Hmm. It's weird. Not the button I selected. Brave and true. Standing by. Destruction. Fucking hell. Jeez. Freaking failure at 88%. It's <laughs> how well does these happen? You have my attention. Noblemen. A lot of these guys here have quite a lot banked up. So, not that big of a deal, but I do need to get them to succeed a bit more. Uh, can you respec wound borrowed heroes and lords? We've actually got that currently going on. So, we borrowed a... No, you can't... Okay, so, that's actually a good question. I can't go into their character details while they're borrowed. Yeah, I can't do that. Uh, but we stole a hero from them, and I've respect it. So if we have a look down here, we've got a yeah, we've got a um a paladin that's ours now. Prince. All right. Still checking for other hero stuff. So handmaidens, we're still looking for. No, nope, that's not what we're looking for. Handmaiden so of the gone. And the reason why we got this big pile of heroes here is because there's followers that we can get that's really useful. Hand maiden of the ever And then Lord Muscles of Hoth. We've got Resilient here. Okay. Resilient. This is the trait that I think that we want to get if we want to make a Lord Master of Hoth, a proper Lord Master of Hoth Doom stack. So I want to make note of this guy. But we need a lot more of them. Obviously, one is not good enough. So, <laughs> if we can get 19 of them, I'll make it a Law Master for a stack. I'll get this guy in the meantime. You seek illumination. Speak. And yeah, just okay. We'll keep this dude. I'll even save him there. Alright, and then wizard. No, we've already sorted all that stuff up. Okay, now for some construction. A <laughs> Dirthu rematch. Yeah, if we get enough of them. If we get enough. We'll see. If he's still alive by the time we get that many. Frozen City. Uh, that's fine. Nagra, yeah, Nagra needs those defenses. Dargoth doesn't. Welcome to Australia. Okay, there's a port here, so I'm actually going to go with building two of these this time. Uh, Just Carnage did a 10 dollars chat. Have to head to the office. Just want to say thanks for the series. Been bloody good fun. Also, shout out to the community for the positivity. Good on all of you. Alright, thanks dude, and I feel the same way about it. Appreciate that super chat. Hope you have fun at the office. On home. Yeah. Yeah. And the last slot here can be for. Yeah, that's good. Slaver's Point, we should have that developed. Just in case something comes up and attacks us. Do you remember that battle in the last No Defeat campaign as the Empire, where there was a turn where I for just for, for, forgot to kill Malekith, and then he attacked a minor settlement that was damaged garrison, and we managed to win it by the skin of our teeth? 
I have nightmares about that battle. Okay, so Hotex column, we could build the iron. There is eventually a port settlement there. Because, yeah, that would reduce the upkeep cost for Swordmasters of Highest Phoenix Guard. Shit, I, I, I think I'll get it. I think I'll get it. Why not? Might start rebuilding some of the iron mines because I am getting some of those units now. Golden Ziggurat, there is a port here. We don't need it for herbs though, do we? No, there's no benefit to building more herb buildings. Great Turtle Isle is green. Could go with this. But I'm still not sure if we're at the right amount of these ones. I can always demolish it later. That can be repaired. Oh, that's right. This one here is going to build defenses because we just might make a mistake one time. And then this, we definitely want to upgrade that. A reckoning. Mm-hmm. Got our other Lord Master of Hoth Doomstack. Prince Eltharion. Yeah, I want you to your wound success chance up. Whatever you say, Ever Queen's chosen. Guardian of Avalor. Proud to serve. Okay. Awaiting orders. Lilith protects me. Okay, I think that's everything this turn. I'm just going to go through the military stuff one last time, just really quickly, to see if there's anything that I've neglected. Don't think we're under a lot of pressure on many of the borders. No, we're all good there. Done all the construction. Let's check diplomacy one more time. What? Mm -hmm. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Keeper. I serve the king. Now. Reichland's uh, pretty close to wanting a military access. Greetings from Sigma. Two grand for that. How much territory does he have? So. Fourteen. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. So what's his problem with me? Diplomatic prospects, baseline evaluation, and distance. This doesn't really serve any purpose for us. Who call for Cathay? You called? Yeah, can confederate them whenever I want. I just then don't want to. Okay, moving on. At Legend of War, do you think you are better with High Elf or Skaven? I kind of feel like I'm a better Skaven player. I feel like I'm a good High Elf player. Those are two of my strongest factions, I think. I think I'm really friggin' good with corn. <laughs> um, I'd say I'm better with Skaven, though. The shit that I've been able to pull off with Skaven is insane. Because High Elves are a really strong faction. They're stronger than the Skaven. The Skaven can do all kinds of shenanigans, if you know how to play them well. Their OS Sigvold army on the sea? Yes, I know. I know. Why not spend the extra gold on what? Uh, military access with Reichland. It just doesn't really serve any purpose. Yeah, nobody's, nobody's a better rat than me. What's your wife's opinion on daily streaming for hours? Um, I'm making good money, so she, she's fine with it. <laughs> Didn't sack you on both city, did he? I did, yeah. I did sack at that turn. Would you say Bellico or Archeon are the best Warriors of Chaos? 
Oh, they're both really close in terms of um, their quality, but I, I personally prefer Bellicor. So yeah, if I stopped making good money, it should be like, stop streaming all the time? Probably. <laughs> she definitely liked it when I took a break from streaming. She definitely liked that. She, generally speaking, she just supports whatever I, I do. Except if I'm doing something real stupid. Like sometimes I run ideas by her and she's like, don't do that. That's so stupid. And I'm like, Tyrion, okay. Champion of the Ever Queen. Why don't you buy military alliance with high off faction with extra gold? I should do that, shouldn't I? I can afford it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I should do that. Thanks for the suggestion. I mean, as long as they don't ask for something ridiculous, um, that shouldn't be a problem. Example of such stupid idea? No. I'm not gonna tell because they are stupid ideas. I come up with a lot of stupid ideas. I used to just not run things by her and just do them. I don't do that anymore. I have a dumb brain. Like I'm good at these games, but I'm bad at life, so I, I usually have bad ideas. Don't need to know what they're doing. If this was Warhammer 2, all the remaining factions would probably be about equal strength to me. <laughs> Everyone is like just a sliver of red, with a couple of exceptions. to know what you're doing. <laughs> They're like, I'm going to threaten Fortress of the Damned. Two armies there. I'm not going to threaten it. Which faction is second in strength? It's either Lockyer, Felhart, or Grimgore, Ironhide, I think. Cool. That's all fine. Almost turn 100. All right, what are we doing this turn? Having a look at this. Yeah, they're slowly getting more public order. I think it's eight turns now. Yeah. If they declare war on me, then that's fine. We can get started on that straight away. They're probably record. Yeah, they're recruiting nothing but trash there. We can declare war on it's a this turn if we absolutely have to. They can't counterattack us. Although we've got an army standing there. Like I said, I wanted to hit them really hard to begin with. Of and our artillery is not in position here yet. You have oh, there's my resistant kill. wizard that got wounded thanks to this freaking turd, I think it I was. Am no one servant. 
I will see to it. I actually should kick this guy out for the Dragon Will dude. Because the Dragon Will dude could use some experience. I think Yuan Bo will come back in the Oh my god, I got so many freaking characters. Trying to find them as needle in a haystack. Hopefully I didn't already pass him. There he is. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Shen Lui. The Asur follows strength. Our spirit remain unbroken. Asur Prince, set in camp. Time is of the essence. True art court. Because, yeah, honestly, Eltharion's first battle should not be against a nothing settlement. We want to hit them as bloody hard as possible. Just get rid of all of their armies so there's just no ability for them to counterattack. And doing that there makes no sense. However, if we start trespassing on them, or if we wait too long, considering we're their main threat, they might uh, decide to preemptively strike. So I think we can justify trespassing on this turn. Seek out enemies. Yep, and have this guy stand Kmyo. He'll he'll make the attack on the Blood Swamp, and then Eltharion will move on to Axlotl. Hopefully that army stays there. Like I said, we want to hit them as hard as fucking possible. And just absolutely smash these idiots. Master Mage. This is where we're globally recruiting. Moving into position. Still two turns. I need to get some more of those built. Her need more loyal, intel. We see, yeah, Gorok is making his way down here. I, def I actually would like it, him to occupy that. They've got barrier. They must have a, um, finest. a thing active. At your service. The bulk of their forces are right here. Alright, so these two. Orders. Try to get some more winds of magic. Treading lightly. What would you have of me? Goddess, hear Wait, me. we do have a wizard, right? Give the word. Well we will. I sense items of power. Alright, it would be great if you didn't get wounded this time. So I think I've got an ancillary I can give you. No, don't do that. It's not going to come into effect. I think there's some stuff in here I could put on her to reduce the chances of... Yeah, Herbalist. Let's just get rid of all of them. These are, this is a bad follower. Eh. Maybe not every last one of them. Herald of Mathlan. There's way too many of them. Guildmaster. Ooh, income from trade tariffs faction wide. Interesting. <laughs> Food taster, that's it. Yeah, I would like it if. I don't think Alario needs it that much. If he didn't get hit. Disciple of the Phoenix. So we got. Yep, we got some more of those we can put in. Okay, because yeah, you've got some decent spells we could use in the coming battle, and you're the only one that's got any winds of magic, win uh, any like spell casting. Loyal subject, we stand ready. I think we've got a, a bit of a fight ahead of us here, just a bit. Your instruction, your will is done. Oh shit, I just realized I'm supposed to be recruiting an army here. Should be a wizard. Uh, make it a light wizard. 
Doesn't have to be a good one. This is to defend us against a Skaven attack. Uh, dedicate her to Mathlan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still only takes one turn because we have a effect that, just because of our faction, takes a, a minus one turn to recruit units, so it's good. Uh, I would prefer to get Lothar and Seaguard, but the settlements aren't high enough level for that yet. And we're already using global, so... Trained by the White yeah. Tower. Can't get any more of that. Lethal Stay in the middle of that. Okay, that'll get built, which means if I forget for a turn, it should be fine. I just need to remember, really, to stand on top of that. Alright, now this army shouldn't take too long to get down here. Yeah, because the others are still on their way. And if we finish up with Lustria completely, maybe then we can just go via this spot here instead to Lustria, uh, to Cathay. That actually might be a better place to invade from, because this is like a corner. That'd actually be better. Okay, so these ones over here. Can I offer assistance? Mage of Ulfwan. Ready yourselves. Hoeth's disciple. The Athua answers the to organize this to make it look a little bit tidier. Ladriel. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned there, this is done, except for the Lord. So that has 30% ward save, but we can still get it to 40%, and then 50% just because of... Um, this no 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 um this one here fifty percent ward save is pretty good I wield the winds then yeah sail through here and pick up their stuff should be fine Led by the winds no problem there good if you fill up the Lord recruitment it'll be one turn sorry if you fill up that Lord recruitment it'll still be one turn less the turn after. Loyal handmaiden. Magic in purest form. Uh, uh I'm not sure what you mean, sorry. Weaver of spells. The Grim Prince. Okay. So here we could do this one. Sometimes these armies are pretty damn strong, and we've got some low-level Law Masters of Hoeth. But even a low-level low Law Master of Hoeth is pretty strong. And we've got this one over here. There's still 19 Master units versus Student probably a full Tetris. stack. For 20 grand. Imagine if we lost this battle. Then again, Toward you're on power. horseback. You should be on a dragon. On a great eagle. And what's... What lore magic? Light magic. Okay. What do you see? <laughs> they may have It'd be so friggin' funny if we lost this. We got a good army. And we can heal. We got some magic. Cavill, where are you? Not Cavill. Liam Hemsworth. You got skills, right? Yeah, you got some skills. Alright, let's do this. Master of magic. Use Regiments of Renown. I save Regiments of Renown only for emergencies. Ah, uh, it's fine. We need not fear our lessons. All good. No big deal. Perhaps Worried about it for nothing. Is Oxyodl still alive? Yeah, Oxyodl actually is beating Zinch down there. I think what happened is Zinch overextended themselves. And ends up in many wars all over the place. Cool. I bring Azurian's fire. Good stuff. Now, giving them that rank up is really handy because we need to increase the spread control here as soon as possible because that's what's going to lower the public order for them. Good, that's maybe shaved the turn off because of it. Who knows? Another turn, maybe. Oops. I should get that. Good. So I think we still got seven turns we have to wait until 
we can declare war on the Skaven again. Although, maybe I can do it a turn earlier. Take a little bit of a liability penalty. Let's see. Cool. And just, yeah, like we'll recruit that. It's fine. Ever loyal. Loyal attendant. Under her protection. Okay, looking good there. This Shut army down. here, if it came up this way, it would not win. It doesn't matter, it's... We're gonna take control of that situation real quick there. Okay. Alright, over here, we are waiting for this one to catch up. But just be careful. Because if we force march up to here and they declare war on us and we don't win the battle, then it was all for nothing. So we've got to be really bloody careful here. If this guy is able to force march to here, then that'll that'll work well enough. Light of Avalon. Are we able to launch the attack from there? No, we need to get in a little bit closer. The time is now. Under her protection. Urifa! Allow me. You get I back await over your here. Orders. I am a fount of knowledge. Radiant. Right, until out here. This is all looking On the march. fine. You can deal with that. Right. Prince. Oh, he's on an eagle. He gets a lot of different mounts. Um, the if I declare true. war on Talson, then this army here could strike us at Canals afterwards. So we need another army to back him up because oh, I don't have a whole lot of confidence in this. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's too dangerous. Could borrow another army. Could borrow this one again. Looks like they've actually disbanded a few troops. Could borrow this one. It's a full stack. And there's some good units in there. Alright, I'll borrow that. Thank you very much. Because you're going to get dragged into this war as well. Okay, maybe we'll need to wait until that one shows up. Have them work together. How are we going over here? Servant of the king. Alright, go into ambush stance. Oh no, I can't. The Archmage marches! Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Stupid bloody thing. Seeking a trial. Carried by magic. Trying to lure them over here. Locked me out of the bloody stance. Look, she's not important to be here. Let's. Let's respec her. I probably should have taken off her equipment. And just put... Just put a basic one. It doesn't... No, actually, get a, get a new one. Uniped High Wizard? Sure, why not? Oh, Ridiculed is better. Better bad trait. Embrace so I'm trying to hide so they don't see us. Oh, True this one doesn't have the precepts of Isha. I'll have to put that back on. It's on administrator. Oh, which we didn't. I guess we'll find out if that was the right one. Nope, wrong one. Took it from the wrong one. Nope, I keep taking Master it from the wrong one. Of high magic. <laughs> okay, just. Just do this, because otherwise I'm just taking it from the wrong way. Because I keep ordering it differently. Shaper of fates. There we go. And what we want to do here is try to get this army to actually land. Otherwise, they're gonna look for a undefended settlement, and I don't want that. What orders? Attack! My lady disapproves. When will we be able to confederate Nagareth? Well, when it's... I can confederate him whenever I want. I just don't want to. He's I more useful to me to doing this. Far more useful doing this. Occupy this place. 
Have you considered playing a campaign with no DLCs, no confederation, no regiments, no better units? It could be harder. It could be harder, but it won't be as fun. So what's the point? What's the point in playing a game to make you it make harder, but make talent. it less fun? I mean, it's up, it's up to you. If you want to do that, you go for it. Um, I just don't see the point in that. For order. Asura to battle. The Lord of Wisdom protects us. Yeah, what's the rush in confederating Nagarith? They're so useful to us Asura alive. Um, active like this. Good. Anytime I can skip a siege, that is definitely worth it. Yeah, we're looting occupied because there likely won't be any buildings there, and I'm going to sell the settlement straight to Alithanar anyway. I serve the Phoenix King. My magic is okay. Yours. Palace of Princes goes to Alithanar. your soft southern realm, my kin. Uh, you're not going to sell me anything for that, are you? I'll just take the money. Fate favors us. Cool. You have to collect them all, and I will, but I just don't need to do it right now. Protector of the Ever Queen. Okay. Oh, you got a few points to distribute. Alarial's chosen. This is a shit trait, right? Protector of the Everqueen. Yep. Alright, this one here is taking a bit of attrition. Purest sorcery. Right, I'm gonna take one of those. Asurian's decree. I've only got two, but this one here needs some recovery. Oh, I got way too many minstrels. Let's get rid of some of them. Okay, at least she's getting some recovery there. Led by the winds. True magic. She got lots of levels up. Okay. Probably neglected that one for a little while. Okay, let's check for hero stuff over here. Alright, this guy needs a court attendant. There will be carnage. Good. Asurian reborn. Noble son of Ulthul. Yeah, this guy here. I think I'll need a court attendant on him as well. Oh, it's just so bloody hard to find a needle in a haystack sometimes. Smash it to ruins. Brave son of Ulthwan. Smash it to ruins. What news? Destruction. Good. Good number of successes so far. Destruction. Good. What do you require? There will be yeah, There we go. <laughs> I got, got a few of them done. Take heart. Oh, I don't need to level them up. That's fine. Okay. Have we made all of our military moves? Let's have a look here. That's fine. Yep. I think all of our stuff up here is done. Alariel's in position. I might have to wait a couple of turns with that. Alistair's in position, ready to strike here. One. Yep, that guy's making his way down. Okay, that's all of our military movements made. Let's check for other heroes to see what's available. Nobles, we got no new capacity. Also, nothing particularly good there. So, yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. I guess we can skip on that for a turn. Once again, didn't get a good trait here. Just... Handmaiden of a lot. I haven't been getting the traits that I wanted. Nope. Alright, so the 40 influence ones. This is the turn to recruit them. Put them in here. 
conductor. Nope. Lawmaster of Earth. And the handmaiden crushing. Pop her in that. Handmaiden the of The more alive. characters we've gotten here, the more chances we'll have of getting more of those followers. Oh, we should put some more for um, the guy in Vale, shouldn't we? Because that's that's really good. I'll just put some shit in here. <laughs> yeah, we can always get rid of them easily. Just put some shit in there. Got plenty of mage capacity, don't we? Yeah. Let's just put some friggin' shit in here. Mage of the White Tower. Okay. Yeah, we're still working on Techless. I'll try to get him by the end of today, but. Yeah, we'll see. We get through the turns fairly slow, just because we've got so much to do every single turn. Alright, we've still got construction to do. Can't neglect this stuff. If we neglect it, it will make us suffer later down the track. We're saving up shitloads of money. Oh, that's right. I forgot about what that guy suggested. With Tora Lassor, go for a military alliance with money. Oh, it's only 15,000. That is, in the grand scheme of things, that's nothing. <laughs> uh, okay. Most astute. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Oh yeah, we could. We could maybe we can buy some more military alliances. Man, fifteen thousand for one. That's, I thought they were gonna ask for way more. Golden order. Okay, they're the ones that lo most likely to, and they don't. There is no amount of money that they'll accept for a military alliance there. I think it's because the relations just aren't quite high enough. But they're approving of a bunch of things. That it, it could just require a bit of patience. So, these guys here. Honestly, once we're done with Lustria, they're next. So, might be an idea to cancel that. Not, not yet. Oh, man, I'm making money from them. Eventually. So, Ostland, no. Ice Court, maybe consider. That would cost us 43,000 for a non aggression pact. I don't think so. Alright, resume construction. But yeah, we got our military alliance with Toro Lasso. That could be useful to borrow their armies to cause shenanigans. Because what we could do is like borrow one of their armies, send them somewhere, like over here, and then and then give the armies back and then declare war on the faction, basically forcing them to occupy territory down here. <laughs> it could backfire though. Could backfire. Come on, bloody sticky things. All right, this turn I just want to check to see if we're globally recruiting. Oh, where was we? Recruiting? This one here. In Hi, one turn, I'm pretty sure we're not. No. Okay. So we do have a port in the settlement, so I guess I'll go with that one. Oh, we are building that one there. So that'll be done. Oh wait, but that's not the tier three one. It's the tier four. I'm not going to change anything. We've got two ports here, so I guess we can go with that one. We'll get a bit of extra money from that. And influence, which is nice. Good. So that is the only place I believe that we're making salt. Best place to put it is in a red settlement. Same thing with this one. It's the only obsidian that we're producing. And it's just obviously being multiplied many times over. Uh, the Shrine of Loic. I don't think we need these defenses here anymore because... I'll keep the one at Misna because there's enemies up this way. But we've got the Bretonian coast and Estalian coast, so that's safe. Right, we've got two of these being built here. Because, yeah, once we've got ten, I'll be able to globally recruit those things in one turn, which would be nice. <coughs> i just leave that. That would actually be a good place for the iron, since it's a, a low economic area. Don't worry about it until we've properly secured it. No point developing that territory there. We're going to give it to Alithanar next turn. Change Edict in Red Desert? No, there's going to be more construction there. It's about reducing the construction cost. 
Uh, ah, whatever. whatever. It'll be 13 turns before that happens. Alright, all of that's done. Alright, technologies. We're at 951 research. Have I recruited my prince and princesses this turn? I don't think I have. Yeah, no, I haven't done that yet. How can I assist you? Oh, my income's been going down a little bit. How many freaking armies I've been recruiting? Lady of the Phoenix Court. Then have I recruited the the life wizard that I'm supposed to check on? Still no. So we're looking for flammable here. I just gotta keep trying every single turn until I get it. The influence cost is not a big deal. And you know, we globally increase our income. I don't need to check on that. Increase our income every turn. And then checking for other heroes. Oh, I think I've already done that, haven't I? Let me just do a quick double check. Yeah. Yeah, we've already done that. Cool. Alright, technologies. We're now at 981%. Reducing the upkeep cost of Lothurn Sea Guard makes sense. Check for rogue armies, which I think I've already done, but check again. Yep, all good. Cult of Sigma, let's have a talk to them. Mighty Sigma has granted me the power to see untruths in the words of others. Hmm. That would take more than 10 turns to get a return on investment with that. I really don't see myself invading this general area anytime soon. There's so many other areas that are priorities. Why are you no like me? main threat. Baseline evaluation minus 25. I could... Let me try this. If I offer to join war against the Sentinels... Though, yeah, that... Okay. They're not gonna declare... They're not gonna come at me. And if they become the endgame crisis, they declare war on me anyway. So this is fine. I'll get my money back after just one turn on that deal. Sigmar's will. Cool. And who knows, maybe they'll accept the peace treaty soon anyway. Cool, 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 get it. Notifications. Okay, and let's move on to the next turn. Just just checking this one again. Master of Runecraft. Your word? Duty calls the Ever Queen. Yes! Okay. I weave need to be able to strike forest. the King's Glade. Devotee of the Lady. Mm. I definitely should wait for them to show up if we're gonna have to deal with this. Spellweaver of Athel Lawrence. Friends of the Empire. Not gonna be able to get a military alliance with him. Maybe we should spend some influence to improve relations with Reichland. Cause I think I think that could be a good military alliance. For shenanigans. Reichland, where the fuck are they? Okay, we'll see what happens with that. And let's move on. Giran protects me. Chosen of Alario. Aren't High Elves able to see the territory of factions they are trading with? That was in Warhammer 2, they took that out for Warhammer 3. For some reason. Good. They put that hero in the army, so I can kill it. 
Yeah, put all your heroes in your army so I can kill them. Yeah, they took it away from the High Elves and gave it to Yuan Bo. Yeah. I kind of wanted that guy to stay there. I mean, it'll make the assault of the settlement a lot easier, but it means that they'll be able to counterattack. Yeah, if Itza could drive the Skaven south, and then I'll drive Itza south, that, that works for me. Are you close to confederating Elithina and did you manage to revive Teclis? We're working on Teclis. So, haven't done it yet. And as for Elithina, I don't see myself confederating Elithina for a very long time. I can do it if I want to. I just think strategically, it is better to keep him not confederated right now. He is so useful doing what he currently is doing. He's not in any danger of being defeated. And he's securing a lot of territory for us. He's going to be very handy in conquering Norska, which is a pain in the ass to hold on to. Because conquering the whole map, you don't have to do it on your own. Having some allies of your same race to help you conquer territory can be very useful, especially if they're powerful. And then at the very end, you can just confederate them. He's a good puppet. Yeah, he's very, been very good puppet. And I've been trading him bad settlements for good settlements as well. So I've got most of his good territory. How do you revive Alithana? Uh, I think he revives at the... Monoliths? I think that's where he revives, but I'm not sure. He's not dead, so I'm not too concerned about it. Good, this is what we wanted. We wanted them to come in up this way. Because otherwise, they're just not interested in engaging with you. I thought the AI didn't get cheats if you're allied with them. I'm not sure. Welcome. What brings you here? No, not yet. Alithana revives at the two minor settlements in Nagareth. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I'm just not sure where everyone revives. Ask him for my campaign, thank you. Alright, no worries, dude. Yeah, I'm just I don't I don't have this stuff memorized, that's all. Not all of it. It's so much information to, to memorize. I did have an image, I think it's in most of the Mads Discord, that shows you where all the factions revive and every single settlement in the game. It's really useful. Although that was I think that was out before Shadows of Change, so they may need an update for that. Sixty settlements remaining. So, sorry, sixty factions. 
Uh, I don't want to fight them both at the same time. But only one of them can land at once. Ah, shit. I've got that on the... I hate it when that happens. 162 influence per turn gaining is pretty good. Alright, it's, it's another five turns have passed, so let's see if we get some good stuff here this turn. We're definitely getting some good stuff, but I'm hoping for the immunity to attrition. Come on. Come on. We got one last time. Did we get one this time? It's usually at the back end of the list. Seems to have a much lower chance of getting one. Yes, we got one. Priestess of Isha. Awesome. We got three of them now. Did we get a fourth? Yes, we did. We got a fourth one. I think that's thanks to putting in lots of characters in there. Good. Okay. There's no way that Gorok is going to be able to get up all this way, even in Forced March. Princess Mine of the Beard and Skull would be pretty easy for us to capture. Defender of the We're in good shape. There's Yuan Vo there, so... Form deceive you. Our dragon dude. Time for you to take him out. Your orders are reasonable. And yeah, it's good to kill this hero because they were doing ancient actions on us. The Asua need you. Rebuilding commences at Good. once. Whoops. So there's no rush to get him back to his other army king. right now since it's still recruiting. Just keep Wise him there. Because, yeah, Dragon will... Lord of the Phoenix yeah, Lord. recruitment duration minus one for dragons. Right. Yeah. Get him some more levels. Why not? I don't know if I should declare war on um, Itza this turn. Magic in purest form. Damien Bazin, did I two your super I thought legendary lords always revive in their capital, right? No, not necessarily. That's the that's the uh, the theory for for what they're trying to do, but sometimes that they incorrectly tag it. Shield against the darkness. Alright, so there's a big army up no, this way, nothing. but there's no reason why they can't handle it. So if I send Tyrion up this way, then they have to go this way. And Tyrion's probably best going around the other way. We'll be selling Blood Mountain this turn anyway, so that's not a problem. I don't really want Fortress of the Damned getting smashed, because I'd like to get it back at high level. I need to put in a one of our new um, priestesses of... Um, of Isha. P P P P where are we? Yep. So it looks like this one will land here, attempt to launch the attack at Fortress of the Damned, which we actually have walls here. I thought this was a Norskin settlement. I guess not. Well good. Um, he, I don't think he's got a siege, uh, he's got a siege attacker. The garrison should be at full strength. They're not going to coordinate with each other. But yeah, if we stay in ambush stance there and we don't get detected and they land, we'll crush them. Master Mage. Alright, we'll send Tyrion around to the Fetid Catacombs. I lost for battle. We have captured it. Yeah, guys, this might actually be one of the first times that we've gone to turn 100 in a livestream campaign. The only other time I can think of was the This Is Total War campaign for... We go. Master oh, what happened here? Magic. Hmm. The This Is Total War campaign we did for Cetra. I think we got to turn 120-ish. Be careful about that. 
I don't think any of my units ever got seduced. Princess of the Asu. Right, you need that other priestess of Isha. It is on that one. Scholar Supreme. Alright, we should move up this way in ambush dance. Maybe we'll catch him that way. Can I offer assistance? Moving out. But yeah, time for both settlements to be handed over to Nagareth. The Shadow Crown weighs heavily on right, my head. So Do not that is the Silver Tower of Sorcerers. Let's give that one up. He doesn't even think it's yes. worth much, that's fine. And then the other one was the Blood Mountain. Now you'll give me a bit more money. I gave that other one to him a little bit cheaper. Very well. Okay. See, by doing it this way, we are most likely to suffer a defeat through a minor settlement battle that's barely got a garrison. And by handing these settlements over to Elithinar, it eliminates that risk. And they're still technically our regions. We just got to confederate Arch them, that's all. Alright. Yeah, we'll pick up some shit along the I way, why not? Cool. Experience for the army is great. I guess we could go and occupy the Galleon's graveyard while we're doing this. Because I did abandon it because I thought that armies would come over here. Now that we've got full sight over the sea. Master of high magic. Right. Right. I'm not sure. Pretty sure we've got full sight over every sea region. Yeah, kind of. So just if an army ever crept up on that one, that would be super annoying. Especially considering this has no economic value whatsoever. Just get it later. Just get it later. Who cares? Uh, just uh, continue to sail down this way. If we go here, Set will sail. we get replenishment? Find the wind. No. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. Starting out. Pure magic. Okay, looking globally, how are we going? Oops, oops, I didn't mean that. Still takes two turns with that. I'm in a position where we can strike the blood swamp. No problem. Okay, this hero Hand was wounded and she came back. That's good. Could strike them there this turn. The level of counter-attack that would happen here would be pretty minimal, but over here, that's a different story. I think we'll have to capture this and recruit another army. And they have to be standing outside the settlement so that... 1920. I could use my wizard to potentially block this army. 23% chance of success, so that's not very good. Even if I was to put two followers that increase the, the chances, it's still not very good. Any more sight over this? This is all Skaven territory. So we got pretty much full sight over these lizards. There's nothing at Itza. Guardian of Order. Could you sell Galleon's graveyard? Nope. No, because it doesn't border anyone. Seven turns until we can mess with them again. Duty. This is my biggest concern. Because if we wait one more turn, they will probably push down here a little bit more. Or this army will come back to here. And that way I can eliminate it in the city, which would be easier for me. For the Phoenix King. And we're still waiting on this army to show up, and we're doing some more recruitment. This doesn't need to be done this turn. Moon 
dreams and fortune. Yeah, doesn't need to be done this turn. We can just wait another turn. This one here still hasn't fully recruited. Doesn't need its artillery. That's, this one is probably not going to attack it. So, and if we do, yeah, it's not going to attack it. So, actually, just um, just recruit those because we can globally recruit elsewhere. Uh, if we're going to reinforce this position here, we should recruit an army and globally recruit. I bring Azurian's fire. Ah oh, shit. Um, yeah, globally recruit some Lothurn Sea Guard here. Good. All right. So that'll come to reinforce them over here. Trained by the White one. Tower. All right, that's good. Limitless talent. Moving a little bit closer Hoef there. Sends us. That gives them more time. Yeah, let's see how this develops over the next turn, but. I'm raring to bloody go at them. I just need to not get fucked up by Gorok. Because our armies won't be able to handle him very well. Over here. Lord of Clan Borg. This guy can actually launch the attack here. I just wish he was at war with somebody else that I could join war against it. Themselves upon your flesh. Like they already hate him, so they'll definitely join the war with me. But my biggest concern isn't so much Athelorn here, but... Oh, this army moved away. True oh, let's just do that. Is it just me, or does this... This hero seem to have an absurd amount of movement? On to glory. They moved that army out of the way. I think that's where it is. I share the forest's thoughts. Paladin. Yeah, we still don't get access to his um his stuff there. I'll use him as a hero to assassinate and stuff. It's a bit weird. Okay, we could make that attack. The fact that this one here is going to be delayed by a turn should be fine. As long as we can't get counter-attack straight away, we're going to war with all the remaining Wood Elves, essentially. I... Alario should be the one to launch the attack, but we have to wait for them to reinforce. And we need to do a good job of the battles so that Orion doesn't pick a fight with us. Alright, here we go. If I had my way, the wild hunt would trample you into the earth. <laughs> yes, good stuff. <laughs> good, everyone joins in. I always have to take a, a breather over that one. Alright, here we go. Time to invade Athelorn. Now, to put things in perspective. The last time I did a high elf no defeat campaign, I suffered a defeat at Waterfall Palace. It was the only defeat of the entire campaign. Just pay them to break alliances with Talson also. Oh yeah, I forgot I have money. I don't think they would have accepted it. There's usually a limit to how much you can do with money in this game. I don't think that would have worked. But this is fine. Because yeah, we'll be able to get more missions from Clan Angrid, they will likely... Uh, they've actually got no armies out this way. Okay, whatever. So, Alariel needs to make the attack, because I want her to get the most experience. Don't forget to kill the ghost. Yeah, man, I know. To battle! Vengeful rune lord. I think I will Shut do the off. invocation of Isha this turn. Anyway, because we've actually got a lot of armies that are um be suffering attrition. 
And if that's the case, we should actually take off all the priestess of all of, 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 of Isha. So I'm gonna go strip them of all of them before I forget. And just leave these active, inactive because they reduce the campaign movement range. But otherwise, we're going to be taking Atholoran attrition anyway, so... Yeah, All done, All right, so in this battle here, we need to get these two characters wounded. That is absolutely essential. Send my and that way, we permanently get to keep them, the Ancestor Heroes. Which would be so friggin' funny. Use influence to worsen relation. If I was going to do that, I should have done that ages ago. We'll be fine. We've got a, a good amount of force here. Yeah, don't auto-resolve this. Why are they coming in from the back like that? Alright, let's go win. Hate the Widow of Settlement Battle, so annoying. Actually, this is easier than what it would have been like in Warhammer 2, because in Warhammer 2, you attack them, and then they just zerg straight at you. Now, they don't ever run out past this point, and since the accumulation of supplies doesn't really matter beyond a certain point, we can send our... Uh, we can send a Larials, just go and take out all their towers, and then that's it. And then you can just piecemeal take them out bit at a time. Now, it's really important to make sure that the... Okay, that army is coming in first. That's really important. This one here. Yeah, I want that one to be delayed. Because we're going to only bring in so many armies at once. Alright. Come over here. Don't fire at will just yet. Chill. It will be done. Chill. Chill, okay, here we go. Orders received. Indeed. Alariel the Ever Queen. Where's my winds of magic? <laughs> Do we have unlimited? I have no idea how much reserves I've got. So just softening them up a little bit before we go in. Just be careful not to get hit too hard. This army, there's not too much in here we need to be worried about. Place with dwarf ruins, yeah. So we use dwarf ruins ruins as mana. Maybe. Ancestors acknowledged to the fray. So they're doing some healing. Uh, Richard sent it a fifty NOK image of Hey, love your watch and learn from you. What? But what traits for the different hero eyes <laughs> do you go for, and why, for the high elves? Okay, thanks, Super Chat. It really, if you have a look at each hero's trait, you can see exactly what they do. So you just, there's so many different combinations that you can make. I could sit here for half an hour going on about it. So, for example, resistant uh, provides extra melee defense for the entire army. Missile resistance and spell resistance for infantry. So, good to have inside of an infantry army. Just have a look at the effects and just see if that's what you want. Alright, here they are. <laughs> yeah, because look, we've got runes here. They don't use win rune, um, winds of magic.
Alright. Now, they're unbreakable, so getting these guys here wounded is pretty easy, I think. They're getting shot, but I don't see it from one. That being said, we should probably try to get the most out of them in this battle here, so I'll heal them. Uh, restoring the ammunition could be interesting. Good thing they're in the trees there. That's why I put them in there, just in case that happened. Uh, I think we got plenty of ammo. There are already the bounce powers in our favor. I wouldn't bother bringing them back just to restore their ammo. Is this even a good use of these guys? Are they doing any serious damage? Not really. <laughs> One down. Good. You can come in. Yep. Why is he sacrificing his two heroes? He sucks. Legend of Total War sucks here, just- Oh my god, we lost those two heroes! Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Alright. Let's just start advancing. Let's use the Quarrelers first. Actually, no, we- Let's try to get a clean victory here. Use our longest range stuff first. Don't attack from this angle here. That's not particularly favorable. Let's bring them over this way. You can cease fire for a little bit. Oh, I'm just trying to ammo anyway. Hey, Karamaho, how's it going, dude? Why do you like Warhammer 3? I don't know, it's fun. It's got some goofy things going on that I enjoy. Kind of a weird question. We can also bring up these flame cannons. If they want to bomb stuff, that is fine. Yes. Yeah, a lot of shots are hitting trees there, so maybe let's adjust them a little bit more this way. It's a bit overkill. Stop it. War machine ready. Got. My power is yours. My power is yours. Alright, let's bring all the heroes over here. Actually, get the Orders. wizards out of it. I don't think I'll use them. Don't go around that way. Guys here, they're getting the odd shot in, and are they hitting anything? No. Right, move a little bit more over this way. I would like to bomb those barricades because they do make very good use out of those. So I want to stop them. Yeah, they're rushing towards the barricade. We need to make sure they don't get there. 
Alicia. Under her protection. Ever onward. Awaiting orders. In draft. Alariel the Ever Queen. How do you get rid of the Sword of Cain in a no defeat campaign? You can't. The opportunity to get rid of the Sword of Cain has passed us. We can't get rid of it now. Wounding Tyrion won't work. He has to lose the battle. Okay, that's working out pretty well for me. They're not really getting many kills, but if they're getting rid of that barricade, that works for me. Alright, these two here can actually just leave the battlefield. This thing here is definitely in the way a little bit. I'm going to try to angle this a bit better. Those um, zotes can really take a beating. Orders. Seeking the foe. Going abroad. Forward. I accept. Guided by light. Ready. She definitely say Nakai. Mm. People say that a lot, but she's actually saying Lakai. But whatever, I don't, I don't care if people get it wrong. Well, that one took a beating though. I go good. then. Bloody way watches. Okay, yes. move up. I accept. Chase them then. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. So far, this is going pretty well, I think. Apart from this unit here taking that much damage, but it'll be fine. No, keep focusing on that one there, on that barricade. Yeah, it's getting some good kills. So, Winterheart Guard, Eternal Guard. Oh, Ilariel's getting shot up. I need to pull her back. back the dark. Wielder of the winds. Minaith! Priestess of Isha. At once. Under her protection. Alright, these heroes. Make a rush up this way. All go up together. Awaiting orders. Following Ethua. Yes. Forward. Making my way. Moving out. Setting forward. Orders. Taming the winds. I will do it. Moving. Handmaiden of Alaria. Do Sisters of Avalon ignore armor because of magical attacks? No, magical attacks do not, by default, ignore armor. The only thing that ignores armor is armor piercing. It's you. They're not mutually exclusive. You can have magical attacks that are armor piercing, and you can have magical attacks that are not armor piercing. It just so happens that the missile strength is mostly armor piercing, so that's why they bypass armor. What magical attacks does, the only thing that it does is ignores physical resistance. That's it. Ready. Forward. My power is yours. I also can't believe how long the myth of um, 
magical attacks bypasses armor persisted for. Oh my god, so long. them up a bit more. Okay, Alario's taken enough damage now. Let's pull her out. Better off shooting at that one because that's firing back at you and they're seemingly doing a lot of damage. I think life magic and dwarf heroes is a pretty good combo. Damage, move them back. The foe. Yes. I go then. Onward. Handmade of the Stay there and finish capping that first. Oh, sh oh fuck, 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 fuck. Get out of there, get out of there. Stupid fucking artillery. Couldn't get an angle. They'll be okay. Come on, get him out of there. For the high king. Almost out of range. Come on, you can do it. Sister of Avalon. Harrowboy. Agreed. Moving out. Orders. I go then. Yeah, attacking from this angle here is. Just the line of sight's not good. We should be focusing up this way. We're getting way more success there. It's dwarf, so who cares? Well, I only just got the army, and I want them to help me conquer um, Athel Lauren. So, you know, I'll destroy it when there's only one turn left. Come on. Come on. Get back over here. They're okay, they're out of range now. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Alright, only a little bit left. If we're going to make an attack over. No, I usually try to avoid attacking there, it's just not ideal. However, they've got a good defensive position set up over this way. While they're on the barricade, they outrange our Sisters of Avalon. And I'm out of artillery, so. Keep them back. In fact, maybe just withdraw them from the battlefield. I'm not going to use them again. I've got banishment. Oh, yeah, and I've got this. The range on that is only 100 meters, though. Correction wins of magic with that one. This one's got banishment. Maybe let's chuck a banishment on there. Hope it does something. If we can get rid of the barricade, that'll make a big difference, I think. Princess of Alfwan. Just gotta wait for get up. Uh, we could use the gyrocopters, maybe? Okay, here's an idea. Let's get the gyrocopters around over here and shoot into the back of these guys. Yes. 
this dead zone. Maintaining well. order! Isha! Let ride! Handmade of the He's shooting it, it's dead. Right, we're getting the light wizard up here. Awaiting orders. My power is yours. She on foot? One no. Okay, good. Ready. Battle awaits. 15 wins of magic compared to mage. 12. Now we should Battle definitely be awaits. using this one. Going. Awaiting orders. Okay, get another idea, another idea. I am going to attack this position here, but I'm going to harass them from the back. If they turn around and shoot at the gyrocopters, I'll march them forward. Okay, there's our chance. Go, go, go. Alright, let's drop the bombs on them. Before these guys get shot out of the sky. Get them out of there before they get shot up. And destroy that fucking barricade. Get them out of there. Good. Barricade's gone. They can't make as good use out of it. Man, that's got some serious range on that way watches. Cause yeah, cause they 360 degree range. Move back. Move back. Move back. Man, way watchers on those barricades are really good. Alright, how are we gonna deal with them way watchers? Okay, at least none of them got destroyed, so they'll be at full strength as long as we don't use them anymore. The greater good. Starting to run low on ammo on these ones. Focus on that one there, because they do way more damage than what this one's doing. Duty calls. And there we go, army loss is nice. Alright, that is a reasonably good start to our invasion of Alpha Lauren. Send in the heroes? I already sent in the heroes, they're a bit tired. It's all good. Good, we took a few casualties, but more importantly, we now own those two ancestor heroes. They're going to come back, and we own their ass now. They're no longer Clan Angren ancestor heroes, they're Sword of Cain ancestor heroes. If you take a non-immortal lord with the sword of Cain against an enemy on force march and your lord with the sword dies but you win the battle, how do you know what happens to the sword? I think the sword goes back in that case. The sword goes back to its um into its holding place in the shrine of Cain. Yeah. It is rightfully ours. Okay, that's good. That's a good start to this war. So we've still got Orion to deal with here. He definitely doesn't have lightning strike, so that's good. Casting the runes. What would you have of me? Alariel the Everqueen. Because we looted, look at that. We fully recovered all of our casualties. Every every single casualty. It was just um. The heroes are a little bit damaged, that's all. That's fine. Ariel, the Radiant. Uh, what should we give her? That's right, I was trying to get to favorable wins. Okay. You dare ask this of me? Yes. 
Yes. Lily, guide us. Okay. Lord of Clan Borgrim. All right, looking at the settlement itself. Greetings. That's not red territory, so I don't see why we can't hold on to it. In terms of defenses, though. Moderately increases the health of settlement walls, towers, gatehouse. <laughs> oh, I guess towers. Channeling spire is useful. If the Wood Elf Endgame Crisis is the one that triggers, we'll need to lose all this stuff. Uh, I could hand this... No, I think I can progress as things are. I don't think I'll... Yeah, I'll put that in there. Um, that'll take two turns. Give us two, four additional units. Okay, whatever. It's not that expensive. And yeah, we can use this to help us increase our hero capacities. Which is nice. Okay, cool. And then we need Alistair to attack this one here, but this is an easy order resolve, I think. Uh-huh. It'll be safe to come over here. I've been keeping an eye on the area. How can I assist? This should be an easy order resolve. I will leave the Asur. Seize it. Your command. Okay, some of our guys have reached rank 7, so if we were to get Heart of the Flame, does that... No. Immovable Force, is that the one for them? Yeah, so that melee defense, weapon strength, spell resistance. Alright, it's all good stuff, but i got to put a fair few points into this. <laughs> um, yeah, wait, the Skaven are gone from this area, so... And that. Okay, well, looks good. You called. Got to be a little bit careful about marching on son of Paravon because of a counterattack that could potentially occur. Onwards, then. All right, I think that's Durthu there. Yeah, there's Durthu. Durthu is not at war with anyone except for um, them. We'll see if I can drag them into this war. Do you wish the ladies' favor? No, he won't do it. So against Durthu, we're on our own. Alright, what else are we doing here? That's right, we're not making that attack this turn. We're maybe doing it next turn. Got a full stack here. Still got to wait. Was it seven turns now? I don't want to lose reliability. Just yet. White Lion Chariots for Alistair, maybe? No, I'm not going to give him those units. I can always reset his skills if I want to um, change it up later. Let's do some construction and move on. Salt here. No, nah, we've already got souls. Go with that. Misna, keep that there. Deadwood. Good. We've already got spices. Don't need to build it again. Don't need marble. It does reduce the construction cost in the province, but pff, not a big deal. So let's get another one of those going. Although there is a port in this province. No, it doesn't matter. Just I need to recruit those quicker. I can always demolish it later once I... Find better spots for him. Okay. 
Yeah, this is a good spot for it because there's no ports in this province. Yeah, it is hard to revive factions as the high elves. You definitely can do it. But it is difficult to do it because they can't raid. They're not necessarily great at reducing public order for the enemy. So a lot of effort has to be put in place. And when we first started trying to revive Teclas, I chose the wrong settlement. And that's going to take some time to fix that mistake. Don't need that there anymore. I don't really need this acute tax over here. Yeah, keep that there for now. Right, research. So we're at a thousand percent research. So magical infusion now only takes one turn. Let's do that. Spy networks, diplomatic relations plus five with all factions. Actually, that's not urgent because they're not going to be fighting in a battle next turn. Alright, did I recruit my prince and princess this turn? I think I have. Oh no, I've done the prince, it's not the princess. Protector of Alphorn. Alphorn princess. Okay, what are we forgetting? So, Thorin's done this one here. Oh, that's... Yeah, we were holding off on that attack to wait for some reinforcements and see see what happens with this. I want them to keep pushing against the Skaven. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. If they swing around over this way, that could be a bit of a problem. This, there's no way this army here would be able to handle it. So it's important that we keep an eye on them. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Defender of the Asser. Yeah, I think that's all of my military movements made. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Weaver of spells. Master of high magic. Yep, that's all my military movement movements made. Have we done the hero actions over here? No, we need to do this. Any new nobles? Nope, no more capacity for them just yet. Handmaidens. Yes, finally. I've been waiting friggin' ages for another second character to show up. Holy crap. Okay, pop it down over here. We can do it anywhere. Nice. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. So that's that's six now that we've got. So that's thirty growth faction wide. Alaria's but a lot of growth for this chosen. province here. Nice. I can go no further. Alright, in the... What else we got? We got a shit one there. Let's recruit and disband that. And made another luck. So, no nobles. Lawmaster. Oh, we got a feckin' Lawmaster of Hoeth as well. Nice. Okay, well that goes... That has to be recruited here and drag it down. Nice, we got them both at the same time. So that's seven. Chosen of Hoeth. Nice. Got exactly what I've been wanting this whole bloody time. Nice, thank you. And we'll save you for another campaign. And we need to bring him down to our Request other breeders over this way. Nice, that was really good. Uh, recruiting sisters via global, still not viable. How many terms does it take? Uh, I think it takes three. Let me just check. Can I offer assistance? It's down to two. So we've still got a little bit to go in order to get it down to one, but we've got it down to two. Now, under a normal campaign, if I had been playing it without the Sword of Cain, Bloodline of Anarion, Champion of the Ever we would have gone down the Majesty of Ulth one, which would have allowed us to go down the Sense of Urgency. So right now, we would be able to recruit them in one turn globally. Plus, we'd have more global recruit slots. This line here... 
so much better than this line, especially in the late stages of the campaign. In the early stages, you can be forgiven to want to go down the line, but this one here, nope. Okay. Alright, we went through all the construction, didn't we? Yep. This one here is... Why didn't we develop this up? Uh, Luke Derek Klein did a $10 super chat. Oh man, another round of Legend of Tyrion. This is an early birthday present come true. Only thing better would be a new Katarin campaign. Uh, thanks for making continually great content. Truly inspiring. No, nice, dude, my pleasure. Thank you for the super chat and happy birthday, I suppose. If it is actually your birthday. Um, I serve the king. What's it doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Checking heroes. We, we had a good number of uh, good ones recruit this turn. So. Got a resistant life wizard there, but I already recruited one Your for behest? this army. When am I next going to need a resistant life wizard? I don't know. But why don't we Have put it in here? And I'll just leave it in reserve. Because it can still pick up followers from here. Are rising, pausing to reflect. I just don't know Ready if I'm ever going to need it, but I'll just, you know, store it up. You never know. Doesn't need that. That'll just cost extra upkeep for nothing. The winds have eased. All right, cool stuff. What Same thing with this guy just sitting around here. Onward then. All right, I think I'm finally done with the turn. Let's have a look in diplomacy. If there's any little things that we can do. Yes. Okay, we can finally get that non-aggression pact. Sorry. Uh, military access with Reichland. They well, step towards getting... Actually, what we should do with this is leave it because we can use that tiny little bit of leverage to try to get military access... Uh, sorry, military lines later down the track. So just let that go. Because it's going up by a hell of a lot because they spent influence now. on it. So let's just leave that. You need me? For Cathay. I can immediately get out of the war against Telson. I can immediately get out of the war with Torgavon. For a lot of money. Argualon doesn't want to get out of the war. I think we should just finish them off. Dragon. The shadows lengthen. Queen yeah, we just gotta be careful how we approach this, that's all. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Especially with Argualon. But everything is looking pretty good there. I don't see issues anywhere. Everyone is fine. We gave away those settlements. Champion Hold on to this one for now. What's... Just don't, just don't bother with that. Um, so it looks good. See no issues. Rogue armies, we should check that. Nothing, good. Let's move on. Why not capture the Galleon's Graveyard? It has absolutely no economic or strategic value, and it is only a weakness that the enemy could use to attack us. Mm. Have you got that Paladin back? Can you mount him again? I did get him back, and I can't mount him, so that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. What traits did the guys in the dragon army have? Resistant for the wizard. That's all it really needs. Just the wizard. We don't need a um, handmaiden for that army. You don't need replenishment rate when you can use magic to heal. Why don't you trade for Sartosa? The elves of Ulfwan have long there is no way I can trade for Sartosa right now because I don't border it. I could peace out with him after I've taken these two settlements because I'm not looking to invade Norska proper right now. 
so no. Nice. So Sigvold shows up, he didn't see us, he launched the attack on the settlement, and then immediately dies. <laughs> we were in ambush stance, he didn't see us. And then this one here will run away. Is Archeon dead? No, he's alive. Oh shit. Guess I'm not going to be seeing what's going on this turn. Assassinated my hero. I can't see what's going on in there then. And. Yeah, didn't walk straight into the ambush, but I'll be able to stop it. Mars Marcin Piaseki did a PL intensive chat. Entire stream is inspiring. Alright, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, see, then <laughs> it runs off. Oh no! Too many enemies. I need to go fight undefended settlement. That's what the AI is programmed to do. It's Total War Attila all over again. Oh, I don't want to fight your armies. What is the good trait for Lormas of Hoa and Noble? I don't have them memorized. Um, Emollient is probably the best one for Nobles because it um, provides a global bonus to public order and a global boost to your income, just slightly. So I think that one's the best one. Conscientious is great as well. No, I think the Noble has the, the widest range of good traits. Law Masters of Hoeth, I think Fecund is the best one overall because it increases your growth faction-wide. Uh, but then you just have to look at the effects. Just just read and you will see which ones are good. But I, I can't memorize them all. There's just so many of them. And most of the time I just don't use them. And some people will find them more useful than others. Okay. So they've already... Oh, right, the Recruit Regiments have been out. So, here's the problem with this one, is that it threatens the King's Glade, Mistress so an army has forest. to remain behind to protect it. No. It's only 10 units, so honestly, this one My here could do it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm done with that one. There's... No, they don't have any missions for us. I'd love to borrow more armies. Alright, Dirth, Dirthu has come down this way, so that army that was there has moved here. There was another one that we've lost track of now. Defender of the weak. So we need to find Going where forth. it is. The lady beckons. This guy has got way more movement than other heroes. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. Okay, so that means there's two armies there. That's not good. Because these are dangerous armies, and I've got Alistair's crap stack, and I don't have lightning strike. Protecting canals. I could maybe give it to... This is actually very dangerous here. I could maybe give it to Bretonia. Do you wish the lady's favor? In exchange for war declaration with Arguilon. Hmm. I may need to give them something better if I want them to do that. Lethal grace. Because yeah, like it's a it's an okay it's army. I could take on one of them, but I probably couldn't take on Dirthu, especially with um, Ariel there. This army here Our is just supposed to be just a little yours. bit of backup. Five Can additional I units here assistance? won't help. I could just give it to Bretonia for free. I do want them to go to war with them though. Bretonia just doesn't really care that much about Argolon. Does he even have any wars? You ask for a yeah, he does. Hmm. So right now, Talson is unable to recruit anything because you can't, except for regiments of renown. It may actually be a good idea to peace out with this one, clear out the others first, and then deal with this one later. Could just be other armies to deal with. Another thing I could do is send these three armies to here, attack the Oak of Ages, and then send two of these armies to go attack uh, Cragholes of Findel. There's 20 units in there though, so we'd have to do a good job of it, because then we need to make sure this army doesn't counterattack. 
I, serve I should have put a barracks there. I could have sold it to them. I didn't think they would pull their forces here. Just seeing. Maybe I can give them. Can I, no, I can't give them. Anything else. Hey, Legend Jink, is it a Warhammer the best Total War? It's the best fantasy Total War, sure. <laughs> um, look, that's hard to say. What what really constitutes the best Total War game anyway? And who cares? It just gets people hot under the collar. It's just a conversation that I think is not worth having. Okay, we're in a position now that we can attack because they moved their forces down here. They can't jump in the underway. I second this. Yeah, they can't counterattack us. Let me just have a look up here, see what's up here. Yeah, there's no ability for them to counterattack. Everything developed exactly the way I wanted it to. Of you just double Hand check back up through here. Queen. Ever faithful. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. I bring Azurian. Alright, this is six turns remaining, right? Yeah. We could probably do it a turn early. Alright, time to declare war on Itza. The way to do that is through Clan Pestilence. I don't need my allies to join us on this, because I just don't want to go to war with this one. Thank you. Alright, time to fight Itza. Itza, not so bad. How can I assist you? My prowess is needed. We are the conquerors. Shaper of fate. Okay, and then probably we'll need to fight this one manually. And if I do a really bad job of it, I may have to sack it because if this. Well, we'll see. Fang sword bites deep. Okay, I kind of expected that to say close victory. I don't know why. I've been able to order resolve just about every single battle with this one. It's so strong in order. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was fine. Uh, occupy it. claim this for Marini. Last time you lost versus Dirthu with Lore Masters of Hoeth Doom stack. Yeah, and this time we lose with another meme stack. With, um... White Defender Lions of Krace. Be prepared, Asur. Devoted Guardian. Good, we got loads of intel out this way. I'm looking forward to grabbing this, and we get it at tier 4 as well, so we can get it straight away. Casualty replenishment rate, plus 5%. Also, if we get the medicinal plants, I can get rid of the medicinal plants that I built up here. Because that's not providing any benefit anymore, apart from just having medicinal plants. So I can sell them. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Oh, I just realized something. This guy's still fairly low level. I'll save him. Yeah. None shall live. The Asua need sack it. Impossible lions have axes. Axes greater than wood. Unfortunately, that that type of matchup doesn't mean anything in Warhammer Three. Preparing. It's just not a use you know that I'm confident with. Can I not against assistance? outnumbered odds. Alright, so these Ready two. For orders. A wise course. Mine of the bearded skull, there's nothing particularly dangerous about it. It's good that both of these armies are <laughs> sort of stuck in here. I imagine they're probably gonna run back up here fairly quickly. This is why I'm recruiting this other one here. So that oh My god, I'm using two shit armies against Lizardmen, where they've got barrier and shields. Oh my god. And Gorok. Or 
ready. I'd so much prefer that they came over this way. Avalon's fine. Or go out. Yeah, go to Oixel and get killed by Clan Pestilence. Master of magic. Good, another point into public order here. That'll be useful. We should be able to drop the public order in this one very quickly when the time comes. I'm listening. I really wish these were Lotho and Seaguard right now. Well, I guess these are Lotho and Seaguard. Maybe I can switch them. Alright. We're going in. For the Ever Queen. What am I drinking? Piss water. No, it's a uh, tea. <laughs> Why does Eltharian's army have three artillery units instead of two? I don't remember. I don't know why. It's worked out just fine, what so I, I don't change it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I get that some people get like OCD about that kind of stuff, but I don't. Sometimes. So, yeah, it works. Let's be planning any special campaign for 500k subs. I'm planning a special campaign for when we surpass the Total War official channel, whenever that is. So they're at 539,000 subs last time I checked. So when we surpass them. So when we get to 540,000, unless their sub count goes up. I don't think we need to fight this manually. Yeah, it's fine. Orders. Sharma. Ancient salamanders aren't that dangerous because we can actually outrange them. And they're pretty bad against infantry. But he does have a lot of ancient salamanders. A lot of melee infantry. Honestly, okay, I'm probably panicking over nothing there. Oh. Although, I remember having tough battles against Lizardmen. So I want this one here to keep globally recruiting. Those... Lothurn Seaguard, because yeah, having some spears and some really good combat stats should come in handy. That's going well over there. And we go and take Chakwa here. Just make sure these ones... Yeah, even if they declared war on us, they couldn't reach Chakwa anyway. Just subbed finally, hope that helps. Yep, sure, it helps. Uh, let me just tell you what we're currently up to in terms of subs. They cannot withstand high so magic. we're up to 491,063. So we just hit 491,000 yesterday. Um. I claim it for Hoa! And it looks as though, at this current rate, we'll surpass the Total War official channel sometime in August or October. It depends. These livestream campaigns don't seem to generate a lot of subs. Like, the sub gain rate has dropped since I started doing this. Um, so that's interesting. I seem to gain more subs whenever I do uh, historical Total War stuff. I don't know. You honor me. All right, what are we going to do about this? I could steal that hero as well. Lethal grace given form. Could hope to maybe ambush one of those armies, but there's a good chance it won't work. I kind of feel like I need to give this settlement over to them. But I really want them to join war against them, so that they come down here and attack. If I give them canals, I might be able to trade them. It, it's not a, it's not a strategically important settlement though. You ask for a boon, speak. Plus, it'll make him like us a lot. My power to give. Cause yeah, that is very dangerous there. That is, that is going to end up very sour for us. And I can get five grand out of it. Alright. I think we should move out of it. Go into the forest here. 
going for. Okay, this one here, if you stand right there, we might be able to lure Durthu to make a silly attack. Because we've got a 75% chance of ambushing him here. How can I increase that further? Do I have any followers that can do that? Obviously not that one. That's ambush defense chance, court attendant. Ambush success chance, hero's army. Okay, I could. that means if I pop down... Alright, let's go do this stuff first. True son of Ulfwan. I await your command. Destruction. Noble son of Ulthuan. Smash it to ruins. Yeah, if I pop that what down, do I can get... Fire? There will be carnage. A 95% right success away. chance. Destruction. Alright, well then, done there. Orders. Just don't friggin' die. And bloody lose these. Alright, so... CC, there it is. Eighty five percent. Okay, we have and then before. if this one goes into this stance here, right there. They'll swing around through here, and if it doesn't ambush them, I can back off and he shouldn't be able to reach us. You ask for a boon. Speak, and I will see if it's clever. Oh, maybe I should have seen if I could switch for Musalon. It's too late now. Alright, now over here. So we've got the Oak of Ages to capture and the Crag Halls of Findle. If we can manage that this turn, that would definitely be good. Pure of heart. Alariel, Everqueen. I don't see this being easy order resolves. Is it optimal to add lions to Alice's stack in addition to infantry? How good are they performing? Um, the big, big answer to that, I don't know. I barely ever use this. It's a meme stack. That's why I'm not confident with it. I'm not an expert at using them. It is nothing more than a meme, so there will be other people that have experimented with it way more than me. Hi, Priestess. Princess. Right, we need to get to about here. Vengeful Wait, Rundor. hang on. Neither of those lords... Ever queen. Only Alariel is able to hit the Crag Halls of Findle, so maybe we have to attack it with this one. For the Phoenix King, Priestess of Isha. If Alariel stops right there, hang on, how far can it this is one forbidden. move? This one can't reach the King's Glade, so it's not essential that we take that out this turn. Especially if we've got heroes standing here, I have to go around them. It's just that sometimes I don't trust it. Look, they've got increased mobility, but only by 10%. The time is Why now. does Alariel have so much? Queen oh, God. A discordant song. Hmm. I could very easily make the wrong move here. Cause Certainly like not. it's it says this one can't reach down here, but I just don't trust what it says because it's very close. Mistress of the Undying Forest. I think I know what I need to do. 
we sack the Oak of Ages. That eliminates all of Talson's armies. And then we just go back over here. And then next turn, we figure something out again. Right. That seems to be the right course of action. No. Armed and ready. Okay. Moving out. The Ever Queen. I don't want to fight it manually, though. <laughs> uh, let me have a look at the map. Is it all this, the same map? I don't want to fight it manually. I mean, it's not my units that get wiped out. If we wipe these out and then move back, they don't have enough to be able to do anything to us. It gives us some time to recover. And then that's just basically Talson dealt with. Alright, fuck it, here we go. I don't, I don't want to fight a siege battle though. I definitely could have done a better job than this. But that's honestly not too bad, I think. That's a lot of experience. And we just want to sack it, because occupying it leaves us vulnerable to a counter-attack. That's a shit trait. Ooh, even better still. We can put Alariel in ambush stance, and this one. Assyrian guides us! And if they only see this dwarf army, maybe they'll try to strike it. Problem is this one here isn't going to get replenishment, so I do actually need to move her in a bit. He's not going to make that attack now. We go. Let's hear it. Okay. Yeah, the best way to go through Athelorn is quickly, but carefully. And I think that's pretty carefully what we've done there. A discordant song. Hmm. How could I? I see much. Yeah, we'll just we'll have to see how this plays out. Hopefully they don't use both armies. Maybe if I just move this one one tile can south. Hang on. Can I offer assistance? I see you. Dothu should still be able to make the attack, and he's still he'll have a better chance of ambushing them, I think. I don't know. That's that's very iffy what I'm doing though. Well, at least we got 95% chance of ambush. Okay, so they're all getting replenishment. Obviously, this army here has taken a bit of a beating. There's big thanks to the uh, the dwarfs for lending me this army. <laughs> it's been very handy, especially considering. If we were to go down here, we could find some very nice little bonuses. Yeah, there he is. Alright, it might be a good idea if I recruit a basic army in here to defend it. Just temporarily. Still didn't get the trait that we're looking for. Fuck's sake. I will study here. Good. Yeah, just put pop a couple of units in there. 
add some extra defenses because we'll have this in there next turn. It's already got 11 units and then it'll go up to 15. And we'll upgrade it. Scholar Supreme. Welcome. Okay. So yeah. Orion can't recruit from this region. So him putting armies in there. We're recruiting lords. He's probably not even going to recruit a lord there. We don't need to capture the Oak of Ages right now. It would eliminate Talson, but it leaves us a little bit vulnerable against this dude. Give heroes in Alistair some more gear. It, it won't make... Alright, let's have a look. It's Honestly, it would not make much of a difference. I find switching out gears and stuff to be kind of boring. This is why I usually don't do it. That's actually not too bad. Actually, that could be pretty good. And... What should we give you? Yeah, there's some okay stuff in here that isn't being used. Okay, fences blade would be better. I'm not using a whole bunch of them. And then talisman, amulet of fire. We're not likely to get fire attacked. Let's see here, luck stones. Most of that's going to be magic attack. Most of it, not all of it. Also, the Caledonian Dragon Armorers. That's actually quite good because we can get a bonus versus large with that. Which will help us a little bit against Durthu. I can't give it to him. And for the wizard... Give her a little bit of stuff here and there. None of this is going to make a huge difference. It'd be pretty funny if the equipment was the difference between victory and defeat there. I am very rarely, when you've got big massive battles like this, is equipment going to make any difference? It's only in the small scale battles would it make a big Warrior difference. Or if, if it tips your unit so strong that they win that battle on their own. That's why I usually don't bother with it. Because you can waste a lot of time looking at, uh, at equipment and people can get super bored. Constantly looking at shit equipment that does, isn't going to do anything. Alright, I think we've done everything that we can here. Yeah, just keep picking up units. I think we've done everything that we can. Have I done my construction? Was that this turn that we... No, it was last turn that we did that. So there's actually still a few more things we've got to do. Haven't moved this army. You can actually reach that sea corpse. Be prepared, Asor. Row, Asor! Another battle for it. Okay. Helmet Discord not being used? That's fine. It's fine, not a big deal. Yeah, it's fine. We need not fear our lessers. Their lives for coin. High magic! Putting Flaris robe on the wizard. It, the army has mostly Fight magical attacks. Against, against the wood elves, it's not very useful. Good, and we're getting replenishment out here. Cool, cool, cool. Nothing out here that we need to be worried about. And even if we get attacked, we got healers. Poet sees all. I don't worry too much about that. All right, who hasn't moved? Oh man, I haven't. I haven't done a lot of things on this turn. Okay, well there's Hag Grief. Oh yeah, this stuff over here as well. High Elven Archmage. 
Ready to serve. Ready yourselves. They are unworthy. Yeah, I expected that. I'm to the revival of Teclas. Still working on it. I'll it's just been delayed. On my way. Probably not going to happen today. The winds of magic guide us. Yeah, reviving factions Maybe. is something that takes a lot of turns, and since it takes us a long time to get like through ten turns, uh, reviving a faction is just a long-term plan. It just this isn't going to happen quickly. I just can't. I can't justify sitting there going sma uh, spamming the end turn just to get that one thing done. Because we got to wait for the peace treaty with uh, Clan Pestilence to expire. But everything is in position to quickly revive Teclas once we've done that. Princess of the Asu. All right. This should be fine up this way. High mage, loyal handmaiden for Avalon. I didn't want to declare war on Hagrief just yet. I believe he's at war I with Nagareth. That's why he's sending armies out this way. So if I give this up, if I give this city over to Nagareth, they're just going to take it. So I'm going to have to declare war on him now. Don't seem like he's got any major stuff coming at us. I want all of my enemies to join war against them. Good. Defender of Alphwine. I live to serve my queen. I lost for battle. Let them go. All right, cool. Servant of the king. Good. Bring me battle. Wouldn't reviving him induce a defeat on your settlement not if I don't own the settlement this place is ours that's the reason why this takes so long because we got to cause a revolt on an AI faction it's not easy to do that especially on legendary difficulty limitless talent All right they're at war with Nagarath aren't they not a chance yeah because it looks like he is avert your eyes grotesquerie Right. He's a vassal of. This beautiful visage. Okay, I'm probably gonna peace out with Sigvold next turn once we've captured Infernius, because I can't capture it this turn. I actually could have captured this turn. Too late, I guess. There is no way for him to capture a settlement this turn, so ignore him. It doesn't matter. These two here get moving. Student of Teclis. Okay, this all looks good. I just need to sell the fetid catacombs over to here. Look for me in the light. I lurk in shadow. The fetid catacombs. Stephen McGrath did a 20 euro super chat. Love the channel and the total war content. Oh, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Glad you like it. Um, okay, let's see if we can swatch, swap it for Circle of Destruction, because this one does have a barracks in it. Ooh, I could pay 32000 for it. I'm not likely to make 32 th Actually, I may, I may make that much. Let me just see, if I offer to join another war with, say, the scaling, that can save me about 15 grand. If I offer to join war against the Barrow Legion, he doesn't care at all. Let's, let me try some other settlements. Like, um... The Twisted Glade. No, he doesn't, doesn't want to give that one up. I'll just get this when I confederate him. Uh, Black Creek Spire. Close, but not good enough. What about the Witchwood? I keep checking this, I'm pretty sure. So no. Okay, I could do that one. I don't think he's developed it at all. And if the end game crisis happens to be wood no, I should leave that with him. If the end game crisis happens to be wood elves, I'm gonna need him to basically own all the settlements around that area. So leave that be. Still need to give him the fetid catacombs though.
And I will, I will just buy the, I, I got shitloads of money, it's fine. I'll, I'll get the, uh, circle of destruction. Whatever, 32 grand. I'll find a way to get it back off him later. Fate favors us. Cool. I still rejoice. I need you to force my Full up speed, with him. Cool. All right, that's that stuff done. Uh, Zaragula did a five euros super chat. Thank you for your content. I appreciate it. No, worries, dude. I'm happy to do it. I'm glad you're liking it. Thanks for super chat. All right, what are we missing now? Lethal grace given yeah, you've done your thing. That's good. Safari's servant. Still recovering. High all right, that appears change. to be all of our military movements. This is ready to grow. I think I'll leave them there a little bit longer. We're still going to need to keep those walls there because Clan Pestilence is here. Take your time. I want to move the them green. probably towards Itza later. Not sure. They're fine there for the time being. Um, what am I forgetting? Am I forgetting anything? This looks fine here. There's no way for them to make an attack on the King's Glade. This is iffy. Ah, oh, forgot to recruit over here. So this one needs more dragons. Alright, cool. When that's done, dragon doomstack ready. So in three turns. Okay, so... We need to have this guy over here ready to command that army in three turns. Easy to do. Just uh, reset him now. Cool, and we'll just put some nobody in there just in the meantime. Master of high magic. That's fine. Good. All right, have we done have, Let me check my heroes first before we start doing construction. I'll need to start raising another army soon. So, no good traits here. Nope. Nothing new available. Blade Lord. Okay, I can reduce the upkeep cost of that Swordmaster of Hoeth Doomstack. I just don't think I'm going to bother. Yeah. I think I'm going to leave that. Uh, mages. Flammable. I've got enough of those. And then we're still looking for life. It reordered it for some reason. Life wizards with... Oh, I've already checked that, I guess. Alright, then I need to check my princes. Yep, we've got these we need to recruit. Lethal grace given form. Almost at the end of the turn. Princess. Princess of the Asylum. Can I offer assistance? Norskin can still capture Alithanar settlements if you peace out with Sigvald, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, that's a really good point. Man, why was I thinking that they would go stop going to war with um, Elithanar? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Oh, fuck my balls! Um. Madness! No! Yeah. Well, I guess that's a Lithanar's problem. He does have an army Lord here. I, I guess I could tell him to take out that one. Let's see how that goes. But maybe I shouldn't peace out with him then. Because <coughs> then otherwise I won't be able to reclaim settlements that uh, are lost. That's a good point. Alright, technology. We need...
Pinnacle of Civilization, that one's okay. Not fantastic. We've got 1,070 research rate. Magical Infusion, yeah. Yeah, we are actually using our Phoenixes now, so that would be good. Probably should have got it last turn, actually. <clears throat> okay, finally. Okay, this is something we need to speed this one up. I was going to give this one an army somewhere. I'll just need to figure out where. Because <coughs> that's got uh, Yuan Bo's defeat rate. Sorry, excuse me. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is going to be reset anyway. If I hire a mage that's administrator just for this turn, I could also leave it here. Because I need to get the, the, um, okay, the, uh, what's it called, the Caledorian building. There should be other administrators, let me just see if there's more. No, there, that was it. Okay, well, leave her there, she's administrator. And then just get rid of this one. Because, yeah, there's some bunch of stuff that I want to get from that one. And I think I was going to replace one of these armies. I think it was this one. Because this, if I'm not mistaken, this one's incompetent. Yeah. Okay, let's get rid of all this shit. It's time for her to be fired because we have a good character ready to go. A resistant life wizard that has, yeah, this, no, not that one. Oh God, <laughs> shit, going through this goes real slow. It goes real fast, I mean, shit. Too many bloody characters. That one. There we go. Master of high magic. Because she has. Used by her there we go. Wisdom. Yeah. One dragon down. So she's going to be casting spells really cheap. So earth blood for two winds of magic, or well, we'll see. We'll go dedicate her to Mathlan because she's got Loth and Seaguard. I can always switch her again. Cool. Highborn. At your service. All right, I think I just need to do construction now, right? Improve relations with Liss and Siggy. Oh, come on. Come on. Are you serious? <laughs> come on. Why would I bother doing that? What a waste of influence. Do you know how... Okay, let's just, let's just entertain that notion for a moment, okay? Come on. L let's just entertain this for a moment. So let's firstly pick... Nagareth. And then pick Sigvold. And let's just see what the cost of this is going to be. Oh my god. Alright, it's 55 to improve relations. Now, an improved relation is between 20 and 40. So I would need to do this a fuckload. Um, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Especially considering... No, it's, just, it's just ridiculous. A ridiculous waste of influence. Sorry, I just... Oh my god, the fact you even suggested it. How dare you. <laughs> Why is he farming Yuanbo? Yuanbo's got one of the best defeat traits in the game, especially for high elves. Hmm. 
It's just, yeah, it's just not practical at all. Uh, Chakawa. Magic's unleashed. For Alf one. Oh, let's see if we can globally Scholar recruit the... There we go. It worked. We can now globally recruit Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers in one turn. Good stuff. I'm not expecting a cannon attack, so that's fine. Magic in purest form. Good stuff. Actually, this one here should probably have defenses just in case. Time to considering piecing out of most walls and prepare for the crisis rival. Well, no, because the crisis could be 50 turns away. I don't know. Uh, circle of destruction. Get rid of that. When the crisis is coming, we'll be notified with 10 turns. So, we can recruit a lot of force within 10 turns. With this kind of cash. So, we're just going to have to wait for the actual crisis to rear its ugly head before we start making those kind of decisions. We're just not at that stage yet. Alright, I think I've done everything that I can this turn. Let's see, we're on turn 101 and we now have 135 settlements. I think we're picking up the pace on settlement captures a bit. I think thing to keep in mind is that Alithanar has a lot of territory and you can just consider that this is essentially added onto what I currently own as well. So I've essentially got 150 settlements. Because I can confederate him very easily. He he loves me, right? Welcome to Nagarith, yeah. kin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and we need to check heroes. Oh, I already checked heroes, so don't worry about that. Okay, and let's move on. Oh, there was a commandment. It's probably for this province here. Nope. It was probably for this one here. No, I already sold that one out. Where else did I capture this turn? Doesn't matter, I can set up the commandment next turn, it's not important. I'm trying to find it, needle in a bloody haystack. Yeah. Alright, let's move on. Is it, hang on, let me check the diplomacy. I, I'm always on edge whenever I, I'm about to hit end turn, because you never know when something's going to screw up. I might be able to get a defensive alliance. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Hang on, let me just try the military alliance. 41,000 for a military alliance with Reichlin, but this will give us access to shenanigans. It'll likely be cheaper next turn. But that being said, that is only one third of what I make every turn. It will increase his strength. Like, he'll, um, he'll be able to produce quite a few armies on that. Which could be armies that I get to use. Okay, whatever. On it! Okay. Cool. Shenanigans successful. Yes. Good stuff. Can I offer Eye of the Emperor? Alright. Arguelon. No, we can't peace out with them. Well, what if I gave them that settlement? Oh, I can get a peace treaty with Arguelon. Sorcery. No, it's too late. We're, we're going for it. Um, Itza still wants peace. Okay, so if things look really bad with Itza here, uh, I took a, quite a lot of territory, so we could maybe accept a peace treaty. We'll see. Princess of Althuan, we stand Our forces ready here are in action. pretty good shape. And at Mine of the Bid and Skull, yeah, it's shit settlement, whatever. Haunted by failure. All right, Loyal on. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Rogue armies? None. Okay. Protector of the I did a Scarbrand legendary very hard domination victory in 63 turns without movement bugs. Can it be made faster? I don't know. Check recruitment time for Eagle Claw Artillery. We just did that. It's one turn. I am an Aryan reborn. Show me some respect. Show me some respects. Uh, 
they did not him the replenishment there. Should be fine. Rip those bolt throwers. Recruited in two. Global recruitment full. Oh, right. Because I was already filled up on something else. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, I guess I just wasn't paying enough attention to that. No big deal. That army is not essential for uh, actions. See, as I'm talking about, I can look over things for bloody half an hour and still miss things. At the end of the day, if it's not going to cause a battlefield defeat, it's fine. Alright, let's skip Nagareth. Whatever they do, I don't care. Alright, Lisbon I definitely want to keep an eye on. How much can the crisis be influenced, or is it all RNG? It's completely RNG as far as I'm aware. I'm sorry, I meant to ask, how would you make Scarbrand domination victory faster? Go to which place or area to attack more? Dude, I don't know. I, I've never done a domination victory with Scarbrand. You, you're just asking the wrong dude. I don't have any advice for you. I have a question about ports at Legend of War. Do the Elven Scroll building stack percentage profits per port in the region or nah? They do stack, but they stack in a linear manner. So, let's just say you have a port, and it makes 500 gold per turn. And then you put that port building that gives 10% extra income per port. That port will then make... 550 gold and then let's say you build another one it'll then make 600 gold so it, it's in it's in a linear way you don't compound it compound interest was removed from the game when they removed tax rates they really didn't want people messing with compound interest <laughs> with the exception of um eltharian that's an exception do borrowed armies use their racial stances no they get the stances that you have so I can't use the underway stance without dwarf army Soros with barriers I think it's a right that they have that, they, that gives Soros warriors um, barrier it makes them unbreakable how come Tekla survives there and not where his campaign in Warhammer 3? Sorry if I asked already. No, it's a good question. And that's really something that we should be asking Creative Assembly. It really comes down to this. When Creative Assembly was developing this, they clearly ported all of the data from Mortal Empires over to Immortal Empires. And there were some factions that they changed their start position. But when you change a faction's start position, that doesn't change the Rebellion factions start position. So in Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires, Teclas revives at the Star Tower. So they must have had him there at some point, but then just forgot to change his star position, uh, his, re his rebel position. Like here's, a, here's a one that's even weirder, right? Azazel. Do you know where Azazel revives? Where's, where um, Village the Cursling starts? Why? <laughs> Someone just tagged it wrong. It's just like there's a there's a, just a like a um like a spreadsheet with information and some of it just has the wrong tags. It's not that big of a deal, but some of it's just just got the wrong tags. It's even worse that there are some factions they don't even have a revive settlement. They can't be revived at all once they're gone. Like Festus, for example. If Festus dies, he can't be brought back. It's just um I guess sloppy database management. It's not that big of a deal considering there is that such a gigantic amount of information. But 
Creative Assembly is not known for being polished with this kind of stuff. I mean, it's expensive to do that, I understand. Costs are up. <laughs> but that's the way you can uh, explain it. Yeah. Corners will be cut. It is where he starts in the realms of chaos, lol. Realms of chaos, who cares? <laughs> who cares about realms of chaos? Everything to do with realms of chaos is completely irrelevant. As far as I'm concerned, the realms of chaos campaign doesn't exist. It's dead to me. I haven't touched the Realms of Chaos campaign in a long, long time, so I don't care. Azazel starts in that region in the Chaos Realm campaign. Right, well that would that would explain why then. Yeah. Not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Like Valkyria starts off in a settlement. Uh, sorry, she's revived in a settlement that she doesn't start off in. Alright. Oh, look, he got fucking pulled out of ambush stance. Doesn't matter, they didn't make the attack anyway. Apparently the dude who revives Azazel does. Okay. Is it possible to revive the Gore Queen? Yes. I'll show you the settlement that she revives from. So, of the Warriors of Chaos, I believe the only ones that can't be revived in Immortal Empires is Festus, Vilich, and Sigvold. I don't think Sigvold can be revived. Everyone else can be revived. In Warhammer 2, Imric couldn't be revived. That's why it was always such a mad rush to confederate him, because he almost always died. But in this, he can be revived, so I'm not really worried about it. But it's too late, he's already dead. Yeah, managing that many tags and making sure they are properly set has me in a cold sweat just thinking about it. Yeah, but there are a lot of tags that kind of really should work that don't, and they're just left for years, not fixed. It really bothers me, especially Warriors of Chaos campaign. The undivided tech tree, I don't know about the divided ones, have a lot of tags broken so the techs just don't work at all. It really bothers me has been broken for a year. So there's some technologies that just don't work. So they're going to Nagra. That's fine. I'll recruit an army to to uh, to deal with it. Or maybe I'll just peace out. I don't know. Did you manage to steal heroes yet? Yes. So that is something that we did actually manage to achieve. I know it takes a long time to get some of our goals done. But we got the ancestor heroes. They're still wounded, but we did get them. Doing Vampire's Campaign in Gorst is it? Is it possible to revive him? I don't know. I, I can't remember if Gorst revives anywhere. You're going to have to ask someone else. Alright, cool. Where, where did this happen? So, one of my armies got spawnified. Which is interesting because it actually makes my armies stronger. But which one? Hoeth's disciple. One's Archmage. Oh yeah, there look here it is. <laughs> hmm. I 
I don't know why Village does that. Okay, whatever. Not okay. Possible. Okay, okay. That's fine. Alright, can we strike can it? Oh, I can't quite reach it. Your oh, wait. Was foretold. My sight I can reach Paravon yours. with this one. I will see to it. Why is your movement? Making my way. That? What? She's got way more movement than him. That's fine. Lethal grace given for because Dorothy went into Force March, and the main thing here is that we want to separate the armies. Hey, could you just give that back to me? Let the supplicant come forward. Yeah, come on, it was a gift. Give it back. Give me Musalon. No, evil. Just give that away. An affront to Orion. I'd probably have to fight that manually. Because, yeah, getting from the Waterfall Palace to Paravon. I mean, we can see here by Force March. Oh, God. I'd have to do a good job of it, or else. Be in trouble with that. My deeds are legend. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. Death is a sure. Fucking failure. Typical. Yeah, this here gives me the biggest willies. Alright, how are we going with this? Speak, Five friend, turns friend. until uh, until war resumes with them. Prince. Yeah, Last yeah, I screwed up with that. Yeah, it does take one turn, but I, um, yeah, I screwed that up. My life for Tor Ifres. She doesn't have a siege attacker in her army, except that she does, because she. I'm pretty sure we can switch her to a dragon. Yeah, we can switch her to a moon dragon. Protector of the Ever. I just need to look around here. March. For anything that can counterattack us at Huetza, I don't chosen. think so. Alright, I know Gorok is there as well. Defender of the Asir. They're preparing an attack up through here. Your instructions. I could probably peace out with them this turn. Yeah, I could. We should definitely go for Itza, because there's an army there, and also Itza is good. Drag him over to Axlotl to defend it. Belfarion. The most gifted. Oh shit, no, she doesn't make it. We wouldn't have made it there anyway. Trained by the White Tower. Don't know why I thought I could make that. Uh, okay. So this one is Servant still making the their tower. way over here. My quest continues. I'll come back to that stuff over there. Over here. Shield against the darkness. You waste my time. Nothing about this is concerning to Tyrion. He doesn't have difficult fights. Alright, so they want to learn Beyond that. Yeah, so if I get a peace treaty with them. Then he'll just have an easier time smashing a Lithanar. That's not good. So, Surfer Ek is making his way to Nagra. I did build defenses here. But 12 units going up against 18. That's not great. It's unlikely that they would launch the attack this turn. So we've got time to recruit some stuff in the way. So magic could be good. Get a wizard. Alright, what do we got in here? Once again, didn't get the fucking trait that I want. I will study here. High Elven Archmage. Well, that's not much. I bring Azurian's fire. Okay, we'll have two spots open there. Can we see the stats of the Lothar and Seaguard in Altharian's army? Yeah, sure. At 
That's not him. 72-35. Yeah, respectable. So that improves them. We're at 1,100 research right now. Unimportant. Though that's not too bad. Let's get that. I served a lady. I guess when we capture the settlement here, it will be a walled settlement, so we'll get access to its defenses. All right, let's go. We're gonna go for Paravon. Destroy them. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to fight this Slay manually, them. unless unless we're bringing in Alice's army. This becomes like a decisive victory. How can I assist? Because yeah, he couldn't quite make that attack. Moving out. Break them. Plus grim discipline over eighty melee defense. Yep, that is correct. Alright, how bad is this? Medium casualties. I hate fighting Wood Elves, so I kind of want to auto-resolve it. But if Durthu comes over this way, eh, we'll be fine. Yeah, most of the damage is done to the Bretonian army anyway. We'll loot and occupy it, just for the small amount of replenishment. Good. That is a significant blow to the Wood Elves there. Good, we replenish in pretty much one turn. That's good to see. Okay. Seems unlikely that Durfi would be out of reach here to attack Paravon. And even if he did, he'd only have that one army and we would have two. Oh, we still get this, which is good for great eagles. Yeah, whatever. I'll get it, but yeah. I see the All wind. Right. What do you want? So if we've recovered a fair bit here. Your request. We can see here that Talson did not recruit another army. It is not urgent for us to to capture the Oak of Ages. Talson is finished. If we capture Crag Halls of Findle, we've got to be careful about a possible counterattack from Durthu. I mean, he's got a stack and a half, and we've got two and a half stacks. We'd probably be okay to order resolve that, especially if we loot and occupy. I doubt this guy would consider making the attack. All right, let's do it. The greater good. Kind of hoping that that army would stay there, but this is fine. But making progress against was decisive victory just with one army. I wasn't expecting that. Maybe it's because these ones here don't have any experience. My anger burns bright. Time is of the essence. Duty calls. Send my maidens. Cool. Yep, order resolve here, totally fine. We it. fight for the greater good. That army there is a fair bit damaged though. Absolutely not Claim clear. what is ours. Your word? Queen of Avalon. Alright, Alariel's Alar army is not particularly damaged, so I'm gonna leave it out of this hang on, do they have lightning I cannot strike? Allow it. No. No, nope, there's no way he's got lightning strike. No way. Well, what they might be able to do, considering how much movement he's got, is besiege Alariel with that army. And then attack with this one. Against the damaged one. So what I'll do is take them out. So that he can't do that. If he besieges the settlement and then attacks, all three armies will show up. And all three armies will reinforce if they go for it. So that works out just fine. Make sure we put in some extra defenses in here. I'll fix up the other stuff later. Gifted advisor. Can't capture the Oak of Ages because, yeah, that would not be ideal. The vortex calls. So weird, spawnified units. 
I could just disband them as well. Why, do, why would I even want them out here? Wood elves destroy spawn of Zinch. Why do I even want them? This is costing me more money than regular units. I'll keep it for now, but I don't know if I even want them. Okay, Clan Angren has got a mission for me. To defeat Durthu. Alright, done. What about this one? Durthu provides more, and we're very likely to fight him. Alright, let's do that. Because I'd like to get my hand on the other ancestor heroes, wherever they are. They're probably in Belagar's army. Who is... Yeah, there's Belagar. I can't borrow that army. Okay. Alright, that, that was a good turn against the uh, Wood Elves there. That worked out fairly well for us. Alright, we build this and then we can get rid of the wine resource from the other location. Loyal These guys are almost ready to go. Alright. Hi, Elven Archmage. Set sail! Okay. Full sail! Sail on! Alright, all that looks good. High Elden so, what is this, five more turns remaining? Yeah. Could do it earlier, but I would only be willing to do it one or two turns earlier. Your behest? And I'd have to be done with this war here. Alright, what are we doing with this? Duty is purpose. True magic. Yeah, they're very much not happy with us. That's okay, we can sort them out later. Your decree? Yeah, you come over here to protect that region. It's giving us more movement than it says. Can't reach that. This is absurd. That army is not a big deal. Yeah, it really isn't a big deal. So you, even though you're out, True magic guides you haven't got the full stack. Just move to here. Hang on. I know my destination. Just make sure they can't attack us. So stand like there. Get the two pieces of artillery that I reserve reserved for you. Joy is wanton. The Grim Prince. Hmm. Okay, I think what I should do here is get rid of this building. Actually, make it this one. Obey the vow. He can't quite reach Itza this turn, but if I capture Quetza, he should be able to reach Itza next turn. But that means double backing over that way. There's no more Lizardman stuff down south. It's just that it, we don't want this Skaven to hit us while we're without delay. While we're um preoccupied. Ivresses guardian, Fang sword ready. Tor Ivress demands our sacrifice. Okay, and then bring this army over here to protect the settlement. Yeah. Okay, that's all I can get. Yeah, no, we still need to keep that there. Okay. Biggest concern, though, is this. Do we wait for them to come up here? Because they clearly want to. Loyal subject. We could set up an ambush. Because, yeah, they can't jump in the underway. Your instructions. Oh god, this is gonna get very cramped. Okay, you come out. Princess of Altran. There's a lot of heroes here, they might detect us. Very likely that they'll detect us. Wait, do they have lightning strike? That one definitely doesn't, but what about Gorok? Because if Gorok Hang on, we got this over here to deal with. You are without sense or honor. Ready yourself. I was hoping they'd attach another hero into that army. They cannot withstand high. Where magic. is the dragon army? I tuned in five hours ago when you started building it. Is it done yet? No. 
<laughs> I didn't start it five hours ago. It wasn't that long. I wield the winds. It's not about how many hours, it's how many turns. There's a lot that needs to be done every single turn. See Gorok. Could you just move a little bit closer? It might be an ambush dance. Do they have lightning strike? I don't know. That's the big question. Okay, here's here's the thing. If I move behind the settlement here, it seems unlikely that. Gorok would be able to reach from that distance. Look at this. It uses up all of our movement. I agree. And that's 125. Loyal servant. Ready to We're going to ambush stance back behind the uh, uh the settlement here. On my way. He might be more willing to come up this way. You come up over here as well, going to ambush stance behind the settlement. Journey. Now, he might force march over to here, at which point that would be the stupidest thing he could do because I'd, I'd just kill them. Leave this one here, because if he does have lightning strike, I'm going to need this army to hold this position as best as I fucking can. Standing by. It's a good army, though. Uh, it's a good shit army, I mean. have to see how it plays out. Your word? Because yeah, if I can just keep these armies in this vicinity, by the time this is taking a little bit of attrition as well. So, yeah. Sister Big iffy Abel. on that one. Time for Dragon Princes or Phoenix Guard meme stack. Not Dragon Princes, no way. The Warden of Tor Ivres. Um, as for Phoenix Guard, yeah, maybe if the right Magic trait shows up. Form. But not yet. Alright, I think that's all my military movement. Nope, I haven't done the Tyrian stuff up here yet. Be prepared, Asor. Fall to my power. They'll suffer the might of Safari. Thing to keep in mind is that if he does have lightning strike, well then he's going to deny his own reinforcements and exhaust his own army. I just need to make sure he doesn't lightning strike the smaller army. We need not fear Plus, when I looked at his army, it was mostly melee infantry and a whole bunch of of um, ancient salamanders. It's not like a right of primeval glory army, which, by the way, he could spawn at any moment. But it will it will happen at Itza. If that does happen. Let me just check. When was the last time he did that? He doesn't have an active at the moment. So he might have availability for it. If he feels desperate enough, he might do it. Okay. Right, if this army here lands, that's fine. Let's let's try to um goad them into it. Ready yourselves. Cloaked in shadow. Master mage. Led by the winds. Carried by magic. And we've prepared a little bit over here. I'm not overly Go. concerned about this army. If Zachary this gets to be recruited, because we've got we've got the defenses here, gifted. it should be fine. Got that down to one turn. Don't need this. I guess we can do that. A wise course. Ready to attack. Imagine this one's just gonna try to run away. That's a chance. At your service. We'll be giving Folly of Malefex over to Nagareth, and Tyrion should just let's see. I think Tyrion should go into ambush dance here. Oh, let's block this army. Yes, great idea. Pain 
will find them. Good. This is not the end. Loyal attendant. It's yeah, going to ambush dance near the bridge crossing here. The winds call. Cool, that works for me. Alright, I think that is all my military movements made. Stand ready for action. Master of high magic. She got four levels up to do. I might go with Tempest with her. Because we've got banishment with the other character. Yeah, she's all good there. This one here's got banishment. Don't need to double up that much. Time for drag. I already read that out. Chat's just moving a bit slower than usual. Okay. People might be getting tired now. Okay. Well, this seems fine. Some construction done. Uh, this settlement here. Do we really need these defenses? Middle of nowhere. Turn about that one. Keep this place fortified up. So that'll give us an additional unit. That'll give us a phoenix in there. That's good. All right, and then this one here. Defender forgot to move that. Move, move down here. Garrisoning. Entering the garrison. Setting up Garrus. Oh, that's fine. Uh, let's see if there's a new handmaiden available for him this turn. Nope. Hand Man, I haven't had a hit resistant handmaiden show up in a really long time. It happens. I don't think I've got any more saved up either. Rudrios. Yeah, we might as well invest into it because I'm not giving it up. Unless, of course, it's the Wood Elf Endgame Crisis, in which case, you better believe I'll give it up straight away. <laughs> I do not want to be in here during the Wood Elf Endgame Crisis. Yuck! This needs to grow as quickly as possible. Yep, that's fine. Okay, all things constructed. I don't think I've recruited my Prince and Princess yet. Edict in Chakwa. Okay, I'll, I'll go do that now before I forget. Hi, Elven Archmage. Protector of Elfwa. Vol, yep. Right, that's like punitive, but the lesser Can version of it. Assistance? How much is that giving us some money now? 414. Almost pays for their recruit costs. Well, actually, no, it needs to double that. So it just takes two turns before these get a return on investment, just on the invocation of Vol alone. Uh, the other thing I needed to check was... Life Wizards. I'm pretty sure we already didn't get one this turn. Yeah, I've already, I must have already recruited it. And then have a look at other heroes. That's what's available. So we've got Nobles, nothing. Handmaidens. Medic, Vigorous. Law must... Resilient. Okay, another Resilient shown up. We've got Blade Lord there. No, I wasn't recruiting any Blade Lords. So 
That is two towards the the doom stack. You seek illumination. Seventeen to go. That's how I spell it, right? Go on. Is that what I wrote in the sky? Yeah, Law I did. Master of Hoem. As a lawmaster. What did I get earthing for? I never overcast. Whatever. Now is not the time. So that was good. What else we got? Mages. I got enough mages for now. We got too many law masters of Hoth. I could disband one. Depends on what shows up. Nobles. That's fine. All right, let's let's continue doing this. Able. This guy came back. Born he has only got, no, he's got 19 turns of it. Standing by. Dis. Fuck. <laughs> critical failed. 89% chance of success. Like so 2% chance of critical failure. God damn it. Fucking guys haven't been able Speak to do a proper mind. run of influence Standing in like 10 turns. Brave this guy here doesn't have any. 68%. Alright, let me just... I need to get this guy some fucking influence. It's going to need to use the court attendant. Smash it to ruins! Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Oh my god! Fucking success chance. Whatever. I'm okay. Not the worst thing ever. Yes. Hey, that's good. I'll take that. I'm surprised they're even still alive. My time is oh, maybe Reichland revived them. Very well. What news? Um. Oh, imagine if we stole. Henry, that'd be good. Uh, but I would need it a military time. alliance. Let's just hold Analysis. off on that because this is going up. Lord Keeper. All right, let's, let's have a look here. Talson wants peace. Nah, fuck them. Let's get rid of them completely. Why are you spamming nobles? That's how we get in so much influence. Do you not know how to play high elves? All right, biggest concern is this over here. Huge amount of force. Depending on how they go about it. If all of our forces can fight together, we should be fine. If they isolate us, we're in big trouble. That guy can't get involved. Hopefully these just turn back around and go back out that way. If they end up standing about over here, I'll definitely strike at them. I'm back. It's okay. Yeah, the OBS just went, Hey, I know you're streaming, but how about I don't even tell you, but... <laughs> just decided to turn off for no reason whatsoever. I feel like OBS used to be better. Oh, well, what are you going to do? It's still pretty good. All right. Everything else over here seems fine. Any other missions? No. All right. All right, let's see what this end turn has to offer. So yeah, in two turns, this will be ready. Turn it out this way. What are you Alarial's doing? Guardian. Oh, that's right, that's right. We need to... I'm glad I remembered. I didn't remember, but... Keep an eye on that. Incorrupt. Understood. Keeping an eye on the Skaven is important. Guardian of Avalon. All right, I've done everything I can. Let's move on. Of magic. Yep, yep, yep. Oh man, I'm always so nervous about hitting end turn. Legend, you forgot to do this. Whatever it is. Um, looking at. Oh god, it's been organized differently. Yeah, that's better. Okay, no. No rogue armies to worry about there. All right, let's go. Proud to serve. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Katarin's invading Norska. Noble in Cathay. Oh my god, you're right, I've totally forgotten about that dude. <laughs> that guy's like, where's that invasion force that, that these guys said they were going to bring? He's like, I'm going to send this noble off to Cathay, ahead of the army. No army ever showed up. <laughs> beastmen in Nagaron. What brings you here? Uh, I didn't see any beastmen. Let me, let me just... Nah, you're full of shit. I love how I told Alithanark, hey, could you please take out Sertha Ek? And he goes, yep, I'm totally going to do that. And then he goes the opposite direction. Making this, like, what's the even the point of spending allegiance points if they're not even going to listen to you? Yeah, let's put this mechanic in the game and then just make it not work. Sort of like um, warning, warning trespassers. Two years on, still doesn't bloody work. Like, what is the point of putting it in the game if you're just not going to get it to work? It's like CA never QA. From what I've been told, QA get very frustrated because they'll log a problem and then it just never gets fixed. They've definitely got a QA department. It's just, think of it like this. QA logs a problem, and then a manager looks at it and goes, nah, and just scratches it off and just redacts it. He goes, not a problem, just don't worry about it. Worry about it in the next game sort of thing. Because I remember back in 2016, I went to CA and I met their QA guys, and they're like, intimately aware with how bad these games are programmed. <laughs> we had like this... Uh, the, the lead QA guy, me and him, had a big conversation about like all the exploits we can do. And I asked him, I was like, how come these games are so buggy? And he says, we log them, but they don't get fixed. Our job is just to, f like, as the QA guys, their job is just to find the bugs, to log them. And then the programmers or the scripters or whatever, they need to have time dedicated to do it. And most of the time, they don't get the time. Oh shit, I was supposed to sell the Folly of Malefix. Excuse me. I knew there was something I forgot to do. Getting fucking tired. Little slip. No one was threatening it, but I should just uh, get it done, otherwise I'll forget about it. As a QA engineer, this is extremely relatable. Yeah, well, it's, I, I try not to take jabs at uh, CA's QA. I know sometimes I've, I seem like I do. But it's more about the managers not assigning time to get these things fixed. I gotta be more diligent with that. How fares your soul? Let me Let me just see real quick. This army here. Yeah, see, this no. one here, it wouldn't be out of reach. So there's nothing threatening it, but just get on with it anyway. Greetings. I know it's an encamp stance, but next to 25, and it's only you. one lord. For whom do you dance? We'd probably be able to defeat it with the garrison, though. So, what is it? Folly of Malefix. That's... Oh, that's getting my money back. All right, there the you go. The end justifies the means. Move on. Uh, 
Have you revived tech this already? No, it's turning into be a quite a time consuming effort to do it. I'm getting there. I'm still working on it, but it is it is not a simple case of just if I just win a battle, Techless comes back. It's a case of a lot of work around. But it is on the way. Loving the streams. Sorry, loving the live streams. Cheers from Texas. All right, hey, dude. For CA, it's not about assuring its quality. It's about assuring CA that it's good enough. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. But a lot of the time, it just isn't good enough. Shit. QA and my job harass our product managers until one of us devs get the job gets it fixed. Yeah, I imagine that probably what happens at CA is um if you shake the boat too hard, rock the boat too hard, you end up getting fired. That is my experience with Creative Assembly. If you rock the boat too hard, you will just be removed. They do not want boat rockers. You know, you'll be seen as disrespectful or disruptive. So I imagine that would be pretty disheartening for a lot of uh, QA develop QA staff members who find pretty egregious problems that don't get fixed. Oh no, they discovered me. Uh That's fine. Bring me battle. There is nothing that can stop this army. They are free to go. Is that malice? What dedication, Tyrion? Uh dedicated to Isha. Gets a little bit of physical resistance, replenishment, reduced upkeep cost for archers. So that's pretty good. Raiding debuff stacks if you're trying to farm a rebellion? Yes, it does. Absolutely. But you can't raid as the high elves. <laughs> so it's a, it's a little bit tricky. High elves are not good at bringing other factions back. They can do it, but they're not good at it. Not like corruptive factions, since corruption no longer factors into it. Causing shitloads of public order, inflicting corruption really quickly, can bring a faction back really fast. Especially if you're also a, f a character like Morgor that causes attrition onto the garrison. Oh wait, I don't know if he affects garrison, he definitely affects armies. Joe Lewis says, I have an idea for a sort of narrative campaign anthology video series starting with Warhammer 1 and on. Does that pique your interest or do you think it's kind of lame? Um, it doesn't pique my interest at all. I don't think it's necessarily lame. If you want to develop that, I'd say go for it. But I'm not going to do that.
Is CA a rising sun company? No, right now they're a um, setting sun company. At the moment. Things, things change. Come on, I just want to skip Clan Angrind. Whatever they do, it doesn't matter. What is your favorite unit? A loose unit. I don't get it. Can't save me next. Well, uh, there, this, it, it's decaying. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to have a look at the analytics afterwards. But it's not a guaranteed at this stage, so we'll we'll see. I'm not gonna say no, but you know, it's uh, this is the worst performing episode so far. So we'll have to think about it. I know that nothing particularly this. exciting has been going on, but it's just the situation. Care to tank your reliability for shits and giggles? Nope, that's not the goal of the campaign. Like, what for? That's not gonna make it any more entertaining, it's just gonna be stupid. Two point three is good though? Yes, but it's... What I'm saying is... You gotta listen to what I actually say. It's been decaying. Okay? It's a downward trajectory. There is a long way to go for, to finish this campaign. Okay. If the downward trajectory hits a certain point, the campaign ends regardless of whether we've had a defeat or not. Okay, I'm not saying we're there right now. I'm saying it's a downward trajectory. I've been noticing it. It's not that bad, but just just be mindful that it's happening. If, you know, if the campaign doesn't reach full map completion, so be it. I'm not going to commit to something that people aren't going to watch. Low viewers? I didn't say low viewers. I didn't say that. I said it has a downward trajectory. I didn't say it's low. Today is okay. Okay, there's a rogue army there, but it's nowhere near me. Alright. It's just, it's funny, I say something, and then people just fucking lose their mind straight away, okay? No need for alarm bells. It could just be because today is a Wednesday, it could just be because no particularly interesting battles happening today. Might just be an anomaly. But my goal here is not to fuck up and have stupid battles, but to actually keep, um... Keep trying to do as best a job as I can. Alright. Joe Vieira did a 5 hour super chat. Thanks for the stream, man. Just trying to show appreciation. No worries, dude. Appreciate that. And also, it's also just important to keep in mind that a series can have a downward trajectory and then completely reverse course on it. So don't 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 stress too much. Maybe there'll be a part seven. I'm just not 100% convinced based on the analytics at this stage. So just just wait and see. All right. Well, they didn't make the attack. He definitely doesn't have life lightning strike. As long as we keep him pinned in this general area. Where did his other army go? Prince Eltharic. They moved him out of, um, out of there. Oh, 
Oh, the army is right here. Yeah, you see there's two animations of it. Just the army itself is... is his bit. He's in astromancy stance. They're slowly creeping up this way. Time is of the essence. <coughs> okay, see here? I can't reach this army. And that's with 125 move points. Now, he might have more base move points than us. But we can see here that with 25% redu reduced, he can only get to there. Seemingly unlikely... Yeah, we should we should be okay. We should be okay there. Have you conquered the whole map in Strange before? Not in Warhammer 3, but I have in Warhammer 2. So this has got four turns left, I think. Yeah. Do not, not think. And over here, they are hunkering down. Now, the problem here is that if I send too much force in this direction... Then these guys will just go and grab Crackles of Findle. Master of they can't reach magic. the King's Glade. Because you can't attack it from this direction. They have to go all the way around. So this I army here could wings. be used to stay at Crackles of Findle. None may stand against us. They're building that back up. Defender of the Asur. It might be a good idea to set up an ambush. Because as long as nobody has access to lightning strike, which they definitely don't, we're good there. My sight is yours. How can I assist you? Can you give me Cornell's back? Let the supplicant come forward. No. Why do you have Chaos Spawn? Um, for some reason, Village used Spawnify on me. I don't know why, but he just gave me some units. <laughs> I don't necessarily think it's a good thing, because they're way more expensive than Archers, and they're not really that good against Wood Elves, so it was just weird. So it's Zinch, you know. Zinch moves in mysterious ways. Devotee of the Lady. Yeah. Dirthu can't reach Paravon. Paravon's defenses. I have seen your heart. I'm thinking about sending oh, Alistair up this way because he could use more experience. While keeping this one here. Just holding down the fort. Don't want to put it in ambush stance or anything. Can I offer assistance? I don't think there's any armies out this way. How likely will he declare war on us? But no, you he considers me his main threat, but I'm so much ridiculously stronger than him. There, there hasn't been factions declaring war on me lately, apart from rogue armies. Speaking of which... The heirs of, heirs of Morcane, these are the guys we saw. They're nothing that we have to worry about. Just be aware that they exist, that's all. Alright. You need me? Have you stolen those dwarf heroes yet? Yes. I have stolen them. They're currently wounded, so they'll be back the in a couple of turns. We are the conquerors. Right. I'd much rather get Canel's back. Loyal so I'm going to build a barracks here so that I can swap it. Because, yeah, I want that back. Lord of Bretonia. At what level does he get a Leave dragon? Because otherwise we don't have a siege attacker. Okay, he'll be able to do it essentially next battle. It's correct, Ziflin. Cool. That replenishment's not going to be too bad. Alright, what does he need here? I think I was going down this way. Cool. Master of high magic. Also, I just oh, realized we've got another resistant ha um, life wizard sitting in the um, pool, not doing anything. I should train her up. Yeah, this one here. In the white I think I just recruited there. her earlier on the campaign and then just forgot to do anything with her. We need not fear our lessons. Sack their homes. This isn't Without causing a revolt, mercy. is it?
Even if we keep doing this, I'm fairly sure it will not revolt. Hi, Elvin Archmage. Because Harry they can always just turn off taxes. Yeah, so that would mean minus four. And then as it gets towards minus 75, they would get eight extra public order. So even if you kept stacking this over and over again, it'll never revolt. Hence why it is so tricky to um, cause revolts as high elves. You can do it. It's a pain. All right, we need to take its, uh, it's a pizza. Lot of Skaven there. Let the bell scream, scream. Yeah, a lot of Skaven there. If they decide to attack Quetzal, that could fuck us up. I could sell it to them now. That way they can't take it if they already own it. Because they might choose to attack me at any moment. That puts me at a big risk there. And Quetzal is not important. You can easily just take it back off them later. Yeah, that is, that's a bit overkill. That's a bit overkill there. In my father's name. Because yeah, still got four turns to wait, but they might declare war on me because they still hate my guts. Because I really want to take Itza. Now at Axlotl over here, we need to get defenses built. And I need to keep an eye out on stuff over here. My work is done. What well, legendary Lord of Warhammer 3 would you say someone would have to hate themselves to enjoy playing as them? Um, I don't really feel like there's any in Warhammer 3. There's no there's no throg in Warhammer 3 that's that's really that bad. I don't know, give me some examples of sorry, of campaigns you think are really bad. Warden of Sapphire. Because I just can't think of any that are as bad as what they were in Warhammer 2. So I'm fairly sure there's. I think not. I'm actually not sure. Sertha Ek, yeah. <laughs> as soon as he sees an army, I uh, army, I run away. No. The AI just does not try to get reasonably fair fights. They're not interested in it. A step Is this the last of this faction? You know nothing. Do not test. No, they're good another settlement at Varg Camp. Marcus Wolfhart? No, I don't think Mar Marcus Wolfhart's that bad in Warhammer 3. Protector of the Ever Queen. Ever vigilant. The winds are rising. Alright, I think what we should do here is fight this battle, probably manually. If it gives us an order resolve, then so be it. And then double back to the Twisted Towers. And these Master ones here should take magic. out this dude. I control the flow. Yeah, he just sat around doing nothing. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Kugath? Oh yeah, Kugath. Um, I don't think Kugath is is that bad, but it's one of the toughest campaigns, I think. But it's not that bad. Serve the Phoenix King. We shall not rest. At least these will be able to reinforce for this one, so that should really help in order resolve. Do not tarry. Because I don't want to do a siege. This one can't make it. Ready to serve. Orders. Bahoa. Yeah, take this one out Both first. One. I could just get them to do that next turn, I suppose. No, we don't want to lose any units. Experienced units are really good in order resolve. So, this won't take too long, but it has to be fought manually. The only two that come to mind as being worse at Legend of War are Torox and Malagor, but that's more balance changes than to the Lords. Yeah, no, 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 no. What I meant was, like, they're definitely worse in Warhammer 3 than they are in 2, but they're still good campaigns. What I mean is, there are no campaigns that are so bad that they're worse than Throg in Warhammer 2, or Wolfric in Warhammer 2, or Nakai the Wanderer in Warhammer 2. 
You know, they they did put in a pretty good effort to try to balance things out. But what I think my problem with Wormer 3 is they also don't have, like, those really special campaigns. Well, I don't have quite as many of them. Like, the Ica Claw campaign in Wormer 3 just doesn't feel as good as it is in Wormer 2. Still fine. But... Just sort of lost a lot of its charm. What is with these weird formations that the AI does? They don't form wide, they form long-wise for some reason. Did someone at Creative Assembly think that this was a good formation? Like, look at this shit. Seal. Maintaining order. Enemy charges. Following up, you are. Sword of the Asur. Winds of magic rise. Onward, making my way. Going abroad. I'll do this on them so they don't run away while we're Lacko smashing them with that. Going. Happy to serve. Katep maybe it's brutal. Uh, I played a Katep campaign recently. I don't agree that it's brutal. Champion of Alaria. game is kidding themselves if they think they've got the advantage here. Heir of Anarian. For my lady. Okay. Tireless. Don't get bogged Forward. down fighting trash. You want to be fighting a crib this. With me. Oh, he just wanted that ass big time there. Eager for battle. So much so they didn't even hit it. Just wanted to ram that ass. The Reaper. Agreed. Awaiting orders. I go then. Setting forth. That was probably not going to do super well. Air of Anarian. Very well. Moving out. By Asurian. They're casting spells. No mercy. Okay, yeah, they're going after the, the only thing that they can hope to actually kill or catch. But I'm going to slow them down on the approach. Especially this one here. Setting four. It will be done. Going. 
Asura, warrior. You're taking casualties there? Yeah, a little bit. Shades popped in from the flank. Not a big deal. Noble. But we can outrange them, so just fall back. Yeah, trying to Beauty kill my calls. wizard. She's immortal. Did you hear? The greater good. Without fail. March. My power is yours. to my will. Just gotta get this one out of here before it gets wiped out. Lopsided damage, not ideal. Move these back. Don't let him get away. They're on force march, but still get the kill. Cool. We might even recover and have essentially more troops at the end of this battle than we did at the beginning. I'm not sure about this unit, though. Now, running this down isn't about getting um, kills so we don't have to fight them again. They're on force march. But the more kills that we get, the more captives we get, the more we'll replenish. Not a big deal, but better than nothing. Forty-five casualties. Pretty much all focus on this one unit here. Ninety percent of the end times is bad writing and stuff taken out of people's houses. The other ten percent when they accidentally wrote something cool. Hmm. Yeah, the shades did all the casualties because the other guys couldn't get close. Can you still get the banner of Isha? They give the army immunity against attrition. Oh yeah, I've got four of them. But I've got the um, invocation of Isha going on at the moment, so I'm not equipping any of them because they also reduce your um. Enslave them. Re they reduce your campaign movement range by ten percent, which isn't that big of a deal, but still, don't need it right now. Champion of the Ever Queen. By the White Tower. Protector of Ulfor. Hmm. Protector of the Ever Queen. These two here do not require Tyrion's assistance, I think. I mean, we want Tyrion to get across here quicker, as quickly as possible. All right, let's hand over Infernius. Welcome to Nagarith, kin. I hope it's not too shocking. Why well, he seems to have used up all of his money. All right. Why don't that's a that's a lot of points. Why don't you give me a settlement for that? Say... This one? Twisted Glade? No. What about Blank's, Black Creek Spire? I'm not sure if I really want that one though, because it's kind of a frontier. Yeah, he is willing to um, swap that one. But this is a settlement that could come under attack fairly easily. I don't want any of this rubbish out this way. Eh, whatever. I can always just give it back Very to him well. if, if shit hits the fan. Why not Loth and Seaguard with Tyrion? Well, let me answer your question with a question. Why Loth and Seaguard? With Tyrion, why? He doesn't boost them at all. If we have a look here, Tyrion's trait, Great Warrior, reduces upkeep costs for spearmen, silver and guard, rangers, archers, and silver helms. 
He it only increases the recruit rank for Loth and Seaguard. So, that's relatively cheap considering we're at 84% extra army upkeep. Right, you're gonna have to go into encamp stance. Good amount of replenishment then. I mean, here's the thing, his army is invincible, so why make it stronger? He cannot lose. I've got one point left. Oh, Awakening of the Wood. Thing is, I wanted to put it into Mentor. Well, 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 maybe we'll get another point when we hit that rank. Maybe. Silver health? Why? Nothing to fear. What for? Just way more expensive. He doesn't boost them at all. Wait. Her servant. Oh yeah, it reduces, reduces the upkeep cost on Silver Helms. What for? What for? Like I said, his army is invincible. Give him the cheapest unit we can give him. Prince okay. So, with Quetzal, I'm thinking we might have to give Clan Pestilence Quetzal. Just because these armies threaten us. And, and I need to get Itza now. And I need his army to do it. Wait, hang on. Do I? I don't need his army to do it. We've got two armies here. High Elven Archmage. The Swordmasters of Hoeth on their own would be able to handle this. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. What would you I'm have of me? Chance. Um, Alpo Karkur, I'm sure I mispronounced that. Did a two-year super chat. Just finished work and saw you were streaming. Great, mate. Anyways, dude, thanks for the super chat. Hope you had a good day at work. All right, and then oh, Axlotl, nice. I think you need to stay there a little bit. Well, this settlement here isn't under any threat. Not really. Because, yeah, these forces here, that is no joke. Those are no joke units. If they attack Quetzal, I'd be able to hold them off, I think, with Eltharion. Even going up against two full stacks, I think he can manage it. The most gifted. I could bring this army down here and go into encamp stance. What? Hold one command. Wait, 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 wait. No glory. In force march. Wait, hang on. In Force March, they barely mo uh, make it there. Because Silver Helms, you can cosplay the Ride of Rahira Materia. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Um. I mean, I, I guess I could do that. It really wouldn't make his army any weaker. It'd just make it more expensive. Um. I guess I could. It just seems silly for me to switch his units when I don't need to. Did they build this building? They didn't even build it. The fucking AI. They don't build landmarks. Oh wait, no, there it is. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was hidden under this one. They did build it. Me, sorry, sorry AI. Sorry. Alright. You're definitely getting involved in this one. Hang on, how far can they move? Starting out. Okay. Get your ass down here. Protector of the Ever Queen. I should be able to auto this. Yeah, easy. Yeah, barely any casualties. Good stuff. I mean, I nearly got a million, so I probably don't need to do that. Defender of the Ever Queen. Alright. Good, we got it straight away. Extra casualty replenishment rate, growth, all provinces, and the medicinal plants. So now I can go back up to here. I do not need this building anymore. If we have a look at this, we are now massively overproducing on medicinal plants. So it makes no sense to keep it there. Good. A little bit concerned about this army. Just a little bit. Prince. 
Prince of Elf One. Hmm. I will see to it. Safari's servant. Not over here, just a concern they're gonna do something to us here. I am no one servant. See these heroes here could pull us out of ambush dance. I'm concerned that they'll attempt to besiege with one army and attack with the others. But if we have a look here, I will do my duty. I can't make it to him. Going forth. They've really put us in a bit of a weird position with this. And I don't think my heroes here are in a particularly good position to assassinate these guys. Let me just have a look. And get it up to 60%. 63%, which for me is very low odds. Under her protection. High Elven Archmage. This one is just defending this area, just in case an attack happens. Handmaiden of the Ever Which doesn't seem likely at the stage. Hmm. Alright, they don't have lightning strike on either of them. Why don't we stand outside of Quetzal? In encamp stance. And same thing with you. You come over here in encamp stance. And we just wait for this. Mm, yeah, you'll be fine there. Gotta be very careful about getting ambushed by Skaven in Lustria. Because they have very high ambush success chance. This would be a good opportunity, I think, for Kratian scouts. So I've got a fair few of them now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I don't have that many. I've only got three. I guess I haven't fought enough ambush Asshole battles. Prince. And then you need one as well. Just in case. We do not want to get caught by these fuckers. Unswerving. Handmaiden of Alaria. Okay, here's an idea. Here's an idea. What if... What if I peace out with Itza, right? We don't have to wipe him out right now. If we take Jodl... He'll only have this settlement left, and the next time we fight him, he'll be all bunched up together. He'll probably concentrate his forces at Pestilence, and either he'll get wrecked or he'll win. Either way, we win. And all I have to do is capture that. Which I could do with this one here. But then, go watch out for this one. Because they're not going to declare war on us straight away over the end turn. Not after they've received such a beating. I should probably do it with this one, actually. This one would win. Yeah, this makes sense to me. For the king. The Asur follows strength. Seize it. Are you going to attack the Skaven this turn? Both armies are in force march. Would be a good opportunity and a big blow to them. It would, but the problem here is reliability. This act of treachery would probably put me on low reliability for about 10 turns. That will have uh, a lot of ramifications. I just can't justify doing that. So I think I've knocked him down to one settlement. Yep. We'll get a peace treaty with him, because I just don't like that position that he's coming in. Hopefully he'll swing, swing his armies around, get wrecked. And he changed his name from Gorok to get wrecked. And... If Clan Pestilence takes this, in four turns we're going to war with them anyway, but this gives me a chance to firstly clean this fucker up and get into position to attack Pestilence. Sure. So that ended up being a very profitable war. 
William Webb did a five dollar super chat. Come on now, legend. Just slaughter them lizards. They wouldn't give you the same. Wouldn't give the same respect. Oh no, I totally would. Totally will slaughter them. It's just we gotta wait for the right opportunity. Like Gorok is just a killing machine. We gotta be very careful about fighting him. This is just not a favorable strategic position. That's all. So now we can shift our efforts. We can send these forces to go and take out the sacred pools. That's gonna be pretty easy. There's two full stacks there though. Protector of Althuan. All right, let's have a look. Hopefully, we got a resistant handmaid in this turn. Nope. We didn't. Oh no, Halen Hardy. No, that's not what I want. Get rid of that. Handmaiden of Alad. Orders. In global, I want you to recruit more Lothurn Sea Guard. And also some artillery. Cool. Don't bother with that. Clear and now, stop trespassing. Now, if I was to do this, I gar maybe we should test this out. Send a warning to the trespassing faction to leave your territory at once. If they fail to leave, in two rounds you can declare war on them without having to su suffer treachery penalties for breaking non-aggression pact and trade agreements. But I don't think it applies for peace treaties. In fact, I don't think it uh, applies for non-aggression pact and trade agreements. Because, yeah, I've done this multiple times, and it never bloody works. Aren't sacred pool guys allied to Itza? You're right, they are allied to Itza. Oh, but then... I thought they were at war with Pestilence. They're not. Could you break your alliance with Itza? Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta ask. <laughs> Shit, man. Alright, how about you break your trade agreement with Itza? I'm not paying for that. Sometimes you just gotta ask. Hi, mage. Jeez. I was not expecting that. So yeah, this is faction that's completely surrounding us, and uh, we're allied to the same, uh, to a, another faction of our race, and that other faction that's surrounding us, and is really belligerent, wants us to break our alliance, but they'll pay us a few bucks. Accept the deal. <laughs> Hi, it's Elvin money, Archie. accept it. I don't know. I can't explain why they did that. Sometimes the AI just won't negotiate with you, no matter what, and sometimes they're just like, yep, yeah, I'll take that. Alright, I'm gonna leave this army here, because as soon as they disband it, this guy will just swing straight back. A reckoning. I could borrow Master that army again. Master. This is the army that I've always consistently um, borrowed, but I'm happy for Alithanar to just do his own thing. Not one on Hopefully he manages to win against that. If he wants to invade here, awesome. I don't need any of this territory for myself. For my queen. Right now, at least. Alright, so Tyrion's done. Eltharion's done with his turn. Yeah, this guy here is defending those positions. So that should be fine. Handmaiden of the Ever queen. This one. You probably don't need to be in be that stance anymore. But just, you two have always stayed together. Because yeah, next time we go to war with Itza, they're just all going to be at Thrice Cursed Peace. We... Uh, thrice cursed peak. We, we can send a lot of force at him, and we can dictate the terms to be favorable to us. Plus, he might actually start disbanding his units because his finances are likely going to go shit. All right, Alariel, we haven't done anything with her yet. Yeah, this is a bit of an iffy situation because of split uh, forces here. I think what we need to do is lure them into traps. So stay in ambush dance. My anger burns bright. At least we get some replenishment going on. By the gods. And while that's going on, Master keep recruiting. Toro Lasso wants me to take out Malice Darkblade. Okay, I can do that. Friends are friends, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. 
Yeah, I know, right? Your coming was foretold. A discordant song. Mm -hmm. All of this seems fine. Because if these remain ambushed over the end turn, either Argwalon will come down here and make this attack, and it will fail. Not necessarily. I think this one here should sit inside the settlement. Yes, lad. Because if we have to fight that battle manually, there'll have been no garrison in there, and we have to wait like two minutes for these guys to show up, which is plenty of time for them to basically cap all the points. But if that goes in there, you can hold them back a little bit. No. Princess of I mean, chances are we'd be able to auto resolve it, but I don't want to put it to chance. Because next turn we're going to have the defenses there anyway, so they'll that'll be able to hold pretty well. Does Aquilon want peace? They do, yeah. No, I'd say let's get rid of him now. Because once they're gone, we can completely focus on the vampires over here. Because there's no other enemies out this way. Absolutely none. It's corn. What are you doing, corn? Knights of Kalidor are still alive. They're just not in their start position. He was alive this whole time. Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick on how to discover a faction. I'm going to join war against Imric. Okay, the reason for this is we'll instantly discover him. And I'll just, I'll just suck his dick and he'll peace out with me. <laughs> Hey, Imric. The dragon He's like, shall hey, why'd you declare war on me? How about, how about peace? Would you like peace? How many settlements do you have left? Five. Shit, he's on death's door. Oh man, I can't believe we didn't check this earlier. TJ Crown did a ten dollar super chat. Have you watched Belial news video on you and how you're bringing people back to play the old historical Total War games, mainly Shogun Two? You just earned yourself a sub. Keep up the great work, Legend. Um, thanks for the super chat. When was that video made? I do watch Belial, especially when he makes videos about Total War related things. But what specifically was this a new video? Because I haven't checked out his videos in about a week. Because if he's made a video on me, yeah, I want to watch it. It was made a bit ago. Oh, well, if that was the case, if it was like a month ago, then yeah, I've watched it. He made it on you a few days ago. All right, I'm gonna just go have a quick look. I'm not gonna watch it right now, but I can like queue it up. Let me have a look. I'm assuming it's on Bellion, Bellion News because he's got multiple channels, doesn't he? Total War's fatal mistake happened long ago. Is that the video? like one day ago cool i'll watch that later so next time i'm on live you can ask me about it but i, I like bell your for sure yeah he seems like a really good dude um i mean i've never had any personal interactions with him but i like his videos live reaction streams i don't like doing that it leaves open to not that he would copyright claim but youtube can just like automatically do this shit sometimes and it's just, it's not what people are here to watch. I'll just, I'll watch it later and then I'll let you know my thoughts. All right, so we've got to get out of this war with him. I was born to commune with dragons, not lesser beings. Uh, can I, I've already used up my influence recently. I can't believe he's been alive this whole fucking time. Do you know what's, do you know what's even better, right? is that we can use this peace treaty to get a confederation with him earlier. I just have to get this above 150. No! Oh shit. Ah! 
I have something else. The power and the glory money. I have shitloads of money. That's what I can do. Oh, hang on. I can throw bucket loads of money at him. I just don't know how much a gift is going to be worth. Um, offer him... We'll go, we'll go 10,000. And then you go this, and then you cancel that. And yeah, that ends up in a gift. I just don't know how much this is going to be worth. I will not fail. So that gift was worth 40. So if I offer 10,000 again, and then you have to offer a military access, and then you cancel the peace treaty, and it leaves that one there. Observe my skill. That was only worth 20 that time, so it's not worth as much. Settlement plus money. I can't give him a settlement. I, I He's too far away. I, can't, I don't even have enough money to get a peace treaty. But the whole point of this is get the relation up. I'll throw some influence his way as well, since I don't see a better opportunity. Because I reckon he's kind of in a bad position. Bet you wish you had farmed Grom's trade a bit more. Shit, that was expensive. All right, let's chuck him a let's chuck him a big one, thirty thousand, because that is the maximum for a gift. We'll chuck him a thirty thousander. This that should be worth another forty. So that should say a hundred. Yep, hundred. So that's gravitating towards one hundred ninety nine. Okay. How did you turn out to be at war with him, Rick? Okay. So this, you should have been here about 10 minutes ago. So what happened was, is that I was just having a look at Corn. I was like, what's Corn up to over here? So I clicked on him and I was like, I noticed that he was at war with Knights of Kalidor. I thought that Knights of Kalidor were dead. I've been thinking he was dead for ages. So what I did, in order to discover Knights of Kalidor, I joined war against Knights of Kalidor. Then I threw money at him using a bypass technique. So... I'm at war with him, but I've never fought him. Where is he? Strategy beyond right? compare. So I only encounter him this turn. Throwing money at him, he will want peace treaty. When he asks for a peace treaty, I will also say confederate with me, bitch, and pull him out of this situation completely. <clears throat> and then all the territory that's there, I'll just sell it off to um, um, Clan Carrot Kedrin. So that was a Defend good catch. I thought I, uh, so only Teclas ended up dead. I thought I was going to be there for ages, bloody trying to revive Imric, but I keep the darkness at bay. That was that was a good find for us cuz he could die soon. Like he, Grimgore is on his ass. So we'll see how that goes. Actually, let me just check if I go to Imric. You may the power and the glory of Kalador bids you welcome. Yeah, relative faction strength isn't all that bad. And distance is actually providing some benefits. So it's baseline evaluation, disp diplomatic prospects. But once we've got the peace treaty in the positive, which if we have a look at that, with dragons, not lesser beings. just give it some time. I mean, he's got five regions. He's not going to die this turn. Because, yeah, sending a hero over there would have taken a little bit of time. I could have confederated these guys here to gain some characters, but still, it would have just taken some time. That was the quickest way to meet him. Uh, I'm not on his border, so it's no, no ramifications. Okay, what other things... That made me excited. I was excited about that. Let's see if we can actually end up getting him today. You know what? That made me so excited, I'm going to send him another gift. Of influence. Thank you very much. The faster relations improve, the better. True son of All right, Uthwa. where's that dude that? What do you require? Failed. This Speak guy here doesn't mind. have any influence gathering. Smash it to ruin. Oh, that's right. We have two. We had two turns of problems there, Take so I'm gonna have to wait another turn. Ali. Shouldn't have done that one. All right, what heroes are available this turn? Another one here, alright. Dynamo's not bad. 
standing by. Valiant. Okay, and then... Um... Yeah, he'll just go over there and secure some influence. Alright, other heroes looking at Law Masters of Hoeth. No, this is fine. Okay. No, no, just leave it be. Alright, let's do some construction. I think I've done all my military movements this turn. The easiest way to meet an elven faction is to research where you can see all ports. Yeah, I've done that. He doesn't own any ports. I've researched that. That's what made us believe that he was dead. What the fuck is all this shit? No, no, keep that. Yeah, we re researched that days ago. You need to confederate on your turn though, don't you? Darkland factions might declare war the second you are near them. Uh, yeah, I'll confederate on my turn, absolutely. He's not, he's not going to offer a confederation over an intern. Uh, what I'm saying is next turn he'll offer, we'll have better opportunities to like get a peace treaty or, or whatever to work towards confederation. Jason entered a ten dollars super chat. Great to see Imric alive and well. Cheese him right into confed. Yeah, that's the plan. Thanks super chat. And there's a port here, so we'll go with that one. Since I don't need anything else to reduce uh, construction times. Right, we took it, so that shouldn't be there. That doesn't really need to be there. There's no other landmarks, right? There is for the Lizardmen, but not for us. But that's that's one of the best landmarks for High Elves, in my opinion. Especially when you're in the Chaos Wastes, which we are. Okay, this is interesting. What am we going to put here? I could do that just for influence. Income from trade tariffs will give me a little bit of extra money for that. Okay. That's not a really a good spot for it. What I could do is build this and then demolish it somewhere else. So that I can put uh, the Elven Embassy. I'll just have to wait till it's finished. Let's see if we can confederate Imric today. I've got enough resources to get this done, I think. And that'll give me time to sort out Teclis as well. By the time Teclis comes back, the confederation penalty should be over. Thing is, it'd be good to go over there and use Imric to like occupy territory. But I also really want Imric, because he's got a bunch of good global bonuses. Alright, these over here still take two turns. From the Shadowland... None of these, none of these technologies here are particularly useful. Reduce upkeep cost of Phoenix units. Okay, that's something that's good. Because I do have Phoenixes. Speaking of which, have you moved yet? Master nope. of High Magic. Set sail! This was a good turn. We did a whole bunch of shenanigans. I'll need to go through my military list again, I think. There's a whole bunch of stuff I may have missed. So this will be ready to move next turn. The Dragon Lord the should be coming back soon. Alright, let's let's have a look. So we got Tyrion. Yep, we got Eltharion. Yep, he's moved. Will you confed Elephant Arrow at any point? Eventually, yes, but right now he's very useful for what we're currently doing, as I've explained a lot of times before. Um, uh, Cousin Okri did a 5 dollars subject. Thanks for the six pass. This is the best... Sorry, is the best strat for Gel to take out Vlad as soon as possible, or should I focus on green skins? Take out Vlad as soon as possible. That's the first thing I do. It's tough, but it's worth it, in my opinion. Because they're actually getting re replenishment despite being um, hindered. Shaper of fate. And dedicate you to Isha for now, because that'll give you even more replenishment. Because you've got to keep sacking that. 
Yep, all of this is fine here. Elven Archmage. For the vortex. High Elven Archmage. That's fine. We're ready to go there. Master of High Magic. I haven't moved over here. Oh, that's right, because I feel like there's an army in this area. I want to go into Ambush Dance. I feel like there is a, um, one of their armies here. It could have been this one. I, I just wasn't keeping track of it. In fact, it, it might be that one. Otherwise, just let that one land and I'll go take it out and give it back to thingy. Okay, check for factions. Make sure we're not encountering someone really bad. We're aware of the heirs of Morcane. Did you un did you Yuan the bow? Yes. Well, whatever the hell that means. I am farming his defeat so, trait because it's really good. I might take him what out eventually. News? What? You call sorcery through me. Why not prepare a new dragon army for Imric so he can immediately use when confederated? Uh yeah, I'll probably do that. That's actually a good point. I'll do that once this is done. Yeah, why not? I'll give him another arm. Because I've got the hero ready. That's a good point. I'll do that. Uh, Cathal Burn did a 50 euro super chat. Thanks for the live stream legend. Live streams. I've watched every minute so far between lives and VODs. Keep up the good work. Alright, thanks, d dude. Or do that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I appreciate the, the super chat. That's very generous of you. Thanks for keeping it purple. You know I don't like them red ones. Okay. So yeah, we'll take these armies here, take out the sacred pools. I might be able to get that one there in time. The oh, don't calls. think so. Just keep an eye on Clan Pestilence for a couple more turns. Hopefully... These guys here just cancel each other out. If I was to put money on which army will win, I actually think Gorok will. But it doesn't matter. Just keep these here for now. Princess of Othran. Just in case he decides to backstab us. Maybe you go into uh, ambush we dance again. Wait. And we'll just see how this plan pans out. But Lustria is almost completely ours. Almost there. Nagaroth is completely ours. But from Illithan Arbor, he doesn't really count. I bring Azurians. Um. Yeah, you just stay there, like I said, in case he comes back over there. That, they love to attack that settlement. Magic okay, let's move on. I'm sure that there's a way to... Something I've forgotten. Well, it couldn't have been that important. Impress you are back over 2k viewers in episode 6? Yeah. Honestly, the, by the white tower. Oh, shit. Master of high magic. Fine. Um, the stream picked up a little bit, so I wasn't expecting that since we passed peak time. But maybe that's because we encountered Imric. So when I was saying before that I was like eh, a bit iffy about it, you know, like I said, things pick up. Who thinks Gorok will win? Uh, I reckon it's fifty-fifty. Could go either way. It depends on how stupid they are strategically, because in terms of raw strength, the Lizardmen are stronger. But if they get ambushed, then that works against them strategically. This is what gives escape and the edge over the Lizards. Can you have a look again at Lore Master of Hoeth character pool for traits? I, I already looked at it this turn. I'll look at it again next turn. I don't have any more capacity for them. I'm new and loving your stream. I'd love to watch more of these Zero Defeat campaigns. Yet, well, I, I do them fairly regularly. Well, I attempt to do them fairly regularly. Alright. Well, that's good. I mean, his army got wrecked, but took it out. I don't really need to see what he's up to.
Will you go to full map completion? I'm happy to go to full map completion. Yeah, look, they disbanded a whole bunch of units. I'm happy to go to full map completion if this remains entertaining for people long term. You know, if we start dropping down to like a thousand concurrence, then obviously people are lo losing interest in it. So, we'll just take it on an episode by episode basis. Like, it's, it's pretty good. I I'm pretty sure we'll do an episode 7. Pretty sure. But we'll see how we go. Because it's a big commitment to do full map. Because we only own about... We own less than a quarter of the map. Although, once the endgame crisis is dealt with, I'll probably just spam full armies of Lothar and Seaguard and just swarm the entire map. Okay. Since Malice Darkblade showed up there, I think we should send Welcome. Tyrion back what around to go beat him. Yep. Is Archeon alive? Yes, Archeon is alive. It's very rare for the AI to take out Archeon. I'm getting fairly close to him. I don't imagine Tyrion's going to have a problem taking him out. Oh yeah, that noble and Cathay. I, there really is a meme with that. You guys should make a meme. You know that um, two and a half men meme with Jake sitting in the rain? That should just be... Um, a frugal noble in Cathay, and me and... <laughs> Maybe I'll do it. I could probably do it while this freaking intern's going. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go. I love making memes. Just give me a sec. I just gotta download the template. Yeah, what to go there for? So this is the meme template. Then I just need, hang on, let me just. Can get my face. And then I just need to get a screenshot of the, the um, the uh, the noble. I have to do that on my turn. Old as fuck meme. Uh, it's relevant. It's relevant. I keep forgetting about that dude. He's just sitting in Cathay doing nothing. Is that Entrepreneur Cheese pushing the economy? No, Entrepreneur Cheese is out. There's none of that anymore. Do you consider Tyrion the best duelist? Mm, no, probably Archeon is better. What are they doing? Oh, they confederated. That's good. Wait, is it good? Yeah, it's good if they're the end game crisis because now that faction can't show up again. I don't think there's any more factions we need to be worried about.
How many turns were you able to finish during the stream? Uh, probably done about 10 turns today. Oh, wow, we haven't done one of these in a while. I don't really need any of these. Maybe Happy Populous would be best. I haven't really been paying attention to it. Maybe just go with Gro Gross, just leave it be. We definitely don't, don't need that. Rogue Army of Varenka Hills. Yeah, we're aware of that one. Yeah, I'm aware of that one. It's all good. I've been keeping tabs on it. Alright, so... Yeah, the thing that I keep forgetting is... Uh, where is he? There he is. Alright, I need his face. I need to take a screenshot of it. Just give me a sec, guys. Just getting my screen cap so software. Okay, and then do that. Thank you very much. Then I need to go into find that file. There it is. Okay, then go magic select. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're basically getting a bit of an idea of how I make thumbnails. Eh, that'll do. Normally I'd put in a bit more effort, but that'll do. Go to there. And there we go. <laughs> Meme sorted. <laughs> there we go. All done. <laughs> it's so stupid. Alright. Before I forget again, here you go. Orders understood. Destruction. You also have a handmade. Matt handmaid him named disband me. Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm not ready to disband her yet because she's scouting for us. Alright, let's have a look at okay, Yeah, that's okay. You're resistant, right? Yeah. Game's starting to lag a little bit. Ready this yourself. usually happens the later the campaign goes. Put a lithana as Charlie Sheen. It's it's enough. It's enough. The winds of magic we don't need to go crazy us. with it. Sack their homes without mercy. What are all those heroes of the White Tower doing? Alright, they're gaining a particular Pure follower magic. that's really good. Seeking a trial. Yeah, there's particular followers that they can keep getting. So as an example, it's um Yeah, Seferian Bibliothecary. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right. It can only be obtained here once every five turns. The more characters that we have here, the more the more of them we get. And then we just transfer these items where needed. Um, I've got the money for it, so it's no big deal. But I'm doing the same thing over here for similar items. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I was supposed to um, hire more administrators. And I got distracted. That's fine, no big deal. No, don't hire new administrators. Hi, Elvin Archmage. Teclis is command. Hi, Elvin Archmage. So that'll be good for dragons. It'd be pretty silly to not build dragons here, I think. But at the same time, I might go... What about this? That's not that big of a deal. Let's get the dragon building. 
So when when that's built, we will make limitless talent. A army for Imric. Because it'll take a few turns still to confederate him. I don't think it's gonna happen this My turn. Powers are yours to command. Admin. Um down this way. Alright, let's have a look at how things are going with Imric. He's still got five settlements, that's good. He is more inclined towards this than the previous turn. We need to get that above 150. So, gifts. Okay, yep. Well, what is it? Do not squander the Dragon Prince's time. Uh, let's go with 25. No. Let's go with 25,000. Wait, did I just. Cancel that. No one does it better. Okay, that, I think there's another 40 over to him. Because I got shitloads of money. Right, the higher his relations with us, the faster it will recover. Alright, so this was a little bit of a concern here. I think we need to launch this attack. I served a lady. Alariel, Ever Queen. Now, this army is still hanging around over here, but we just Not finished possible. building the defenses in Cragholes of Findle. So, decent amount of defenses, plus we leave the dwarf army there. Plus, I could bring... Oh, look, he's coming in. Oh, he's coming in for the Oak of Ages. You son of a bitch. I can't borrow his army. I think he's going to try to take that off. I want it. <laughs> that should belong to me, not to you. Shit. Maybe what I'll do is I'll make this army move up to here. And just have this one besiege the settlement. Wait, whose turn comes first? The wrong thing. Whose turn comes first? His or... Okay. So their turn comes first. So if I have this under siege, he'll move up to here, stand in its way, and that way they won't sally out. And if they do sally out, well, he's not in a position to do it. That's how we can stop them from getting it this turn. Because obviously this army alone isn't going to be able to deal with it. Spellcaster. I don't care for this order. But yeah, we need to launch this attack at Vol's Anvil now. Otherwise, they are going to attack us with overwhelming force since they've just confederated Widriov. This world shall endure. War with Dark Elves to help confederate... confederate Imric faster. Sound the horn Look at that, that's a pretty damn good order resolve. For one army. That's actually a good thing. Let me, let me have a look at that before I forget. I tire of you already. Peace treaty, confederation. I can't offer for a um, a join war, with also a confederation. He doesn't even, he doesn't even care. We'll just have to wait. The relation just has to increase. Just give it some time. All right, and then if this one comes Time over here, we'll need to order resolve it if Duty we can. Lakai, Isha. Because if we auto this, they all all die. If I fight it manually, for one thing, it'll take me fucking ages. But losing these units, that's not big of a deal because I'm gonna sit here for a couple of turns anyway. Sucks to lose experienced units though. To battle. Another thing that we could potentially do is bring we this army over good. here to reinforce us. But if I do that, my other plan doesn't work. I just don't know if this guy here is able to launch the attack on the Oak of Ages. I see 
the winds. Yes. If this one comes over here, I should be able to auto resolve it without losing those units. If this one comes over here, it looks as though Alariel will reinforce, but not this one. We stand ready so if for I can action. squeeze you in there somewhere, it's too tight. Put on gear. The greater good. We've got gear on. Defender of the Asir. That's not going to make any difference. What? Your behest? If I get that around over here, that'd make a difference. Infused by Hoet's wisdom. Okay, I know another way that I could go about doing this. Hoet so I'm, I'm going to go with all. this. I know another workaround. It's kind of exploity, but Avalon. it'll be fine. Oh no! Different ones got wiped out then. None of these guys get wiped out. Banners, maybe? <laughs> it's weird. Okay, alright. Maybe the trick to this, I just need a couple of banners. Master of Runecraft. I don't know if I can put any more followers on her. Scarecrow banner, Horn of Isha, Crazy. She doesn't need that for this. Alright, give me a banner. Razor standard, maybe. Could make all the difference. Imagine if a razor down. standard is the one that saves their ass. No, it doesn't do anything. Um, Sound the horn of Isha. What would you have of me? Because, yeah, now this one needs to force march here. Don't have a choice Do in that. Tarry. A new fortress of magic. Look, if he ends up capturing, he ends up capturing. I'm not going to do the thing. I think we're just going to have to suck up Attack. a few Sisters of Avalon casualties. We're just going to have to suck it up. Unfortunately, I just can't rec globally recruit them in one turn. The Path of Pain became a member for 47 months. Appreciate Legend. No, dude, I appreciate you as well. Appreciate the su that support. Yeah, just gonna have to suck it up. Because I, if I fight this manually, a lot of these guys will get away. And I need them to die. To battle. So that way, they all die. The damage really isn't all that bad. Apart from the two, two of those casualties. It is rightfully ours. Guess we just have to fight it manually. Nah. Nah, I didn't have to fight it manually. Because now I'll just I'll just do this. Alariel. Global recruit. It'll just take two turns. It's not that big of a deal. They'll be a little bit inexperienced, but they'll get that experience back fairly quick. If Alariel Oh man, game's loading. Yeah, she's already got that. Red line sorted. Extra relations with High Elves. Imric. I never use Arcane on Forging. I always thought it was a shit spell. Anno advisor to fight us object. You've been playing for eight hours now. You do know you can turn this off, don't you? <laughs> I get the reference because I play Anno eighteen hundred, and you're right. I, I, that is what happens when you play for eight hours straight on Anno, because <laughs> I trigger that a lot. I appreciate that super chat. That makes me want to play Anno eighteen hundred. Alright, bit of damage here, but they'll be fine. 
There is no way that this army here is going to do anything there. That also makes me think maybe I shouldn't be globally recruiting because I might want to make that attack next turn. Sorceress. To finish them off once and for all. Not sure. Okay, we need to go and capture Karak Ziflin. At your service. Didn't anyone have Lightning Strike to take out one of the armies first? I never prioritize Lightning Strike in Warhammer 3. You just usually don't need it. Occupy their lands. You know, putting three points into it when there's so many other things to get, I just never prioritize it. This isn't Warhammer 2 where it was absolutely essential. Here's the thing, when Creative Assembly takes a powerful mechanic and then they nerf it into Oblivion, and then they make a situation that doesn't require it at all, then people will stop using it. If that's what they want, then great. Okay, Montfort, I put a barracks in there because I wanted to switch it for Grinnells. But maybe we should see if we can get big settlement from them, like Castle Bastogne. No. In exchange for Montfort. What about exchange for Artois? Nope. What about exchange for Lyonnais? It won't give me that. What about Musulon? Nope. What about Quinnells? Okay, we'll make that trade. What about Aquitaine? Okay, I'll make that trade. Quinnells is, is, is a bit safer, so I'll go for that. I'll trade him the next one for that one. And how about you join war against Argualon? Yeah, he'll do yeah, he'll do it now. And join war against the decadent host? No, he won't do that. Disciples of Hashut. Yeah, he'll do that. What about Jade Court? Yep, he'll do that. What about Sentinels? Nope, he won't do that. Alright. That seems like a pretty good deal to me. I'll, t I'll take that. I shall. Is there a max number of episodes that you would go with this campaign? Look, I'll just play while you guys are entertained by it. If you stop being entertained with it, we'll do something else. So don't, don't worry yourself about arbitrary number of episodes. If you're enjoying it, show up. If you're not enjoying it, don't show up. And you know, we'll just see how we go. Alright, so at Karak Ziflin, we want to put in another barracks, so I don't want to keep this. And we'll we'll see if we can swap that one for Aquitaine. Secure this province. Time is of the essence. What brings you to the me air air of long? Yes. All right. Any other agreements we can get this turn? Is it time? By the co Lord of the Fe Dragon. Yep, that's all fine. All right, I am reasonably happy with how that turned out. Should have checked out at the beginning of the turn. We got three turns left on this, right? Yeah. I can do that earlier, but that will make confederation with Imric a lot more difficult, so Maybe magic not. in purest form. Ever loyal. They moved their armies back over there, so you Princess of Althwan. Let's send these three armies up to the sacred pools. That should be more than enough to handle them. Moving off. Wait, Master this guy has got a dragon. Magic. I took him off it to save money. You called. This one should have a dragon as well. So they should. Yeah, it looks like they should be able to reach that next turn. This one is just not going to arrive. At least until. Actually, this is a very strong army against Skaven. Skaven do not do well against birds. Destiny lies there. 
And you come stand over here just in case that one decides to attack us, which seems unlikely, but you don't know. Never know. We stand ready for action. And if you could just generate some winds of magic. On my way, goddess, hear me. Okay. Because yeah, that'll these two will have to stay here and keep an eye on them, depending on what happens. But yeah, it's good that they just ended up disbanding a lot of their forces. They're no longer as much of a threat as they were originally. Hand keep an eye on all this stuff over queen. here. At once. Spend influence on Imric. I already did. I already did. It's it's gravitating above 150. We just need to give it a couple of turns. Like I'll show you. Let's see, recent events evolving Imric 98 gifts given to Imric. So it's heading towards 269. That's while we're at war with him as well. It's just, we've got to give it some time. It went up by about 40 points over the end turn. He's not going to die just yet. Avalon's finest. Okay. A steady hand and heart. Keep guided an eye on the by Skaven. Make sure we're firmly in front Follow of the, the settlement, bow. though. Traveling. Handmaiden of Dawn's Hope. Okay. Can I offer assistance? These guys here. Oh, look, they lost their trade agreement with Imric. <laughs> Tighten it with Imric. With Gorok. That's pretty funny. I totally ruined relations with them. That is just high elf. So high elfy. That's hilarious. Okay. Next thing we need to do up north. Alright, I feel like I need to send Tyrion back here because that's where Malice is. And I'll send these two back down. Following your orders. Master of high magic. Led by the winds. Preparing camp. Servant. Because these guys should go wherever it's gonna be easiest. Check hero traits. I'll do, I'll do that later. Right now it's fine. All right. Anything gonna be bad here? No. All right. There is glory to be won. Who cares? In fact, it's better if Imric's uh, Imric, if Tyrion's army is the one that takes damage. We have captured it. Okay. Now I reckon that Malice Darkblade will probably want to hightail it out of there, I so I kind of need to switch. Oh, we'll go around this way. Lilith protects me. Block him. Champion of the Ever Queen. These two. Gifted advisor. Just by regular march coming down this way. For the Phoenix King. Malice Dark Blade, Blade stands absolutely no chance of winning against Tyrion. No chance. Right, they took out that other army there. I bring Azurian's fire. Not a chance. Sertha X on the run. Nagareth looks like they want to make an invasion of Norska, and I am totally fine for that. I'll give them lots of shit settlements out here. Trained by the and White they can Be prepared, Asser. They can continue that war. Cool. Let's bring these across. So we'll be selling this settlement over to to them soon. All right, let's have a look at hero. Oh, we've got this as, as well. Um, where do I want to send this? They're building this up to tier 5 now. Okay. Where's that one? Oh, yes. Yeah, that take ages to get to. Where am I going to send this army? We're pretty good in this area here. We'll go there. Moving out. Wait, this guy here needs to be kicked out for the dragon will to do. Should be available now. Just gotta find him amongst the sea of trash. Pretty sure there's only one. Yep, 
There he is. Can I offer assistance? Loyal prince. All right. He's not a great, uh, great lord, but you know, level him up, and he should prove his worth. Don't need to worry too much about getting ambushed. So go with Merchant Lord there. 900 gold apiece for the Star Dragons. Our traditions make us strong. Okay. Call your allies to war against Imric to make him feel weaker. <laughs> That's a good idea. Well chosen words and fine wine are the marks of civilization. Uh, doesn't look like is a lot of them are going to accept it. Peace, for that is all I ever want. There is only greetings. There is only I greetings. Sway to Loic's tune. For whom do you dance? You? Yeah, okay. The end justifies the means. <laughs> We're going to turn everyone we can against Imric. King Luan Lick, you ask for a boon. Speak, and I will see if it is within my power. Ready. Did I try Step you? Step forth, true friend of the Angrund clan. Yeah. Well, at least we got one person. Let's see if that made any difference towards Imric. To feel awe is only natural in the presence of the Dragon Prince. You moron! Gifts given to Nagaroth has now pissed off. <laughs> it backfired! It backfired. Look, gifts given to Nagaroth has pissed off Imric. I gotta, I'm gonna backtrack on that. You, sh you guys should just not give me advice. You made things so much worse. <laughs> Gifts given to Emric, piss off a little now. Yeah, I, all I did was piss them both off. It's best if we just keep them away from each other. <laughs> Typical chat advice. Honestly, it's, I understand the idea behind it. It was a good idea, but oh my god. No, that's not going to work for us. How about with when it comes to Imric, let's just wait a couple of turns, okay? We can just wait. Master of high do this magic. Again now. Princess of the Asil. Tyrion, heir of Anarion, as you command. How can I assist you? Oh man, I gotta bloody get that dude's fucking thing again. That guy was like way down here. Oh, I should be able to pop him from spot him from capital. Seems dragon. What the hell? Change the scroll speed all of a sudden. I serve the king. Dragon to Kairos. Uh, we're not at war with Kairos, so we're not going to worry about him right now. His territory is shit, and as, as long as he's not at war with us and not doing changing of the ways, I'm not really too fussed about picking a fight with him. Happy for them to stay there a little bit longer. What do you seek? All right, I think all of my military movements have been made. Let me just scroll through this really quick. Princess of Ulthran. Elven Archmage. The Archmage marches. True magic guides me. Imric Priami? No, not right now. Castle Carcassonne. Yep, yeah, go with that.
Alright, this is a settlement that could potentially come under attack, so I'll put some walls here. I can always just give Imrek the dragon army. It'd be exactly the same thing. It's a should be safe. Shouldn't have to worry about anything here. put in some defenses and I reckon we've got this pretty much secured now. I really can't see Argwalon picking up putting up a fight. Wood's good, we need to reduce upkeep cost for more than archers. Yep, and we should probably put defenses here just in case. You never know when someone's gonna slip slip through. Yep, yep, and this one there is a port here, so I will put this in for a future port that is gonna be ours. Oh, they're, da they're using their hero to damage some stuff. Not a big deal. All right, over here, we should pop down the Chamber of Visions. That's really good. Ambush defense chance as a base, plus 5%. That is awesome. Hero action success chance, plus 3%. All characters, that's going to help with those other ones. So that's all really good for us. And we drill. Alright, so we've made all our military moves. Let's do some hero check-in. I await your command. Destruction. I feel I've been getting pretty bad luck there. I, th I, th I also feel like we had at the beginning of the campaign pretty good luck with it all. Still not getting the... Handmaiden of Alario. The trait that we want though. You have my attention. Noble son of Oku. Okay, checking for other heroes. So we've gone through the handmaidens, nobles, law masters, protected blade lord. Nothing in here that we desperately need. Widely known. Right, that was the other one that you guys were talking about, but that's just a lesser version of um, Blade Master, I think it is. Blade Lord. Yeah, it's the same thing, it's just... Just lesser. Right, okay. And as for these, that doesn't matter. Oh, there's still Lords that we need to check up on. The Life Wizards... We're still looking for a... Oh, God, I still don't have it. A um, flammable I life wizard. It just hasn't been showing up. Unfortunately, it just could take ages. And that's to command the. No, I don't need to do any of this. Command the Phoenix Army. But we just don't have any traits for it. And then we've got these princes we need to keep cheesing. I must have forgot this last turn. Can I offer assistance? Grant Albury did a two dollar super chat. You are an absolute unit streaming this long, lol. Well, I I stream this long because I I'm enjoying it, I guess. But yeah, you're right. I really shouldn't stream this long. Lord of the Phoenix Court. It's all just about momentum. If you're enjoying what you do, you can just keep doing it, but if you're not having fun, then freaking four hours is too long for a stream. This is why I've been saying, like, it's so important to just do campaigns that you enjoy, and don't worry about if it's the not the biggest challenge ever. This is not that important. Most important thing is just try to find a way to have fun. Oak of Ages. Oh, I'm not going to worry about that one this turn. I just don't have enough movement. I can 
I can do a little trick to get a um, a movement bug going, but I, I I don't think I'm gonna do that. If if Clan Engrin end up taking it, then so be it. They're more most likely going to sack it if they send someone there. And if that happens, then I'll just grab it next turn. I'm just not sure if they're within range. Alright, so our research rate now is at 1182%. These here still take two turns. Let's finish that one, why not? What about this one, Pinnacle? Yeah, let's just get that one done. Cool. Alright, we need to check for any rogue armies that it may have spawned or beastmen doesn't seem like anything yeah as of morcane i'm aware of them they're not near me check for any quick deals who calls yes ready the nation for all good did you enjoy total war marcus wolfhard campaign did in warmer too no <laughs> that was not fun that was for you guys. I would not do that what again for fun. Uh, Popcorn became a member for 20 for months. Action. Is the dedication to Vol Lord Spam a somewhat reasonable alternative for us entrepreneur enjoyers now? Well, it was always, it was there in Warhammer 2. It's not like this is just a Warhammer 3 thing. That was there. Comparing this to entrepreneur, it is not even close. But... It is a way to cheese the economy a little bit. As you can see, since I've been doing it for ages, it's not really impacting my economy that heavily. It's just, that's all we got now. You either can do it or not. It doesn't make a huge impact. So just having a look at what it has done after doing this many times, looking at this building specifically, we now have plus 211%. So, you know, that's, that's actually making quite a bit of cash now where if it was entrepreneur, we'd be making 50 grand from this settlement by now. But that's not what we're doing. All right, I think Alistair's got some levels up. Yeah, we're going down that way here. It would really, really, really suck if they declared war on us this turn. Careful now. I mean, really suck. <laughs> Soon I'll be all powerful. Crypt King. Asur Prince. Imagine if they sent two Asur full stacks against us powerful. with this. Kinda makes me want to leave now. Why? So if I need? stand here and if I give this to um I was gonna build this, but I think it's too risky to stay this close to them with that army. If I give them... The favor? What's it called? Karag Ziflin. Uh, I'm not going to get much for it. I wanted to make a trade for Aquitaine, but I don't think he's going to accept that. No. He's out of money. Yeah, I'm just going to take that because... If this way, if they attack me, I can get out of there. But if they attack the settlement, then I'm boned. Yes. It, you know, if they attack the settlement, I'm in there. That is. Okay. Oh, looks, looks good. We should be eliminating Argwell on next turn. Maybe I shouldn't be globally Priestess recruiting with this one this turn. We should wait until we're probably fully finished. Because otherwise, she's just not going to be able to move. There's no urgency with that. Devotee of the lady. Could have brought this army up that way, actually. That would have made it doable. Didn't think about that until the last second. Alright, time to move on. I didn't want to keep that region anyway. Alright. What am I forgetting? Oh, hang on. Am I forgetting my noble? I actually feel like I may have used him this turn. Yeah, I did. Got my influence secured with him.
You've got good observation over here. All of that's looking good. Okay, moving on. What do you require? Won't you be in trouble if they declare war and attack the settlement? If they declare war and attack Lou and Leonco, I'll just won't join I into cannot. the fight. <laughs> I'll just say, yeah, nah. I just went back him up. And that'll push me out of the way. You don't ever have to back up your bat um your um allies in battle. Is Techless back? No, but Imric is. them to attach this hero to the army so I can kill it. Please confederate Imric this stream. I'm trying. We are getting pretty close to nine hours. I'm pretty tired. But I, I do want to try to Welcome confederate Imric this turn. What do you this, sorry, this, this stream. How can you get a dead lord? You can't. You have to revive them. Where is your old Skaven portrait? Uh, it's just uh, over there. It's just sitting behind the computer. This is typically when I switch campaigns. I don't know how we push through. Typically, I would have quit the campaign at turn 30. The reason why I'm doing this is because we've got like a challenge in mind that is very difficult to pull off. Doing a no defeat campaign requires a hell of a lot of focus because you just drop your attention for five seconds. You just miss a rogue army showing up. You miss an army that's going for one of your minor settlements. That's it. Your no defeat run is over. So it requires a lot of attention. They're very difficult to do. In fact, I've never done one properly. My Blitz campaign could technically be considered a no-defeat campaign, but it's a Blitz campaign, so that was using loads of exploits. Has the Crisis event happened yet? No, I would like it to happen sooner rather than later. The more we expand, the more of the endgame crisis I'm going to have to deal with, and I'd much rather be able to take out the endgame crisis factions one at a time rather than have to deal with them all at once so for example if it's Skaven then I have to deal with Clan Pestilence and Clan Scryer if it's Dwarfs I'm going to have to deal with just um, Grombrindle and also I'll lose Clan Angrind obviously as an ally So dwarfs would probably be one of the worst ones. Same thing with Skaven. Greenskins would, I reckon, be the best. Tomb Kings would be the next best. Vampires would be bad. Because they'd have to deal with Heinrich Kemmler and Musalon. Chaos Dwarfs, I have no idea. Could be good, could be bad. <sighs> Sorry. Hard to say. Oh, he's going to give it a shot. Oh. He's got more balls than any of the other lords in this campaign. Will we ever see Thankwall in Total War? I would put money on yes, there will be th Thankwall. Creative Assembly loves money. And that is just money. So why would they not do it? There are two lords left for Warhammer Fantasy that you can bet your ass that they will implement. One of them's Nagash, and the other one is Stankwall. They're not going to end Total War Warhammer without putting those two characters in. Those two are absolutely iconic. You did Carl Franz No Defeat in Warhammer 2? Sort of. So, in both my Don't No Defeat campaigns in Warhammer 2, 
that's for High Elves and for Carl Franz. There was a battle where I was suffered a defeat, but I save scummed, alt f fought out of it, and kept trying again and again. One was against um, Durthu with Lore Masters of Hoeth Doomstack, failed me a couple of times, and the other one was against Kolex Sun Eater with a Steam Tank Doomstack. It took me a few tries to get it right. Does that mean he has at least three balls? No, it means he's got more. He's got at least one ball because none of the other ones have any balls. Nagash is too powerful, to be honest. It's like adding Sigma for the Thrones of Delay. They're gonna, they're gonna add Nagash. Who cares if he's too powerful? He'll just have to have some sort of like campaign uh, problem. I don't know. No, stop, 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 stop. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had a chance to look at the new Araby mod? If you, if so, would you play it? Maybe I'll try out the Araby mod because it's been asked of help a lot. Maybe I'll do the Araby mod after I'm finished with this campaign in like six weeks. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely down to play Araby. I, I typically like playing Middle Eastern themed factions. I've always liked playing the Middle Eastern factions in historical Total War games, except for the Ottoman Empire in Empire. Ugh, it's just kind of, it feels sick. Its units just suck. Not having access to, yeah, whatever. I always like playing the Muslim factions in Medieval 2, and the Eastern factions in Rome Total War. Dragon swooping for hours was the most boring and the most hype moment ever. That was weird, yeah. It's the three hour long battle that had 5,000 people watching it, yeah. Because I would have lost that battle if I didn't swoop. I was swooping for my life there. There were so, so many battles in that campaign where I was really fighting for my life. I've had two battles in this campaign where they were tough. I was not fighting for my life to the same extent that I was with that one. So it looks like Wurzag is either going for... Actually, if he captures Sartosa, that's good. Because then I can capture Sartosa and get that sweet gold idol. Even CA reposted that battle on their Facebook. Oh, really, did they? I didn't know that at the time. Can I ask why I like to play as them? Uh, I think I can appreciate the mobility that Eastern factions tend to bring, as opposed to the genericness of Western factions usually, like like just standard melee infantry, standard heavy, heavy cavalry, like basically brute force to win battles. It's just not how I like to win. I like using shenanigans, and Eastern factions tend to be more dependent on shenanigans. Copyright strike them? No. R and A should an NZ15 super chat. Why are you so good at this game, bro? It's just practice. Practice and willpower. A lot of people could be as good as I am, but they just don't have the willpower to, like, cheese. Because <laughs> they don't see that as being good at the game. But I think it really is just a, like a, um, immense willpower to just not lose. I love winning. In, in all things. I don't like to participate in things that I can't win in. <laughs> so, I just have an extreme desire to win. Thanks, Zubichet, by the way. You still have the Swoop t-shirt? Yeah, I don't throw t-shirts away. I was just checking if I was wearing it now, which I'm not. Swoopy boy, yeah. How come you like corn that's just brute force personified? No, it, it is and it isn't. Corn has a lot of shenanigans. There's a lot of shenanigans with corn. Their roster on the surface just seems like brute force, but they've got summons. They've got Scarbrand. Scarbrand is very shenanigans if you know what you're doing. You know, having an invincible one-man doomstack. Having blood hosts that... You just build up loads of blood ho hosts. 
instead of regular armies. So Korn's shenanigans are on the strategic map, not necessarily on the battlefield. What's a good faction to try this is Total War campaign for the first time? If Korn is first, who's second? Um, I enjoyed doing it with Ica Claw. Beastman. Orion, yes. Orion with a This is Total War campaign. Very good. See, when I first started learning about history... I was reading about the Roman Empire. So I learned about one of the worst defeats in their history, which is the Battle of Carrhae. This is the one where Marcus Crassus sends his army into Parthia and the Parthians cheese the shit out of him. Right? And I read about that battle, and even though I was I was totally a Romo Romophile, I was like, damn Parthia, that's some pretty good technique. If you can't beat them head on, then don't fight them head on. And ever since then you know, I've read about other fa other countries that did similar things, and I was, I just, I just like it. So I try to emulate it, some of that mentality in in my battles. Basically, the thought of of Carre, I always use this one as the example, is where you take a superior force and you just refuse to give any ground whatsoever and be absolutely relentless in your um, desire to harass the enemy. Come on, give me immunity to attrition. Because once, it's, it's every five turns we get this. It's usually at the back end. Last time we got two. Come on. Yes, we got one. Nice. So that means we've got five of them now. Good. Six. Seven. Oh. Well, look who it is. Look at what we've got here. Look at this. Clan Angren Ancestor. Very nice. All mine. <laughs> we stole them. Alright, Imrik, let's have a little look at what's going on with you. Were you also disappointed that the Napoleon movie was poorly made? Greatest European general? Um, yes and no. I mean, I don't really care that much about movies the these days. Prince Most of the time, they, they don't really care much for history. It's all just about spectacle. I... I didn't watch the Napoleon movie, or I haven't watched it yet. I might watch it when it's on Netflix or whatever. Um, yeah, Ridley Scott has been doing a bad job for a long time. Because, like, I, I remember watching Robin Hood and thinking, ah, oh, man, he's kind of lost what made his video, his movies really good. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe a studio decisions, I don't know. His movies just don't have the same charm as they did back in like the the early to mid 2000s. Like Gladiator is my favorite movie of all time, and Kingdom of Heaven is maybe a close second. Kingdom of Heaven director's cut, by the way. Elf one. Shield against the darkness. Maybe join his wars and see if he wants peace. No, no, we don't need peace with him. Not yet. We need to get his relations above 150. It's heading it there. Oh, shit, I can just auto that. Okay, there whatever. is glory to be won. It's not worth it. Napoleon with pure disappointment. That's what I've heard as well. Release them. Um, like, I like Joaquin Phoenix in a lot of things, but he just looks really bored in that movie. Of the I think you just missed the mark. And you know that happens. I hear the Kadaif. Oh, I think. Moving. 
The goddess forbids it. All right, we've got them on the Master run big Mage. time over here. Master of high magic. Infused by Hoet's wisdom. We're going to have four armies rolling around together soon. What about Lord of the Rings? Um, I, I like the Lord of the Rings movies. But I wouldn't say that they're my all-time favorite. I do remember seeing um, the two towers in cinema and thinking, wow, Helm's Deep battle was really cool. I really enjoyed that. You have my attention. All right. I keep not putting a quarter ten because I don't want to waste time, but they keep failing. So this extra ten percent chance makes a big difference. Oh my god! Fucking hell! Smash it to ruins. Good. Imagine if it Standing critical by. fails off a one percent chance fail. Come on! Can I just like press C and it goes straight to C? No. There will be carnage. I await your orders. Destruction! What do you require? This guy here doesn't have any influence. Yeah, we've had so many failures that some of these guys have actually had their um, influence expire. That's not good. Destruction! Brave son of Ulthwan. There will be carnage! Standing by. Smash it to ruins. Good. We're getting a good run of success this Beat time around, mind. so that's good. Smash it to ruins. Good. I await your command. There will be carnage. True son of Ulf. Destruction. Yeah, a really good run of luck this Born time around. To lead. There will be carnage. And three turns left to this one. Destruction. I await your this orders. guy's out of the stuff. We've got to give him the uh, the thing. Where is it? Court attendant. Smash it to ruins. It'll be really good once that um, that building, Noble the um, what's it called, the chamber of visions has been built. The extra three percent might not seem like much, but it is a big deal here. Smash it to ruins. Speak your mind. Destruction! You have my attention. There will be carnage. Getting a full run of success, success this Brave time. This guy is out of um, influence. Gotta give him the thing. There will be Good. carnage! Show the way. Destruction. Good. Standing by. Smash it to ruins. Born to lead. Destruction. True son of Ulf there one. will be carnage. God, a whole lot of them succeeded this what time do around. You require? Smash it to That's ruins, great. noble son of Ulthuan. Just checking to see if I missed any of them. I await your command, defender. I await your orders. There will be carnage. You have my attention. Destruction. Your request, noble. Standing by. Oh, this guy doesn't have any. Smash it to ruin. Good. Just keep succeeding. Valiant. They're all done this turn. Nice. Well, that bought all of them an additional five turns of influence gaining, so that's good. All right, handmaidens. Did we get it? Nope. We got attentive again. Just looking for resistance, obviously. Uh, Law masters of Hoeth. We got a blade lord protected. Nah, nothing here that we need to worry about. Okay, cool. Auto leveling button to farm nobles. A noble and worthy cause. Born to lead. Hmm. All right, let's do that for all of these. Asa noble. 
I await your command. What news? Because it doesn't matter what points go into at this point. Awaiting orders. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. That's just going to take forever. Just even clicking that button. All right, we need to finish off Argwalon. Your orders are reasonable. How are we going to go about this? We also need to take the Oak of Ages, or at least besiege it. So if this army here besieges it, they might come into range and help us out. Maybe. Master of High Magic, Princess of Althwine. All right, Alariel, make the siege. Isha's light. This will be the end of Durthu. In fact, the end of Athel, Lauren, Wood Elves. Oh, she can win this just on her own. Okay. Yeah, do that, because that way we can send everyone else to go and sort out. Sound the horn of Isha. Order rules uh, The Oak of Ages. I'm listening. Asa! If you lose a settlement, does it count as a defeat? If I fight a battle there, then yes. Right. Rally to me, Asa! How does not any beastman army spawn in your territory? Can you avoid it sometime? Somehow? You can't avoid it, it's just I random chance. I've already had it happen in this campaign in the very beginning. Beastmen showed up on Ulfwan right in front of me and I killed them straight away. Just gotta be vigilant. Could show up at any moment for me. So you just check here. So it goes in, it goes in um, alphabetical order, but it always puts your race up first. So B, C, D, D. You know, beastmen are in here. If they're not here, then they're they're not in existence. Rogue armies. I know where that one is, so that's all fine. For order. I don't think we're going to get him right today, because he, he definitely didn't want to confederate this turn. We bring order. What orders? Right. The Oak of Ages gives us 100 logs, immune to Athalora nutrition, income from all buildings faction-wide, and growth all provinces. But it's not a very good defensive settlement, so we really have to make sure no one takes it. But we're completely surrounded by friends at the moment. I can abandon it though, if I need to. It just depends on what the end game crisis is going to be, which I just don't know. This army here, I don't really need it anymore. I'm not going to give it back just yet, but I don't really need it anymore. Alright. Our next enemy is... Heinrich Kemmler. Lord of the Phoenix Court. So let's get all of our armies over here. Although Alariel needs some time to recover those units that we lost. I do. I am a rune lord, not some smith. Oh, actually, actually, what if? What if I didn't replace them? And instead I put Ready. these two in there. Yeah, that way I don't need to re-recruit re them. Okay. I me this better be good. Ah. So they'll go into Alariel's army. The throng is mustered. You've heard it here, folks. The throng is mustered. I think we've got one turn left on this. Deal with us, Two turns, right? Fight Hopefully these guys clash against each other sometime soon. Time to take on this sacred pools dude. So they, they're called Warns of the Living Pools. Prince yep, we're in range. Elf Can you one. get there? Master no. of High Magic. What news? Uh, makes no sense to drag any of them in. 
Only gives them an opportunity to... Oh, wow. I could have auto-resolved it with just this. A strong leader is needed. It's buffing all hero units like Skaven Engineers. What? What is? High Elven Archmage. There I must go. Might as well give them all the experience. This should be an easy, this decisive victory. Madness. I will leave the Asa. Cool. <laughs> so, pretty funny how we got them to cancel their defensive alliance with um, Itza. <laughs> that, that ended up not being very good for them. Oh well. Sucks to be them. Good for me. Alright, we have got a ton of armies in Lustria now, so... We are very much ready to fight Clan Pestilence once and for all to finish them off. Hi, this is a defensive army, just hold on to that settlement because we've got defenses here. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Yep, I'm not going to push this army down south. It's not not an offensive one. Over here we've got this dude. Okay, you can deal with that. Nearing nine hours. I know. I need to get off. I know. We'll we'll definitely get Imric next time. He's just um. We need more time because we only just met him. I am your brother, but do not forget I am also your better. Next, maybe if I can just get through next turn, he may want to confederate. Maybe. We're just about at the end of this one, right? Or do, how much longer am I going to... It's almost nine hours, god damn it. Have I done this stuff already this turn? Her servant. Yeah. Master of high magic. Scholar Supreme. Right, I think they can force march. Full speed, no scaven up this way. Alright, who else has moved? Eltharion. Eltharion. Yeah, we still gotta wait those two turns. Unfortunately, they've really packed on the public order here, so that's going to take a little while to take that away for, um, thingy. Uh, Jared did $10 super shit. Hey, Lich, thanks for the hours of content. I hope you and your family are doing well. God bless. We are doing well. Thank you very much. Thanks for the super chat. Bless you as well. Handmaiden of Alario. Guided by light. Everything's quite secure here. Let the bell scream, scream. I don't know where Skrulk is, though. Student of Teclis. Can I offer assistance? Voyaging. Lethal grace given form. So this one here. Yeah, just get it over to Lustria. On. How can I assist you? Starting out. Just need to get all my armies over here. Just what is take your a few turns. Don't have any missions. Yeah, we'll put both of those ancestor heroes of the weak. in the army, I think, Forward. and we'll go to war with Heinrich Kemmler, and that'll that'll significantly secure this for the overall alliance. They're all very friendly with me. want to get through this turn. I'm going to give Imric one more Greatest of gift. All is only natural in the presence of the Dragon Prince. Of so just another, let's say, 20 grand. Observe my skill. To really try to get that last few 
33 points that I needed to get him above 150. I don't know if he's going to want to confederate next turn, but we are working towards it. Imrik can be in danger and you have the same enemies if it make you... Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Hang on. Let's let's go back into this and have a look. So, he's been sitting at five settlements for a while. To have the ear of Prince Imrik. This stuff here just isn't dropping the peace treaty. Okay, well, I can get peace treaty with him for, for all of this. That is too much. That is too much. We have to wait at least another turn. I'm going to get rid of these spawn of Zinch. I didn't want them in the first place. What happens at 150? At relation 150, a big threshold check is achieved, which allows for more advanced diplomatic options, such as confederations. It's practically impossible to confederate a legendary lord unless relations are above 150. So once he reaches 150, a lot of options should be available to us. And that should happen next turn. I just want to get to that before I lock off for the day. At Zlanhopek, this place is safe now. We don't need that. Quetzal is not safe. Leave that be. Not yet. Thanks, you didn't know about the 150 threshold. Yeah, it the game doesn't tell you about that kind of stuff. That's okay. That's how we figure things out. We tell each other. And we scrutinize. We don't want this. Actually, leave that because I need to give this away. Um, the Twisted Towers, we need to give that over to... The shadows him. gone. The day wanes. Twisted. Are you prepared for dusk? There we go, Twisted Towers. Doesn't seem to be worth much, so I'm not going to bother trying to trade for anything. Just give it to him. This serves Nagarith. Cool. Yeah, we got a really good thing going here with Nagarith. I, I don't see the reason for confederating him. This is very difficult to hold territory, and he's just doing it for us. And also, any territory that he takes on his own, that'll just be ours later down the track, because a confederation with him is not going to be an issue. All right, just checking our military movements. We currently have access to 22 armies. Did I already do this this turn? Yeah, so we already checked for heroes. Yeah, we're all fine down here. And we're all fine up here. All the It's very quiet on all the fronts at the moment. Checking diplomacy. The Empire. Please check Sartosa. Pretty sure they're Greenskin Army. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll go have a look at that. I should probably raise an army to go and reclaim it. Yeah. Wurzag is on his way to Sartosa. Now, Magritta. Okay, let's recruit an army at Tabaro. We'll obviously wait for the Greenskins to take shitloads of territory before we fight back. But... Yeah, let's, let's just get some stuff organized. So we'll just get some pieces of shit. Over here. Setting up garrison. Start recruiting regular Lotho and Sea Guard and ones with shield and global. Actually, get two of those. Still two turns for them.
comes at much higher rank because of the experience I put into him. Much better. Because, yeah, we... I'm not going to go and help them. I'll just go and claim their territory after they lose it. Because, <laughs> yeah, this is a good settlement for us because of this landmark here. Because we can infinitely keep producing more. And this is the only place in the game where we can get Dwarf Beer and Golden Idols, as far as I'm aware. Also, this will allow us to demolish the Spice Resource, although probably should keep it because we are selling all of it anyway. Right, over here, let's grab another Invocation of all. Don't forget two and a half men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we finished it. Oh, hang on. Where is it? I finished the meme. There you go. Oh, right. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah, forgot about the friggin' noble out there. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Reaver bow. I've already got... <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting something. It, uh, it clearly wasn't very important, by the way. Okay. Why does Imric want a peace treaty if he likes you so much already? Or why doesn't he? Because we only just went to war. So there's like... There's some weird shenanigans that happen with this game, right? In, t in terms of... um diplomacy if you declare war on someone they usually have like a cooldown before they are even willing to accept the peace treaty and it's usually about five to ten turns so because we declared war on him in order to discover him he outright refuses to negotiate with us until that cooldown has been met it's just some just some weird things that happen with the with the program, because like, you take Rome 2 for example, what I used to do in Rome 2 is actually declare war in a faction, take one of their settlements, and then immediately peace out with them, and demand money, and then the very next turn I would declare war on them again, peace out, and demand money from them, and I just keep doing that every single turn, it gave them no opportunity to counterattack. so things like that, there's safeguards in place to stop the AI from getting abused, in the late game, like this. Paladin of Britonia. All right. Get Teclas back soon? Yeah, Teclas will be coming back soon-ish. In two turns, so one turn after this. Oh, I forgot about them. Oh, let's find them on the way. I'll be declaring war on Pestilence and sacking the shit out of the Fuming Serpent. That's where Teclas comes back from. All of our Law Masters of Hoeth are there ready to reduce the the public order, so it shouldn't take us too long to cause a revolt. Probably about five, six turns. Maybe longer. Yeah, probably longer. And then Teclas will come back. We will have likely obtained Imric in the meantime. That makes sense. It's like the infinite money bug with Archon. Yeah, exactly, where you can establish a treaty, cancel a treaty, and just keep re-establishing and cancelling it over and over again. Sometimes there are safeguards in place. Sometimes there are not safeguards in place. And that's one of the examples of where they they didn't put a safeguard in. Why do the growth commandment at the Oak of Ages? Oh shit, I was just on autopilot. But you're right, I probably shouldn't put that there. If I recall correctly, in the Warhammer 2 High Elf campaign that I did, no defeat, I think we used Krace to go and occupy a whole bunch of territory, and then when they stopped expanding entirely, only then did I confederate them. And I remember people asking every stream, why don't you confederate Krace? I'm just like, because they're fighting our wars with us. Against the Dark Elves, it was really bloody handy. I'm just getting hyped for S2. What's S2? Oh, 
Oh, Arcane Season 2. Okay, fair enough. I need to see what they're up to. I do need to see what these guys are up to. Emrick is alive? Yeah, he turned out he was alive the whole time. He was just, um, he was... He was just further inland. Just didn't realize it. Are there any rumors of what the next DLC is going to be? Yes, here's some leaked information. Um, the next DLC is going to be called Thrones of Decay, and it's going to be coming in about April. Okay? Hush, hush. Okay? Don't don't go tell people about it, or else the Creative Assembly Gestapo will put you in jail. <laughs> don't don't rush off to the to the Reddit telling people that the next DLC. Okay, this is top secret. The next DLC is going to be Nurgle, Empire, and Dwarfs, okay? But you didn't hear that from me, okay? That's super secret information. Carton S became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Thrones of Delay. Yeah. Thrones of Delay is actually scheduled for April of 2025. Can't wait for Dwarf Update. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Thrones of Decay now. I wasn't so much before, but... Because... The model of the Shadows of Change DLC, that was not impressive. So, whatever they're going to add onto that, then that should be fairly good. Why hasn't Reichland confederated anyone? The AI doesn't really focus on confederations much in Warhammer 3, especially against major factions. The, the like, for example, uh, Karazza Karak and Clan Angren, they're not going to confederate with each other. This is why the AI doesn't form big power blocks like they did in Warhammer 2. They kind of form smaller alliance power blocks, which is what they did in Warhammer 2 anyway. Um, it's just called the Order Tide, because the Order factions would all ally with each other and become this wave of indestructible forces. I hope Nurgle gets a unit that functions like a bloated corpse from Vampire Coast. Maybe. So waiting a new content to show to change. Yeah, well that's coming first, and that should be a couple of days away. Oh, a couple of weeks away. Do you have a wish for what CA should add to Shadows of Change? No, I'm not really thinking about Shadows of Change stuff. I uh, Zinch as a faction in this game is not one of my favorites, so I just don't really care what's added to it. As for Cathay and Kislev, I would like to see more heroes. Generic heroes, not necessarily legendary heroes. You know, I want to see Cathay get a, a melee hero. I also want to see their their current heroes get an update. They don't have enough skills. They're way too generic. Way too like they're Warhammer One lords essentially. Their skill trees. So they it looks like they successfully sacked it, or either I don't know. They just sacked it and then moved on. Pfft, doesn't occupy anything. And Cathay needs Lore of Hags and Hag Lords. And I reckon they should do a bit more to separate Astankia from base Kislev. So I think that maybe if Astankia can't recruit like Kossars and stuff, then make it so that Katarin can't recruit things in the wood, the incarnate elemental of beast, and the Axiana ambushes until she's met a certain condition. The fact that you like at the beginning of the campaign now see their armies with things in the wood makes it makes no sense. It's such a stupid DLC 
structure for Kislev. It makes no sense at all. They really kind of fucked around with it too much. Oh, there are stanky- Yeah, I call it stanky fingers. That's why her debuffs last longer than anyone's. St stanky fingers. I am the heir of Anarian, and I- No. I think the ambushes shouldn't be exclusive, but the forest animals should be. Yeah, I can, I can kind of agree with that. Or there should be some, con some conditions required to get them, if not playing as Stanky Fingers. Cathay needs a melee hero. Yeah, they really do. A melee hero that increases replenishment of the army as one of its skills. Increase replenishment rate. Kiss their redline needs to add spiders and bats. Yeah, I guess so. Didn't they get the general dude? Yeah, they got a new lord, but they need a new hero type. Alright, we're gonna start wrapping things up. Let's just see what's going on with Imric. Well, what is it? Do not squander the Dragon Prince's time. He wants to confederate. He wants to confederate. I have to get a peace treaty first, though. 40. Yeah, we got him. We get this peace treaty. Behold my courage. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi, Elvin Is he Archmage. wounded? He lost the Fortress of Vorag. He is wounded, but we got him. Level 43. What do you require? Emollient. Emollient. No. Practiced. It's okay. We got him. That is... His territory is dog shit. Absolute dog shit. So we'll just sell all of this off. I just need to save the game. How are we going to do that? I need to start a battle somewhere. I no longer need that reliability as much. So we can start our war. I Elvin Deal with us, us, or fight Here. Us, us, but I will have my way. I'll lose a little bit of reliability for this, but it'll recover pretty quickly. Abandon these places? No, 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 I'm not going to abandon them. I'm going to sell them so that I can get alliances with, uh, with factions out here. What if, what if, hang on. What if... I tried to get an alliance say, with Grimgore. So I can shove the words right back down your throat. See, look at... Oh, he hates me. But look how much that's worth to him. Imagine getting an alliance with Grimgore. I could do it in this campaign with influence. Um, but I think it would be better to get an alliance with someone else. Maybe... As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, maybe... I'll have a look at the dwarves. They're, they've been pretty decent allies. So that I can use them for shenanigans. Maybe... Maybe, um... Karak Kedrin. Maybe... Maybe Karazza Karak. Maybe. Because he's got a... He's got a fairly good power block going. I could give him territory. Yeah, look. Straight away. An alliance. So yeah, we can definitely manage that. No problem. With Astrogoth. Well, we don't border any settlements with him out here. He's been kicked out. If we have a look at Chaos Dwarfs. Can't swap any settlements. 
So, Imrik's wounded. We'll get him tomorrow. There will be a part 7, by the way, guys. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. I've got some other work I've got to get done. So I might need to take a break. But I just need to save the game. We already declared war on this. Alright, so what we do here... Stop! No! Sack the settlement. Eh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Don't need those units. I just need the heroes. So Leave sack it. And we drop down their public order there by 30. So the characters are minus 27. And the more that we I level them up. Once we get them to like rank 10. We'll be able to get that down even further. So it says here it'll take 5 turns to cause a revolt. Which will bring back Teclas. Uh, this one here will just the go into encamp stance to replenish. No big deal. Just sack it every turn. And yeah, we've we've got a good opportunity to smash them at Oixel because we got uh, Eltharion there. These ones here can catch up, bring them around if the, this way, take on the altar of the Horned Rat. Cool, but we save the game. All right, let's go chuck a host over to someone. But it's good that we got Imric, finally. All right, just give me a sec, guys. I'm just gonna see if anyone in the Creator Network is asking for a host. Alright, uh, let me just see. Just need to check. There's a few people requesting it. I just need to decide who's going to get it. Just give me a second. Alright, so currently live. Slightly Obnoxious Kiwi requested it. Yeah, okay, we'll chuck it over to Slightly Obnoxious Kiwi today. I'm just going to get his stream up here so we can link it. Alright, go and check out his campaign. T sorry, check out his campaign. He's playing a Bellicor First Demon Prince of Chaos Warhammer 3 Part 3 campaign. Alright, I'm going to go get some rest. I I'll probably continue this campaign, not tomorrow, but the next campaign, but there will be an episode uh, 7. The, the overall... Um, stats is, is pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, okay. I'm going to go get some rest before my brain melts. Appreciate you guys, and I will see you next time. Later, guys.